Santa Elena roundabout, and then travel all the way to Belize City for the exciting finish some 95 miles later in front of Leslie's Imports. This is an open race, and there will be fabulous prizes at the finish and along the route, including the coveted ball. There will be prizes for elite masters, juniors, and women. Join us as we honor our very own two-time cross-country champion. Catch all the action live on Otona Spike Shop, Facebook, and YouTube pages. It's the second annual Alfred Barnes Memorial Cycling Race on Sunday, February 25th. Don't miss it. Sponsored by Messinos Imports Limited, Ministry of Youth Sports and Transport, Belize Waste Control, Tropic Air, Ministry of Education, Culture, Science and Technology, Cellular World, Honorable Anthony Waller, Margarita Sports Bar, Penny's Home Center, Ministry of Public Utilities, Energy and Logistics, La Robea Resort, Honorable Melina Spat, Cajal Pet Resort, Police and Council, AAA Imports, Toyota Resorts, Leslie's Imports, Mirage Store, Jude Belize Foundation, Toto's, Joseph and Taylor, Vegas Imports, Ashton Clothing, Ordonis Bike Shop, Friends and Family of Alfred Parks. <laughs> Pleasant good morning cycling fans. A pleasant good morning cycling fans and supporters. Well you know the day is here folks. We're gonna do some prayers before we even get into anything, but we wanna welcome each and every one to the second running of the Alfred Parks. Memorial race. This race is going to be a monster, folks. The cyclists are lined up. The officials are here. A lot of work going on. But I'll have Mr. Patrick do a prayers before we get into um, the big Ching Ding. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Let's pray. Almighty and eternal God, who Jesus Christ have revealed your glory to all nations. Please protect each and every one of these cyclists out here today as they embark on the second annual Alfred Parks Memorial Race. I ask your guidance for the officials, each and every one who will be playing a vital role. I ask the protection over the drivers of the other vehicles who will be on the road that they may have a safe way and all the cyclists have a safe race today. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Yes, a beautiful day here in the country of Belize. Uh, I want to get that um, national anthem queue up and play the national anthem also. Folks, today will definitely be a blast. Crazy prizes, folks. Crazy prizes. Uh, um, a whole week, you know, non-stop every night, late trying to get things together and still out here trying to get stuff together before the race get underway so bear with me i know so many people who have watched party this morning sir yes, I. Yes, good morning again cycling fans. We are out here in the beautiful village of Cotton Tree, just a stone's throw away from our capital, Belmopan. 
beautiful day here in the country. Look at the skyline. Thank you, thank you. The national anthem of Belize, folks. We are out here on the Judge Price Highway to bring you live coverage of the 2024 Catch the Bull for Me cycling race. Folks, we are streaming both on YouTube and Facebook. Remember, the folks on, on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. That's the only way we'll grow. Um, last night, I want to big up Mr. Um, Evan Thompson, the man. Shortly after we had the live there at Margarita's Bar, he took me to Barrel Boom. And I want to big up my son, Georgian Erdones, the man, helped uh, lend me a phone so I could bring a YouTube channel straight into your living room uh, along um, on the Facebook page, Erdones Bike Shop page. So remember to share the live, folks. Today will be Neil Baita. There will be a lot of fireworks on the tarmac. We are here in the beautiful village of cotton tree all the riders and they get the chip together put on a jersey as athlete lozano in his new kit the valvoline kit uh dylan levy valvoline i can see fitzgerald palace joseph the coach of the valvoline i get a few words with that in a short while folks but the, let me pick up the people bring it live into your living room first one start out with the tillet farm from frank Eddie's village bring it live into your living room the alfred parks memorial family foundation Mr. Steve Benedict, Auto Sales Incorporated. You can get him at 929-240-8765 by Erdones Bike Shop and by Father and Son Bike and Electronics Store. Bringing the live straight into your living room. We want to give those people kudos for bringing the live into your living room. We want to big up. Uh, Jude Belize Foundation will provide about 100 food for the cyclists after the event. So we want to big up Jude Belize Foundation. Folks, we know we have three Guatemalans representing um, Guatemala here. They rode the Serie uh, such a race yesterday slash um, Serie slash loans to go such a race. I say we have Ronnie Hulahook 
He is the Central American Road Champion, King of the Mountains, Vuelta de Independent in the Dominican Republic. Um, he is the, um, he, he, I think what he finished, the champion, the Guatemala, he's the, U, he was a U23 national road champion. Uh, he finished third in the Vuelta de Colombia in our stage. He won the Vuelta of uh, Honduras. He recently won the Tour de, de Paz champion. We have Melvin Torres, the guy that had the nasty fall yesterday. He's the junior national road champion. Second in a, um, second in a GC in the Vuelta Providencia. Winner of the uh, presentation, the Equipto 2024. And then we have the other rider, not much about him, Diego Moreira. So three Guatemalans will represent Mexico. These guys will add a lot of fireworks on the tarmac. So the official, I mean, you know, the Santa Risa always chaos, but we have so many cycling fans, officials, you know, big up this uh, uh, Cycling Federation of Belize. They are responsible for the running, the, the smooth running of the race. Yes, and all the volunteers, and especially the Alfred Parks Memorial family for hosting this event. This event just to get bigger and bigger. I mean, the prizes will be ridiculous. I will not be able to give all the prizes, um, the station prizes, but we definitely big up all the, uh, the family members, the people who give uh, prizes. See, see, they put up the, um, then they put up the, then they blow up the, um, what that like, uh, one thing is when they could pass, and then we call that. There's Mr. Levy. Folks continue to share the live. Like I said, today it will be non stop action, and I'll try to bring it live into your living room with every step of the way. I want to talk to um, Fitzgerald Palace Joseph, a quick talk with Fitzgerald Palace Joseph, the coach of the Valvoline team. The highway is busy, more fans coming out. Yes, folks, yes, remember to share the live. Let me walk across after watching traffic. Crazy traffic, the riders are warming up. They want to get hit pretty early in the morning, so I can't bring the live into your living room. But we know how the fans, you know, some fans, I see some fans said they, they're not able to sleep last night because they are so excited about this race. They're more nervous than the cyclists themselves, especially our friends there in the diaspora. So let me cross and um, probably have a few words with Fitzgerald Palace Joseph. I can see if the man is wrong. There's the, um, the big um, the sponsors of all the... I think they put this cross the highway or... Uh, the, this way across the, across the highway? Across the highway. So that's the... Um, that's the start. To see all the sponsors up on the. <laughs> Folks, there's so much excitement in the year, you know. There's a lot of excitement in the year. Be careful about bad, bad language. You don't have bad language. Oh, the butlers are out. The butlers are out. I'm um, getting a picture with the builders. These are the folks that. Um, no, 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 make, make the fans say so, no. Those are the builders. They will blow the, the, the horn this morning and keep the cyclists excited. They say two young ladies and three young male. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yes, man. All right. You're live. Shout out to the family. We want to big up everybody, the family. The supporters, the sponsors, whoever, big up everybody. The Buglers are here today. <laughs> we appreciate you guys. You definitely make the, the excitement and the tarmac, right? So thank you guys, right? Okay. Yes, good morning. I just want to big up my mom is clad. What do you watch? Yes, watch your son play. 
Nice, nice, nice. We got mommy. All right, folks. Like I said, a beautiful day here in the country of Belize. The second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. The great legend Alfred P. Parks won in 1976 and 1977. I'm 1979 cross country solo style. Yes, the queen. Yes, man. I think Palace will run for me. Man, busy. Man, look for your teammates. Maka does a quick word the defending champion, Oscar Kuros. Yeah. Defending champion and his wifey. Man, in, man, in, Oscar. Defending champion. Beautiful day. You are here to defend the title, Oscar? Yes. Well, morning everybody, morning. Um, you know, beautiful day today. Cooler than last last year for sure. Um, so with the grace of God, we're here. Um, it's a beautiful day. I can see everyone out here. I mean, um, yeah, uh, I'm here again to defend. Um, I mean, once I show up to a race, um, you know, I don't think anybody show up if you want to lose. So, but um, I think that it's going to be a good day. Um, we're going to give it the best shot. Uh, I know we have some Guatemalans today, which should make it a very interesting race. And um, they ride hard. I like riding hard, so I don't have a problem with that. Um, they're going to make my life easier, in a sense. Uh, so let's see what happens. Um, a lot of station prize up on the road, so the race should be fast. Um, I think they might have a tailwind buck, but it might change. So we might see a record-breaking day again. Um, who knows? I mean, I think they have a lot in store today. And uh, I feel like, you know, make the viewers just, I hope we're giving them a good show, man. And um, to all our fans, uh, to the Valvoline fans, um, we're here today. And... Well, so we could do, man. Let's see if we could off the win. So, Donis, thanks for coming out, covering the race. And, um, yeah, organizers putting on a great show. So, you know, huge thanks, man. Huge thanks. Yes. Oski Kuros, we're going to a quick chat with the, the coach of the Valvoline, the new coach, Fitzgerald Palace Joseph. Good morning. Man, Andrew. Nice, um, beautiful day this morning. I'm um, here with my team, and we'll try to execute to the best of our abilities. Um, Oscar being the defending champion um, puts a little pressure on us, but. We are here to defend and um, the Guatemalans are here as well, so we should have a beautiful race. I'm, I'm hoping that the guys, generally, not only our team, but the Belizean riders ride to expectation and ride to the ability and defend our nation against the Guatemalans today. Guatemalans is the greatest threat in this race, and so we, we, we are up to the challenge, and in particular, our team is up to the challenge as well, so we'll do our best and we'll give the guys a great show today. Um, this is important to finish, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that should be good. Okay. It should be a great race. About 93 miles? 94, I think. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, sometime between four hours, we should be there then. Oscar did four hours one minute last year, so that's the time we're looking at. So, should be a great race, Andrew. Um, the Belizean people should be. Um, um, Feed it to a great race today, and then uh, Thursday we go in and we dissect this race. So should be a great show. Good cup, bad cup. Yes, Fitzgerald Palace Joseph giving a few words. The coach of the Valvoline team, folks. So like I said, there are so many prizes. I'm not sure if I will be able to call out those prizes, but we'll definitely give uh, the, um, the the sponsor for those prizes. Yeah, big up because um, without the sponsors. You know, this race won't be possible. And so as we move along, we have the fans. So wave to the wave to the people. Yes, they are out to support. They are the officials. There's Miss Debs, there's Miss Letts, there's Miss Rita, Douglas Lamb. But you need again, you, you was right. I even forgot your name where it was, was right. <laughs> Jan Hyde. Lovell. So officials, they still get the um, numbers together so I'll move along so you guys can have a little sneak peek at the riders so uh, I try to ask the official then forgive me while he list of the prices maybe I could at least give some a few uh, people and kudos I don't want something from paper though. Right, cool. Fun. I, 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 hear, I hear the whistle, I hear the whistle blow, I hear the whistle. Mm -hmm. 
Young Rojas, Tyren Tasha. Folks, I want to big up the people bringing the live into your living room. I want to big up Tillit Farm from Frank Eddie's Village. I want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial Foundation. Steve Benedict Auto Sales Incorporated. You, in New York, you can get him at 929-2400. Eight seven six five. Want to big up Mr. Steve Benedict and his son there, Rashan Benedict, in Burbank, California. Uh, I know a lot of folks, like I said, said they have watch party. I uh, can't call on your name because there's too much, there's too much folks who show it up. So no feel bad if you not hear your name. It's a whole lot of. It's a one man army or a two man army. Bangs on the motorcycle, me on the back of the, holding the camera and add new stuff to my gadget. I could say all the fans there uh, have an uh, extra phone where, where, where they show the, sh the, uh, the, the comments. Well, we want to thank each and every one of you guys, you die hard cycling fans. So I want to see if the officials they give me a um, breakdown of the prizes there. And then, as I'm still here trying to put the thing last moment together, Miss Rita and Miss Dead is still working hard non stop. So I have to give kudos to these people here. Mr. Kano, the man alright? Yeah, right, right? Yeah, yeah, Okay. Okay, all right, yeah. Okay. Uh, after the race, you could see me with the thing. After the race, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, yeah. Yeah, all right, cool, yeah. Uh, Mr. Kano said that um, the Guatemalan Melvin Torres uh, still made a clean up the wounds this morning, so, but he will, un he will be on his bike and the fireworks will start in a few folks or those. Hang in there. Money, money, Andrew. My Urs, Urson, Urson Butler is out. So in the background, you can see the, all the um, community members, people from Ashton Clothing. Excitement is building, folks. The excitement is building. Just be here for a few. Let me drive over there. Let me drive over there. So just wait for the um the committee members. So uh, yeah, we have to we have to turn this way. Yeah, uh, um, this turn turn that side because the sun, the sunlight. Yeah, yeah this way. We have to go that side. Yeah, yeah this, that, that's the side, right? Yeah. Morning, Rich. Morning. Morning, morning, the. These are the committee members. Debbie. You have Miss Rita, you have Mr. Lincoln, you have Terry, Patrick, Evan. It's on, Jackie. Carol. It's Didier. Hey. Debbie, push yourself quickly. 
Quick, 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 So, yes, a sneak peek. Those are the officials. Yeah, I got you guys. I got you guys. Yeah. Oh, Eckers, Eckers, come. All right. These are the um, only me missing from it. And then, yeah, but these are all the um, committee members making this race possible. Yes, that's the crew making this monster event possible look how the views they grow pleasant good morning cycling fans all right thank you guys thank you guys thank you guys first of all folks give me a thumbs up tell me if the audio is good on both youtube and facebook i need a thumbs up Eckert, what's up Eckert? So the excitement continues to build, folks. In a short while, the fireworks will be on the way. Move across to my motorbike. Banks, do me a favor, check see if this battery, if you light the hand from the side down, this battery, you have to cover it with the sun, and you can use green light, to see for the hand. No. Ready hand? Yeah, 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 from the white part. Yeah, the hand, okay, all right, cool, all right. Yes, uh -huh. oh, the, the blue right now? Oh. All right, okay, sure, man, all right, good. Hold, hold this for me, Banks. So... The bugles will blow in a minute. You will hear that trumpet that got your knees wobbling. Thank you, the bugles. That man, even me, my, my, my knees wobble. <laughs> yep. So let me return to my motorcycle. And the officials in the air, they, they ask the riders for line up shortly. A lot of prize, right, Banks? Bonus. You want to read out some of the prize for me? Quick, funny, funny. Uh, good morning. Uh, going the first station prize, Benny's Warehouse, 500 bucks. Second station prize, uh, Kiki Wits Air Fryer, the Barry. Hector Silver Air Strip, $200. Joseph and Taylor. Gas Station, Roaring Creek, $100. Keith Smith. West Star, 100 gift certificate. West Star and Gallardo. Camarote Community Center, $100. Ronald Sanchez. Tea kettle, cell phone, Toros, Ontario, Wash Twist Styles t shirt, Belize Local Nation, Black Man Eddie, gift certificate plus 250, Mirab, Mount Hope, Unitedville 500, Vegas Distributors, Floral Park, The Bull, Honorable Melin Espat. Georgeville, one night stay for two, Defani, Laboon, Russell Longsworth. Central Farm, two night stay for two with breakfast, Tahal Pet Resort, Esperanza, Wild Bill Road, $200, Ulysses Gill, Red Creek Bridge, $50, Sarita Gift, Resina's Imports, and uh, on the return, 
Shell Gas Station, Waha Race Computer and Helmet, Lincoln, do the donor, Red Creek Bridge, $100 gift certificate, Resina's Wine House, Esperanza Wild Bill Road, $200 Ulysses Gill, Central Farm, Running Doubler, gift certificate, Running Doubler, Georgeville, $200 Loyalty Wines, Floral Park, a Sheep, Honorable Million Espat, Mount Hope, Unitedville, $500 Vegas Imports, Black Manade, $100 plus $250, Alpine Water and Stuart and Robert Formerly. <laughs> tea Kettle, on tower and return, cell phone, gadgets, a tea kettle, Samsung, Airbuds, Margaritas, Camelita Com Community Center, $100 by Keith Smith, West Star, $100 gift certificate, West Star and Gallero, Gas, Star, Gas Station, Roaring Creek, one night stay for two, Hopkins Bay Resort, Hector Silver Airstrip, $100, Keith Smith, George Price Boulevard, five plates barbecue combo, G2 barbecue, uh, Benny's Warehouse, 500 bucks uh, on the return. That's for the, the elite race. I believe this is the juniors. The first station prize is at mile 41, $200 by Alvin Alvangelit. Uh, mile 39, $100. Gene Miles, Mark Trapp. St. Matthew's Village, $100 by Corin Dawson. Jogwapa, a microwave by Debari. Chairs and mahogany at $100. Alvan Gillet, Ladamacrasa Junction, one night stay for two. R Rico Black, uh, Belize Zoo, $500. P&A cleaning service. Miles 25, community $100, Ronald Sanchez, Rockville, Gracie Rock, $500 box, Benny's, Bainesville, $50, Patrick Thompson, Hattieville football, cell phone by American Closeout, Eternal Garden, mile 13, Clive and Raymond, trophy, plus one night stay for two at Log Cabin, Tanga, eight miles community, $500, triple A imports, mile six community, 150 Edmond Kwan, mile 5, gifts by Belize Local and Deals, mile 3, waste control, 500 Belize waste control. Price list for the female, mile 41, Edison Banks, $200, mile 39, $100, Jean Miles and Mark Trapp, St. Matthews, $100 by Carlin Dawson. Well, okay, all right. Yeah, well, we, we move on. Yeah, yeah but um, thank you guys. Um, thank you for filling in for me while I get my stuff together. Thanks again, Mr. Swift. Thanks again, Patrick. No problem. Anytime, Mr. Donis. Step on the right hand side. Step on the right hand side of the yeah. road, please. Yeah. So folks, we'll just move off and we'll catch the first um we'll catch the first station prize. We move off, we move up. A pleasant good morning, cycling fans and supporters. Welcome to the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. Look at the fans up on the side, cheering on the riders. Yes. See some of the guys from Chavaria, the official vehicle. We head to Benny's box where the first prize will be given. Folks, we're gonna bring this live into your living room, the entirety of this race. We want to big up the entire crew making it possible. We want to big up the Cycling Federation of Belize. We want to big up the um, Alfred Parks Memorial family and all the people from the diaspora. We make this race such a beautiful event. Look how much vehicle line up on the side as the race is about to get started. We'll get that first prize and then we bring you live action into your living room. We want to big up the people bring the, the, um, the live into your living room. We want to big up the Tillet from out of from, from Eddie's village. I want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial Foundation family. I want to big up Mr. Steve Benedict Arthur Sales 
Incorporated out of New York. His number, you can reach him at 929-240-8765. Erdonis Bike Shop and Father and Son Bike and Electronic Store in Belize on Daly Street bring the life into your living room, folks. Want to big up the Belize Jude Foundation providing meals for all riders taking part in this race today, folks, as we move up to that. The, the first station prize, let us see who will get a prize. I'm here with my driver, Mr. Wilbert Banks, who will make sure I'll be safe today. So we pull up to the first line, the first station prize. And the race is on, the race is on already. So we captured the prize and then I come off of the motorcycle, turn my camera. So we can see the riders coming in the distance. There's a vehicle, there's, yeah, there are the vehicle coming. And we can see the bunch of riders as they make their way. We can see one rider out front. We can see one rider dashing for the line, folks. Already the tarmac is on fire. Let me see. That's uh, who's got that prize. Who is it? It's Herman Kaboom Rikenya. Herman Kaboom Rikenya getting his first prize. Herman Kaboom Rikenya getting a prize. The 500. And here comes young. Um, that's um, Peter um, Cian Jones, Cian Jones, and here comes the the, uh, the field of riders as they make their way past Benes. Guys, please stay on your right hand side of the road. That's the Guatemalan. That's the Guatemalan. I'll band up. That's the Guatemalan. That's the Guatemalan. Melvin Torres was at nasty fall yesterday, folks. Yes, a pleasant good morning. We are here on the Judge Price Highway. Just not even a mile into the race. Two them bangs, two them out of the way. They have to stay on the right hand side of the road. There's Urson Butler in the back. That's Mr. Neil. We can see Roque Matos. We can see Alana Will Jr. and the riders in the stretch. We can see um, a rider on the left hand side of the road. That's the Guatemalan. And already the heat is on, the tarmac, the matter scratching, the excitement is on the tarmac. All the guys have numbers, so we are bring the numbers. I can see the Colonel Lovell, brave soul, come out to ride. Guys, please remember to stay on the right-hand side of the road. Don't come in only, and there's Big Bob Gabriel. The Garmin is saying, thank you going by incline, the Garmin is said 27 miles an hour. Look at the li line already. And again, we can see the Guatemalans, we can see Diego and the PS, Diego. Diego Moreira and the PS, race number 72 out of Guatemala. He's been followed by um, Erwin Milton. There is, um, out of the saddle, the G-Flow rider, I believe that's, um, who's that? Uh, there's Bob, Big Bob Gabriel, being followed by Devin Asweta, Javin Gonzalez, Philip Leslie, young Leon Leslie. Get that rider. That's um, young Phenom Baby Chav, number one, young Phenom Baby Chav, riding for G-Flow on the front, leading in the race. The race is doing some 24 miles an hour. As we head into our headwind, folks, this is our headwind, and it's young, it's the number 72, the Guatemalan, Diego Moreira on the front, the Guatemalan on the front, Diego Moreira on the front. Taking over the pace again is young Phenom Baby Chav, keeping the pace extremely high, folks, some 25.7 miles an hour. Diego, um, Diego, and um, young Phenom Baby Chav, here comes Big Bob Gabriel, Devin Asweta. Philip Leslie as the group stretch out all over the tarmac I hope they're not hit we see somebody come on attack and there goes again that's uh, Rich, uh, um, Richard Santiago he's been marked by Mr. Jurgison the mic man small gap have opened up a small gap two riders as we pass miles 44 here on the Judge Price Highway in the second running after Alfred Park's Memorial Race. Folks, I hope you will have a whole heap of fun. A lot of racing remain in this event. It's just in the early morning of this event. I want to big up my driver, Mr. Wilbert Banks. I want to big up um, Fitzgerald Palace Joseph, this poor rocket. I want to big up the Alfred Park's Memorial Family Foundation for holding this event. I want to big up this, the Cycling Federation of Belize, you know, and all the volunteers, a lot of work. I say, oh, hard, Miss Debs, or oh, Miss Rita Lincoln, and the whole crew, how much work they put in. It's, it's um, even up to last night, I had to make my way all the way to Barrel Boom to pick up the phone so you guys can see it on YouTube. I want to big up um, 
I, I want to pick up my son, Jurgen Erdones. Um, last night, Evan, uh, um, Evan Thompson, the nephew of Alfred Park said, I have no issue carrying up to Barrel Boom because we need to get this thing on YouTube. And so we are up on YouTube also. Yes, Greg, Greg Lovell, for riding for Lovell, number 26, trying to bridge cross to the two lead riders up front. The two lead riders up front. Um, Stephen Jurgensen and Richard Santiago as we head into heading towards Kikiwitz. Two riders all alone, number six, number, let me get their numbers, number 30 and number 57. Two lead riders, Richard Santiago and Steven Jurgensen rides for Jaggers. Uh, <laughs> And um, Richard Santiago writes for police folks. I still have a little itchy in my throat, so if uh, you hear me cough a little bit, please excuse me. Uh, take all the medication when I say lime or honey, Mr. Debs give me some medication, but still have a little itch in my throat, so my voice might go for a little while, but we'll bring, stay right here and bring you live action into your living room, folks. Remember to like and, sc and subscribe to the um, Erdones YouTube channel. Just past mile 35, I mean 45. So we, the next prize coming up, it's at Kiki Wits. The next prize coming up at Kiki Wits. We have Fryer from Dibari. Let's just see if they will be caught and we can see a rider coming in the, in the, the, the um, thing and it's young Kenyon. Young Kenyon Sanford, Young Kenyon Sanford make it across and he's going straight by these two riders. Young Kenyon Sanford riding for Valverin, made it over. Here comes Byron Pope, here comes Brandon Katoos, here comes Young Elwin Humes, folks. The pace is up to some 27 miles an hour. They have caught the two riders and straight past. It's Young Kenyon Sanford. Here goes Byron, um, Brandon Katoos, Brandon Katoos. These guys are out early to grab up some prize. Brandon Katoos wears number 15. Young Elwin Humes wears number 21. Byron Pope wears number 32 and young Kenyon Sanford wears number. I can see if I can see number. I'm trying to see his number. But young Kenyon Sanford, so two Valvoline rider, two Valvoline rider in the group. Um, Kenyon wears number 13. The, the lucky number, young Kenyon Sanford, number 13. And so four riders have escaped. And here comes the Guatemalan, here comes the Guatemalan, M Melvin Torres, the man all bandaged up, but this man is on the pace, race number 73, pulls off, number, um, the Guatemalan, number 73, there goes D-Wade, number 22, young Ivan, um, Ivan Usher, Mr. Rojas, Delton Rojas, we can see number 17 there, at Lozano, here goes number 44. Devin Asweta riding all over the tarmac. There is um, Goran Gabriel, young the number 14 from Valvoline. Young Christopher Wade Fox already. The tarmac is a light. It's blazing up pretty early this morning. I say a box of match to up on the side. The fireworks is on as we pass Kiki Wits. We can see the, um, let me see where I get a prize. There's a prize at Kiki Wits and a mad dash for the line. It seems that young, will it be? It will be young Kenyon Sanford. Young Kenyon Sanford picking up that prize. Huh? So we were informed that there was a crash and two riders are done. We don't have the, the details. We'll update you as soon as we get the details. But young Kenyon Sanford claimed that prize there at Kikiwitz. We know that the Stuart and Rabatu family added um, two, uh, $500, 250 going and coming back at Blackman Eddy. And those are in memory of Lerner, Audrey, and Miss Barbara Rabatu. Want to big up the Rabatu family. I know the Boston is they're happy that I am that we were make, able to get it on YouTube and we approach let me see where the other prize will be Hector Silva it's a uh, folks it, uh, no joke for hold on to this thing uh, $200 by Joseph and Taylor and we can see Devin 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 Asweta Devin Asweta along with young Kenyon Sanford Devin Asweta heading towards that prize who will it be who will it be the Hector Silva, just up in the distance, there's my good friend Dak. 
Yes, my good friend. Yes, and you know, everybody out there, camera, everybody that watch it live on the Urdun Subak page and Urdun YouTube channel, folks. Here comes the Guatemalan Diego Moreira. Diego Moreira raised number 72 and the pace has been marked by um, young Phenom and Oscar Curos. Here comes. Um, Here comes Mr. Castro, Wasani Castro. A mad attack on the outside. A mad attack on the outside by Fernando Rosado. Fernando Rosado is number um, 34, heading for that prize. Uh, Alliance United trying to clear up the prize. There's um, Hollis Baptist. Hollis Baptist going in for the wheel of Rosado. Who will get a prize? Let me see if um, Fernando will cross. I mean, if um, if Hollis will cross over to Rosado, but it's Fernando Rosado capturing that prize. Fernando Rosado capturing that prize at Hector Silva. A small gap in the open up folks. A pleasant good morning to all you cycling fans. Continue to share the live folks. I know you know some people say we can't sleep last night. The anticipation, the excitement that builds in the air that this race they get, you know they get a huge viewing, you know, the excitement, they make a prize in the run race with the whole Saturday cross country race. So I think I, the, the CFB have to really get some prize for so holding such a cross country because this race can take over in a short while, being one of the biggest races. As uh, Hollister Baptist, race number seven, have joined Fernando Rosado as we take the run down. We head into Rolling Creek. And the next prize up at the gear station is $100. But here comes, the, here comes Dylan Levy, Dylan Levy, along with Hula Hook. Hula Hook is here. The, Number six, the Guatim number 66, the Guatemalan Hula Hook is here. He's looking back, folks. I tell you, a lot of fireworks. These guys will Hula Hook will, know, will definitely hit me as soon as we reach the rolling hills. And young Devante Bennett and the wheel of Hula Hook. Here goes Hula Hook as he steps up the race. Hula Hook have caught up to the two lead riders. Now it's five riders up front, five riders. A Guatemalan and all Belizean. We have two G Flow rider in the likes of young Devante Bennett and Holista Baptist, a Lens rider. Um, Fernando Rosado and Dylan Levy rides for Balvonin. Here comes the Guatemalan again. Two Guatemalans coming up with bars of speed. Two Guatemalans. Yes, the young. Yes, um, it's um, it's Melvin Torres. Melvin Torres being marked by Carlton Robinson. These guys are doing some 36 miles an hour as we head into the roundabout. Yes, it's the young, the man that fell yesterday. We have to go fast through this roundabout, bangs, because they are right on our tail. We have to go pretty fast. These guys are right on our tail. They, they, they catch the come vehicle. The come vehicle have to move. The come vehicle have to move. These guys are flying like lightning. These guys are flying. And Bob Gable trying to close the gap. And we can see Carlton Robinson. Carlton Robinson out of his cell. Carlton Robinson. Carlton Robinson all alone. Carlton Robinson driving some 35 miles an hour. Here is the, um, the Guatemalan. It's all Carl Carlton Robinson. All Carlton Robinson as he heads into Rolling Creek to the, the gas station. Carlton Robinson. All alone rides for Alliance United, still doing some 38 miles an hour, folks. 38 miles an hour as we head into Rolling Creek. Look at the fans on the side. We go over this bump. This man has over this bump. A man always jumped the ramp. There are uh, the fans waiting to, for, to sign up. There's Mr. Guns. Good morning, Mr. Guns. Big up yourself, Mr. Guns. He will cover the junior and the female categories of folks. If you want to see that race, join Mr. Guns. He will bring the excitement into your living room. And it's all Carlton Robinson as we make up, uh, the, up this little incline. It's Carlton Robinson. We can see the group at the back just a few seconds behind folks. A pleasant good morning to all you cycling fans. We want to big up the people bringing alive into your living room. We want to big up um, the Tillit Farm out of Frank Eddies. We want to big up the Alfred Park Memorial Foundation. We want to big up Mr. Steve Benedict Auto Sales in New York. You can reach him at 929-240-8765 by Erdogan's Bike Shop by father and sons and uh, by, father, father and son bike and electronic store in belize on daily street folks a lot of excitement few you know early morning we can see carlton robinson is being chased by number 12. um i think that's young munoz and here goes the Guatemala again here goes number six hula hook he's been joined by the defending champion of this race oscar curious hula hook out of that salad, dance and appeal, he have cut and blow pass. Look at Carlton trying to hold the wheel. Hula hook. This man is mad. This man is crazy. He's showing I'm a climber. Here comes young Leon Leslie. Here comes Jivin Gonzalez. Young Delta Rojas paying keen attention, folks. What an exciting day today. I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's a full four plus hours of excitement here on the tarmac. Well, if the record is broken, um, 
you know, yeah, be under four hours because um, Oski did four hours, one minute, 11 seconds, I understand. And it's young Kenyon Sanford. So, Palas has his team hitting the, uh, the, the, the pavement. It's young Kenyon Sanford again. Young Kenyon Sanford attack. And immediately, yeah, uh, look at it. Look at the expression. Melvin Torres. Melvin Torres has been joined by Bradham Katoos as they fly over the bump. Here goes Byron Pope. Folks, the speed is up. Look at the garment. It's saying some 30 miles an hour as, Mel as Melvin Torres have caught the lead riders. Melvin Torres and the attack. Young Leon Leslie trying to cross over the gap as we head into, T into uh, Kamalote. The another prize is $100 at the Kamalote Community Center. And it's Baron Pope, Baron Pope on the front, followed by Melvin Torres out of Guatemala, the man who took that nasty fall. And the man can take revenge today. He was not happy that he fell yesterday. And he said, today, I'm come out to scrape you guys up. Yes, he will turn. He's on the front, driving it some 28 miles an hour, followed by Brandon Katus. Brandon Katus taking over the pace, followed by his teammate. Kenyon Sanford, young Leon Leslie, Byron Pope. These are the five riders up front. We can see one rider coming across, another G-Flow rider coming across. Hollister Baptist, where's number seven? Coming across to the five riders up front. Two Valvoline, and now we have two. We have two Valvoline, two G-Flow, a Guatemalan and a Alliance United rider. As we head towards the community center here in Camalote, and we can see the field of riders behind what is Six riders, six riders leading the race, Byron Pope and the pace, followed by the Guatemalan, Melvin Torres, followed by young Kenyon Sanford, Brandon Katoos, young Leon Leslie, and Hollister Baptist folks. I hope you are enjoying the live today. You know, I hope my voice, you know, be good to me. I pray this morning. Please, you know, let the, um, the truth ease me a bit so I can bring you guys live action into the living room, folks. I want to big up the, the Belize Jude Foundation providing a hundred food for the riders at the end of the race which will uh, finish there at Leslie's Imports. I want to big up the Cycling Federation of Belize to bring um, to to really um, organize this race for the other three riders have come across um, Wasani Castro, Fernando Rosado and Young Guran Gable have come across have bridged across here comes the Guatemalan here comes the Guatemalan Diego Moreira on his wheel is young um, Devin Asweta and young um, Kevin Gentle, Kevin Gentle race number 63, right? So G-Flow, look at him, um, Asweta, as soon as he catch the group, he's on the pace, he's driving it. Devin Asweta, race number 44, rides for m, &M. The m &Ms are not melting today and immediately jumping on the wheel is the Guatemalan. Melvin Torres, uh, next Guatemalan, Diego Moreira. The Guatemalans have come to invade the territory, have come to invade the tarmac here today, and these guys are pushing it hard, and Hula Hook is sitting right in. Yes, the two Guatemalans out front, and the pace, it's Diego Moreira driving some 27 miles an hour as we are uh, approaching the, um, the... And here there's an attack again by Fernando Rosado as he sees the prize, Fernando Rosado, and the attack. Um, Alliance United has come to, um, to full up their kitty. We can see the officials waving the flag in the distance station prize and here goes Diego Morales here goes um, Young Phenom Young Phenom Young Phenom want to claim a prize Young Phenom will catch up to yes Young Phenom blowing past everyone Young Phenom Derek Chavaria claimed the prize here at the um, com uh, the the um, the Camelote Community Center The next prize coming up is uh, a tea kettle. It's a cell phone. Totos. And uh, young Derek Chavaria out front, folks. Yes, young Derek Chavaria. Where's number one? Riding for G Flow. He won the Digitour last weekend. He won all three stages. Big up, young Derek Chavaria. And here comes uh, Carlton Robinson, followed by the Guatemalan Oscar Curios. We can see Jivin Gonzalez. They are closing up, and Carlton Robinson have made it over to Young Finan Baby Chav. We can see another attack. It is um, um, Byron Pope. Byron Pope and the attack. Byron Reyes, number 32. Byron Pope and the attack. Alliance United and the attack. 
Baron Pope driving it some 22 miles an hour. We have a little headwind, folks. Definitely, there's a lot of pain. Young Phenom immediately jump on the wheel of uh, Byron Pope. Folks, continue to share the live. Continue to share the live. Remember, the folks on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Please like and subscribe to the channel. There's Oscar, the defending champ, where's number 10. There's Javin Gonzalez, who rode awesome yesterday, finishing in the second place. Yes, as we approach Tea Kettle, there's Young Goran Gabriel, Young Goran Gabriel, Young Goran Gabriel. Young Goran Gabriel and the PS been marked by Young Munoz, the Guatemalan, um, Diego Moreira, Angel Zip. There goes Smokes Gladden, there goes number 57. Um, Santiago, number 44. Devin Asueta, number 25. Gerson, Gerson Lovell. Dancing with the Saddle, number 37, Cito Matos, Raynan Matos is his real name, but you can't see Tomatos, young Philip, young um, Leon Leslie, dancing on the saddle, um, Melvin Torres, the young Christopher Wade, Hulk is here, Ryan Bradley, young um, Wendell Williams Jr., Delton Rojas, Tyrone Tasha. And driving out front, Lou on one lead rider, one lead rider heading into T-Kettle, young um, Munoz, young Munoz, I just know about the, 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 the racing style, young Munoz, but immediately, immediately the Guatemalan, the Guatemalan, Melvin Torres in hot pursuit of Munoz. So Munoz up front, there is the Guatemalan sitting on the, the Guatemalan wheel is young Leon Leslie and young Christopher Wade as they dance out of the saddle, still doing some 23 miles an hour in a headwind. Folks, what a race, what a race, what a race. I'm glad I could be out here to bring you guys live action into your living room. Young Leon Leslie on the pace. Here goes young um, Christopher Wade, been joined by the Guatemalan, the man who had the nasty fall. You could see all the, all the um, road rush over his legs, but he's out here. Man, right, just like nothing happened yesterday. And it's still young Marian Munoz out front driving into Kitty Kettle for that so he could try to claim that prize but the Guatemalan is having none of it the Guatemalan is in hot pursuit he's been marked by Leon Leslie so young Munoz young Munoz passed in mile 52 young Munoz passed mile 52 and in hot pursuit by the the three riders Christopher Wade, Leon Leslie and the Guatemalan Melvin Torres folks are you having fun you have all your barbecue you have all your drinks make sure you have a portable toilet close to now a bathroom close to now so you don't have to run you know someone living in a big house so you don't have to go run away was about three stories up for go use bathroom so make sure you have a portable um or oh, someone who wear diapers so you don't have to lift your, your device. <laughs> just kidding, my folks, just kidding. But definitely a whole heap of fun. I'm glad I could be here. I want to big up my driver, Mr. Wilbert Banks, taking care of me this morning. I want to big up Fitzgerald Palace Joseph for this pocket rocket. I want to big up the people bringing it live into your living room. I want to big up Tillet Farm out of Frank Eddy's village. I want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family. I want to big up Steve Benedict Auto Sales Incorporated in New York. You can reach him at 929-240-8765. Erdones Bike Shop and Father and Son, Father and Son Bike and Electronic Store on Daly Street here in Belize City. Those are the folks bringing alive into your living room for the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. So we head into the it's still young Munoz, still young Munoz out three riders in hot pursuit and here comes the male feed of rider he, big mr burns big mr burns been joined by byron pope as they're about to make contact with the three riders yes and it's munoz out front munoz out front make us see if munoz will capture the prize we're looking to see the official munoz still have a few seconds up front let us see if he will be able to stay out front of these guys will here goes um um 
Hollister Baptist again have caught up to these guys. They are flying past doing some 33 miles an hour, some 33 miles an hour. They are closing the gap. They are closing the gap to Young Munoz. But we can see the official Young Munoz will take that prize. Young Munoz will take that prize. Young Munoz taking that prize. There's Hollister Baptist being followed by um, Giovanni Choto, Fernando Rosado, Atlete Lozano, Greg Lovell. Here goes um, Goran Gabriel. Next prize coming up is at Ontario. So, um, a package at Ontario. And that prize, let me see that prize, has been brought this way Belize Lap Nation. We go over the bump here at Tea Kettle. And it's all back together, folks. It's all back together on the front. And the front is the Guatemalan Diego Moreira. Diego Moreira been marked by Joshua Fuller, who is number 33. Um, young Wendell Williams Jr. Athlete Lozano. And here goes Hula Hook, Hula Hook, Hula Hook out of his saddle. He's been marked immediately by um, Dylan Levy. So uh, Palacio the boys have marked the Guatemalans. It seems that Valvolina are marking the Guatemalans immediately. Dylan Levy jump on the wheel of Hula Hook as we make our way into brick wall, as we call it, S-curve. And shortly we'll be in Ontario, where the next station prize will be given. Up next would be the Ontario prize. That's a huge prize. Um, I know they don't have a prize there, and I know the Truth and Roberto family have given the guys a right in our lane. The guys are not going off of the road. I could put my, back, my, my camera up on the back of Diego, Joshua. You need to stay on the right hand side and the Guatemalan is turning up and Hula Hook and, and Diego out front, yes, Hula Hook and Diego out front, turning up the pace, turning up the pressure. Look at the guys as they stretch all over the tarmac. These Guatemalans have these guys in a whole heap of trouble, pulling up the pace. They are doing some 25 plus miles an hour as we uh, crest the, the top of, um, of Brick Wall. The road, the, the road not closed, but these guys continue. The officials need to do something about it. They have to stay on the right hand side of the road regardless. They are trying to stay on. The Guatemalan are definitely turning up. Got the riders in a whole heap of trouble, folks. The two Guatemalan hula hook and young Diego, uh, a young uh, Melvin, Melvin, Melvin Torres. Melvin nickname is the Gorilla, yes. Melvin nickname is the Gorilla. They call him the Gorilla. So that's his name. Herman said he knew the nickname the um, Jet Fuel, but it's young um, Phenom, young Phenom on the front, where's number one? He's been marked by um, the Guatemalan Hula Hook, Ronnie Hula Hook, number 62, Bob Gabriel, Carlton Robinson moving up, Oscar Curious moving up, Javin Gonzalez, the Mike Man is moving up, folks, um, Jurgensen rides for Jaggers is moving up, and they are all, they are a little lull, a little lull as we approach Ontario where the next prize will be given. Then after that is Blackman Eddie. We see Brandon Morgan, Brandon Morgan, driving for the wheel of the young Phenom who is out front, the young Phenom out front. And Brandon Morgan is about to make contact with young Phenom. And again, it's the Guatemalan Hula Hook. Hula Hook on the pace. He's looking back to see what damage he's doing. Hula Hook on the front. Hula Hook. Closing the gap to the two lead riders. That's the two leaders right there. Young Phenom and Winnie. And there's Hula Hook. He's out of his saddle. He's dancing that pedal as he closes the gap. The, the Montgomery is saying 27 miles an hour. There's Hula Hook. Wait, 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 wait. And here goes on the outside. Diego, Diego. Diego Moreira. Diego Moreira. The Guatemalans hitting left, right, and center. He's been joined by young Kenyon Sanford. Here goes Javin Gonzalez. Where's number three? Javin Gonzalez, G Flow rider, joining the Guatemalan number 72. Diego Moreira, he's looked back to see who is on his wheel. The Belizean are marking the Guatemalans, they are not allowing them to escape. Here comes Byron Pope, here comes young Leon Leslie as we head into Ontario Village, folks. The Guatemalan is asking for help, but no one wants to help him. Nobody's going to assist Diego as he look back here to see where the riders are and they're all coming back together. It's one huge field, folks. The race is under fire, like I said. This is the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. I know Alfred is up above. He's enjoying himself. He said he didn't believe that he could put on such a show. And here goes, um, there goes um, 
rain and rain and matos known as Cito Matos, race number seven uh, thirty-seven rides for M and M's. The M and M's are not melting. They are dishing out pain out here. And in hot pursuit is um, Joshua Fuller and um, Hula Hook, been marked by Young Fina and Baby Chav, Young Ivan Osha, number thirty-seven on the attack. Richard Santiago rides for police. Immediately he's been marked by um, Melvin Torres. Carlton Robinson, here goes number 72 again, the Guatemalans, they are right up in the arrowhead. All the Guatemalans are up in the arrowhead, 27 miles an hour. These guys snake across the road, they need to stay on the right hand side. The officials tell them at the start, so my somebody get DQ, they look for it. <laughs> but folks, they are looking back. And here goes Kenyon Sanford again, Kenyon Sanford again. The guys are flat with this bump as we head into Ontario Village. Folks, after that is Black Man Eddy, um, cash prize, like you can see, like I said, um, and uh, Black Man Eddy, it's $300, uh, 250 by uh, nobody, Stuart and Robert, the Stuart and Robert family in loving memory of um, Lerner, Audrey, and Barbara Rabatou, who big up the family there and upon return the prize they, they got next 250 along with other prize that is down there already but you can see out front is young um, young Kenyon Sanford out front joining them dancing with the pedal Javin Gonzalez Javin Gonzalez and the wheel of Javin Gonzalez is um, Diego Moreira race number 72 the Guatemalan along with Joshua Fuller as they close the gap to Kenyon it's all Jivan Gonzalez, folks, Jivan Gonzalez on the pace. He's looking back to see who's on his wheel. Here comes the Redders. Here comes Bob Gabriel. Attack after attack, folks. Fireworks after fireworks. The tarmac is heating up today, folks. I hope you guys are enjoying. Continue to share the live. Continue to share the live. All of the people on the wake up, make sure you have you know, food and drinks. Already past mile 56 here on the Judge Price Highway, the beautiful highway where they hold such a cross country. <coughs> Take part. Driving on the front, young Phenom, baby Chav, and the wheel of Phenom is Diego Moreira out of Guatemala. Folks, um, Ronnie Hula Hook is the Central American champion, road champion, um, champion. He won the he won the King of the Mountain in the Vuelta, the Independence, the, the Dominican Republic. Is the U what the 23 champion of Guatemala, national road champion. It's a champion of Honduras, it's a champion of the recent race, La Paz. So, Hula Hook have a long list of, um, long list of stuff that he achieved in cycling. But it's young Phenom on the front, young Phenom on the front as we head into Entaro. And the whole field is back together. The whole field is back. I see attack again. Attack again by it's Hula Hook and the attack. Hula Hook and the attack. He's immediately marked by by Young by Young Munoz. Hula Hook and the attack. Here goes Young Devante Bennett closing the gap. Here goes Young Finam closing the gap. Wasani Castro riding for rolling shutters closing the gap. And there's Hula Hook dishing out some pain. Hula Hook dishing out some pain. He's doing some 35 playing five miles an hour. Hula Hook doing some pain and a headwind. Hula Hook. Hula Hook on the front. Look at young um, um, young Munoz, like he's in a time trial mode, and young and hula hook. Just talk about this man and look at him, the pain he have been dishing out. A small gap to the rest of riders. Hula hook been followed by um, Munoz, been followed by um, young Devante Bennett, young Phenom. What's on the car show? We see other riders trying to come across. We can see that look like um, Bob Gable, Bob Gable over, all over his machine. Uh, is, um, hula Hook pull off the pace, but definitely I know that Monk Hope, Hula Hook and the Guatemalans will definitely light up the tarmac folks, so we we'll see some separation definitely, so these guys, uh, I think they have to ride defensive, let the Guatemalans attack, jump on their wheel, but Belizean, they attack Belizean, so they definitely, I guess uh, the prize when they want out there, the amount of prizes, they say they're not allowing the Guatemalans to carry some of the prizes, but Young Fina and Baby Chav on the front, so he's definitely feeling good to be on the front that early in the race. He's definitely feeling his legs today. He just won the Digi Tour last weekend, a three days event. And here goes Hula Hook again. Here goes Hula Hook again. He's sprinting for that prize. Hula Hook sprinting for that prize, and he will capture the prize easy. Hula Hook claiming the prize here at Black Man Eddie. Yes, the prize 
the man got cash prizes, so the man really studied that that was a nice cash prize. A small gap have been opened up, hula hook and the attack. I can see Oscar in that group, I can see Wasan in that group, I can see young Fina, Luan top guns in this group. Yes, hula hook on the front, we can see um, um, Javin Gonzalez, we can see Carlton Robinson and Wasani Kasha, low on big fish, they look for run down, they, they come vehicle have to move, move, come vehicle, you are right in front of these guys, you have to get out of the way, step on it, step on it, and it's hula hook, hula hook, driving it, these are the rolling hills, folks, separation will start to happen, low on big cats are out here, hula hook, dancing out of the pedal, lifting the pace to some 26 miles an hour, as we go up this lane climb, Wasani Kasha, and the wheel of hula hook, there's Oscar Kios, the defending champion, Young Fina and Baby Chav, Javin Gonzalez, and Carlton Robinson, these are the big fish, these are the big guys that you will see in the whole Saturday Cross country race. Hula Hook is telling him, let's, let's, let's rotate. Hula Hook is telling him, let's rotate. But this guy, let me see, he sees the gap. We can see these guys are trying to come across, but Oscar coming on the pace. Oscar is coming on the pace. We are far approaching the infamous Monk Hope where more separation will happen. And I believe that these guys don't work. Hula Hook will try to attack them, folks. We are um, approaching the roundabout here at the Spanish lookout um, entrance and young phenom baby chav rides for g flow on the front followed by driving gonzalez um carlton robinson hula hook wasani kasho and oscar curious six riders six riders have break clear folks and we are enter into the rolling hills of the Cayo district folks in Cayo come out we'll be there in a short while we make a turn at the um roundabout there at loma Luz. The next prize is at Monk Hope, Unitedville. $500. Vegas distributors, yes, $500 on top of Monk Hope. Who will get a prize? Let us see who will get a prize. Six riders out front, a gap to the field. These are six really great guys. Ronnie Hula Hook, Wasani Kasho, the Trevenin Champ, Oscar Kuros, Young Fina and Baby Chav. Javin Gonzalez and Carlton Robinson, blue on big cats up here, folks. As we end, we are almost, and Monk Hope will give you the action straight into your living room on this beautiful Sunday morning, the 25th of February 2024. The excitement have built over this race over the past few months. It's been building up, and it's here. It's almost, it's, it's, it's eventually here. We want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family for hosting this big event. Here comes young. Young Ivan Osha have made it across, and guys all over their machine. We can see young, um, we can see young Alana Will Jr., young Alana Will Jr., and the, the riders are making it back, folks. This will be a fireworks on top of the. Let us see who will make it to the top of the infamous Monk Hope. Yes, folks, we are just beside the riders. There's young Phenom on the pace. We are approaching the climb, and young Phenom out of the cell. Young Phenom out of the cell. You have opened a gap. He's been marked by Carlton Robinson. Here goes Hula Hook, Hula Hook. Chasing for the wheel of um, of the two riders, it's um, di uh, uh, young um, Phenom, young Phenom all over his machine, folks. As we approach the the, the, the incline, it's young um, Phenom being followed by, and here goes Hula Hook in third place. Here goes Oscar Kuros, four riders here. Um, when he just passed, um, I've caught up the young Phenom, and here goes Hula Hook. Hula Hook closing the gap. Let us see who will reach at the top first, and side by side, and these guys are doing some. 16 miles and up at this incline, we can see the prize at the top. Who will get a prize? Four riders side by side, five riders here goes when you're out of the cell again. Out of the cell is sprinting for the prize, sprinting for the prize. Let me see who will get a prize. It seems that it's between Young Phenom. Young Phenom will claim a prize. Young Derek Chavaria closing the gap. He will win that prize, followed by Carlton Robinson. A gap has been put on. Yes, these guys have Hula Hook in trouble. These guys hit Hula Hook. He didn't, um, he wasn't able to stay on the wheel. Uh, look at the expression on these guys. And here comes uh, oh, Oscar. Um, Javin Gonzalez and Hula Hook as we pass mile 59. We are in the village of Unitedville. Up next is Floral Park. The bull, the bull will be given up, folks. The bull at Monk, uh, at Floral Park. That's the next big prize given up. And that bull is going to be given by uh, the Honorable Melin Espat. Melin Espat. Yeah, so the $500 was won by. Look at the baby chap. He's sucking for because he put hula hook in a whole lot of trouble we can see the group at the back it's five top guns at the um the top here they have lost someone who, who was there who made it there? somebody else made it there but it's um oh wasani kasha is no longer there so oscar is telling me let's let's work so oscar looking up there's um carlton robinson driving gonzalez 
young Fina and Baby Chav. So our top four, top four of our riders are here. The defending champion, the defending cross country champion, Oscar Kuros, Jivin Gonzalez, Carlton Robinson, young Fina and Baby Chav, and Hula Hoop. These are the five riders up front. We are heading down the run down doing some um, 33 miles an hour. The G4 fans I know are at Jargeville awaiting the arrival of this event. The, the Jargeville fans are one of the biggest. In fact, the whole West are the biggest cycling fans in the country of Belize, folks, as we make our way down this hill at Unitedville. These guys are doing some 35 miles an hour. There's Oscar Young Finham driving the pace, followed by Oscar Curious, followed by Carlton Robinson. Here goes Hula Hook and the wheel of Hula Hook. Driving Gonzalez, we can see the riders way at the back and five riders. Will these five riders all ride all the way to the city or will they be caught? But we do have a Guatemalan here. We have two riders, two top riders from G Flow. We have Carlton Robinson, Alliance United, and the defending champ, Oscar Curious, paying keen attention. The man say come out to, def to defend. Folks continue to share the live. This race will just build and build and build. And again, the, big up the people bringing life into your living room. Want to big up the Tillet Farm from Frank Eddy's um, village. Want to big up the Alfred Fox Memorial Foundation, the family bringing it live. Want to big up Mr. Steve Benedict, Auto Sales Incorporated in New York. You can reach it. Yeah, the, the bull greater than expert. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So who will win that bull, folks? Who will win that bull? I want to big up my driver. Bird Banks, I want to big up Fitzgerald Palace Joseph for Leonard's you know, power rocket. I want to big up the CB for um, running the race. It's not an easy job. If you folks were just watch and enjoy the race, there's a whole lot go behind the scenes because I do a whole lot of work and I don't feel like I do half like with Miss Rita, with Miss Debs, yeah. with the Cycling Federation, Miss Leticia. I have so much work that I, that I job. Uh, Mr. Arthur's, you know, all the guys out on the, on the road. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big team, it's, it takes a huge team to bring this um, this race alive with this Byron Pope on the front. So folks, we head into Floral Park, Byron Pope on the front, followed by Diego Moreira. There's young Leon Leslie, Big Bob Gabriel. We know there will be definite fireworks on Floral Park to win the bull, the bull given by Honorable Million S. Pat. As we make a way onto Floral Park, you can see the riders and the, the government is saying these guys are doing some 35 miles an hour down this run down. And then shortly we'll be on the climb at Floral Park where Alfred Park Salah the word brought back this prize. They definitely, you know, that used to be for crowd incorporate. And here goes the man, Guatemalan, Guatemalan digs, Melvin Torin Torres, San Christopher. He had blown the rest of smithereens, folks. We are headed into Jardville, and the bull was captured. The bull went across the border, folks. So I tell you that trailer, the, the, the border, the wait for put a bull in and get across. And Diego is calling his teammate, Diego Morales. I mean, I mean, um, Melvin Torres won that prize. Melvin Torres, the man that had a nasty fall. You can see all the road rush, the road, um, uh, wait, wait, wait. when he hit the, um, the, the tarmac, he said, so the man is upset. The man said, I will definitely do it today. Here comes young, this young kid, young Ivan Usher, driving Gonzalez, approaching his, his backyard. There is um, Hula Hook, look at his mouth. His mouth is gasping for air, folks, as um, Javin Gonzalez calling up for troops. Here comes, here comes Carlton Robinson, and we can see the whole field of riders just behind. Yes, we can see Oscar, we can see... Um, Goran Gable, but it's Javin Gonzalez, race number three. There's um, Carlton Robinson. They are working like a team to chase back the Guatemalan. There's Mike Burgess, big cracker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, um, Carlton Robinson about to catch up to Belvin Torres. So the Guatemalan have been 
bin Katan im Medele, Hula Huck out of the saddle, Hula Huck im Middle of the Kat is teamed, Hula Huck out of the saddle, Hula Huck out of the saddle. He's been joined by Gavin Gonzalez as we head into Judgeville. Come out, G Flow fans, come out, G Flow fans. It's, it's a Hula Huck on the PS driving it, doing some 26 miles and up this incline. Man, I could have probably uh, ride this almost about uh, 10 miles an hour. These guys are doing almost three times the pace that I would be doing. It's Hula Huck on the PS, followed by Gavin Gonzalez, followed by, um, um, by Melvin Torres. And here are the builders, there are the builders, there are the builders adding to the excitement of this race here on the George Price Highway as young um, Ivan Usher rides for Rolling Shutter, number 22, young Ivan Usher, very impressed with this young kid, he's been riding extremely good, on the wheel, Melvin Torres, there is Carlton Robinson, a small gap to the riders and the three riders up front, it's um, Melvin Torres driving again, the kid is relentless, that's the reason they call him the Gorilla, the Gorilla have escaped from the cage, the Gorilla have escaped from the cage, young Melvin Torres out of Guatemala, he is the current junior champion for Guatemala and he's showing these guys I am a gorilla, I will deal with you guys. Here goes Carlton Robinson from Alliance United. Here comes, here comes Diego, here comes um, Diego Mor uh, Mor Morera, Diego Morera. OMG, OMG, the Guatemalans have come to invade the turf and they definitely put in a whole lot of pain into the legs of our, our guys and here comes i can see absolutely lozano coming across lead all over his machine at least coming over baron pope on the front followed by um diego morera look at the guys mouth they are wide open as they as they uh, i'm heading judgeville i can see the g flow fans i can see the g flow fans all out supporting the race i can see um Josette and the whole G4 fans, there they are, cheering on, Miss Jennifer is not here, she's probably watching in on her TV on vacation, but he said we'll be back for the whole Santa Cross country race, and Byron Pope, Byron Pope, then an attack, there's another station prize here, the judge will, judge will, so like Byron Pope will get a prize, Byron Pope heading for that prize, let me see, a judge will, Byron Pope taking that prize, a judge will, one, one night stay for two, Russell Langsworth, Yes, Baron Pope claiming that prize at Jargeville. There we can see um, young Chavaria, um, Patricia Chavaria, handing out water to the guys. And on the pace, Diego Moreira, followed by Brandon Morgan. Brandon Morgan, where's number 19? Brandon Morgan, where's number 19? That's his birthday, number two. We share the same birthday, Brandon Morgan, rides for Rolling Shutter. There's young Leon Leslie. There's Wasani Castro. Uh, and right now, the one Guatemalan and all Belizean in this group. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine riders. There's Baron Pope who claimed that prize just now. Folks, the views have gone over a thousand. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying. I hope I keep you guys on the pint of your seat. I hope you're enjoying. Yesterday's race was a appetizer. This is the main course for us. This is the main course. Yes. Uh, my son gave me one, one phrase, he said the, um, the Guatemalans um, the Guatemalans they have a party and not everybody is welcome yes the Guatemalans they are, they are shaking, they are, they are rattling the, um, the, the, the shakas at the party but uh, not all are invited so we head into Central Farm let me see what price will be at Central Farm Central Farm is two nights stay with breakfast Calpech Resort. So, two nights still, let's see who will get a prize. On the front, Brandon Morgan, right for Rolling Shutter. Here, taking over the pace, Diego Moreira, Young Leon Leslie, Wasani Castro, Atli Lozano, Hollister Baptist, Young Kevin Jell, and out point. We can see Hula Hook coming again. Hula Hook coming at a buzzer speed. Hula Hook coming at a buzzer speed. Hula Hook blowing past the group like a bullet out of the gun. Yes. Hula Hook, where's number 66, the Guatemalan, dealing some pain into the legs of the riders. Immediately, Wasani Castro jumping on the wheel of Hula Hook, Hula Hook, looking back to see who, what he have done, what damage he have done, and he's definitely turning up the pace, doing some 30 miles an hour. Hula Hook looking back, Wasani Castro coming out on the front, and here comes Diego, the Guatemalans, the Guatemalans, they put people out on the party, yes, the Guatemalans is, you know, blacking man from the door, you, you can't enter, you're not invited to this party, it's the Guatemalan, Diego, I um, mean, it's Diego, Morera on the front. Diego asking for help. Uh, Atli looked at him and smiled and said, Go down the road. <laughs> Atli, and here goes Wasani Kasho. Wasani Kasho sprinting out. Wasani Kasho all out of his saddle. Raise number 18. Wasani Kasho 
we can see here goes hula hook i can see hula hook again i can see byron poor pain and attention as he can young young leslie and it's all um it's all wasani castro as we enter central park i guess wasani castro will claim the prize here so yes we can see the flag it's um wasani castro claiming that prize here at central farm and we can see the group of riders coming at the back Al Wasani Castro. Next prize coming up. Esperanza, $200. Miss Erlis Belizean Gill. Big up yourself, Miss Erlis Belizean Gill, for that beautiful prize. Miss Erlis Belizean Gill, there's a $200 prize here um, at, um, at Esperanza. I know the whole crew there, Miss Erlis, really supports cycling, sweetie. I know James Santos, Nehali. Look at Miss Kirsten. Um, Miss Kirsten. Um, Siberanes that they have watch party in New York. One well, big up the um, the judge Gab Foundation. They, they give two hundred and fifty dollars towards the cars. As we are on the stretch, there's Gina Lovell, and the group is about to close. Wasani Castro. We are heading towards Esperanza. Like I said, two hundred dollars station prize. It's early Belizean Gill. And um. We can see Fernando Rosado, the guys up on the left hand side, they're right in the lane. There is, um, this is um, the rider, Diego Moreira. There's Leon Leslie again, again, the Guatemalan. Brandon Catus, Brandon Catus attacking with him. Diego Moreira, number 72, he's been marked by Leon Leslie. Um, young uh, Kevin Gentle, young Ivan Osha, Fernando Rosado, um, Carlton Robinson, they have their cart, they have cart, um, they have cart up to, to, um, Wasani Castro, an attack again by Fernando Rosado, where's number 34? Um, Alliance United out again. Here goes uh, Melvin Torres, Melvin Torres from Guatemala, and his teammate um, Diego Moreira sprinting for that prize, sprinting for this prize. That was close. It seems like Carlton Robinson have kept, um, captured the prize from Moreira, from, um, from Melvin Torres. Yes, they guys sprint all over for that prize, like the, the finishing of the prize. Look at it. <laughs> but Carlton look like he's feeling good. There's no sign of suffering. Carlton face is nice and cool and calm. But young um the gorilla, the gorilla is out of the cage. The gorilla is out of the cage. He have cut up Carlton Robinson and he said, listen to me. I will escape from the cage. The gorilla, the um young junior national champ of Guatemala, Melvin Torres blazing a trail here and uh, tarmac as we head towards Esperanza two riders up front Carlton Robinson and Melvin the Gorilla Torres out front out of Guatemala this man had a nasty fall imagine this man had a nasty fall yesterday the man hit the pavement at some 30 miles an hour we see stone all in his face he was bleeding from his face from his knees from his side but he's here today again and he's taking revenge out of these guys he said I hurt myself yesterday and it was all his fault he touched the rear wheel of, of running hula hoop when he will look back to see where the gap was but he's out here today escaping from the cage the gorilla have escaped from the cage and here comes young elwin humes El young Elwin Hume followed by dijan hyde and the wheel of dijan hyde is diego Moreira, the guatemalan and look at the riders most of the riders are lined up and here goes diego here goes diego 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 moral diego Moreira, diego Moreira on the front followed by young leon leslie as we approach um, Esperanza, so we're not far from the, the turning point there in um, Loma Luz. I know the fans will be out in full effect there in Cayo. They will line the, the highway as we make our way into um, to Saginacion, Santa Elena. The twin tongues of the cross country champion, the uh, Valvoline team, the home of the Valvoline team. Here goes Goran Gabriel dancing on a huge gear. Let us see, he's been immediately marked by Diego Moreira. Here comes Brandon Catus. Here comes Tyrant Tasha. Young Dijan Hyde. Young Kenyon Sanford. Fernando Rosado. Here comes young, um, young Ivan Usher. Angel Zib. Renan Matos. Young Christopher Witt. See Baron Pope looking in. Tyrant Tasha on the attack. We passed mile 66. Mark on uh, 66, number 8. Tyrant Tasha dancing with our cell right for G Flow. As we head up to the little climb there at, Flo at um, Esperanza. Folks, the live has been brought to you by Tillit Farm out of Frank Eddy's farm. 
by the Alfred Fox Memorial Family, by Steve Benedict Auto Sales Incorporated in New York. You can reach him at 929-240-8765 by Odo's Bike Shop, believe, by Odo's Bike Shop, and by Father and Son Bike and Electronic Store on Daly Street. We want to big up the Belize Jude Foundation, who is providing 100 food for the cyclists after this event. We want to big up the Cycling Federation of Belize, you know, running this race smoothly. We want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial Family, all the family, all the fans, all the, the sponsors of this event. You guys made this race a success today. It is, we can see the flag waving in the distance at Esperanza. It's a $200 cash by Miss Earliest Belize and Gill. Yes, Miss Earliest Belize and Gill. And we see young um, Kenyon Sanford on the attack. It's been marked by Hula Hook. Who will it be? Kenyon Sanford, Hula Hook. There is um, Carlton Robinson. It's been marked by young um, the Gorilla. The Gorilla is here. There is, um, here goes um, Hula Hook. Hula Hook. Hula Hook. Hula Hook will claim that prize. Hula Hook. Ronnie Hula Hook claim that prize. He's been followed by Carlton Robinson and the Gorilla. Melvin Torres. Here goes Javin Gonzalez, number three, trying to close the gap. Hula Hook on the front, pushing the pace hard, doing some 30 plus miles an hour. Hula Hook, number 66, running Hula Hook. He's been followed by Carlton Robinson. Here goes young Gorilla, Melvin Torres. Here, here goes Javin Gonzalez, a gap. We can see young um, uh, Maran Munoz all over his machine, trying to close the gap. These guys are still doing an excess of 32 miles an hour as Hula Hook pulls off the pace. And his, his teammate taking up the pace, the Gorilla, Melvin Torres, looking back, seeing the damage that he has caused. Young, um, um, young Munoz, mouth wide open as he makes his, he make contact with the, 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 the four lead riders. Two Guatemalan, three Belizean have escaped from the group of riders. Yes, as we are approaching, um, we're not far from the half, uh, from, from the turning point. It's Javin Gonzalez on the front, followed by Hula Hook, followed by Carlton Robinson, the gorilla, um, young um, Munoz. And here comes young Delton Rojas and young, um, and young Ivan Osha. Delton Rojas rode across. Delton Rojas out of Corozal rode across. You have joined the, the group of, um, so it's now it's, it's four, it's seven riders, seven riders. Look at the young. I'm very impressed with, I say, with this young Ivan Osha. I call the man Ugoberto Uran. Who knows Ugoberto Uran? He is the, 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 the big, um, tough Colombian rider. We ride the Tour de France, but it's all hula hook on the front. Hula hook driving it, doing some 30 miles an hour. Hula hook looking back, asking who won the pace. He's looking back. He's seen the damage that he has caused. It's on the pace now. It's um, Carlton Robinson, followed by young. Young uh, Munoz, Marion Munoz, have that, um, that style all over his machine. Race number 12, rides for Valvoline. We're heading into Valvoline territory. Yeah, there's uh, the Valvoline um, support crowd. There's uh, um, Rafael Choto handing over water. Folks, as we head into it, just about a mile from the turnabout, we can see the fans in the distance. There's the official on the front, Munoz on the front, followed by um, the Gorilla, Melvin Torres, Hula Hook, Javin Gonzalez, Carlton Robinson, Delton Rojas, and young Ivan Osha. And we can see there's a gap to the, to the group. So we have seven riders, seven riders taking over the pace again. Hula Hook, there's a prize here at the, the Hector Creek Bridge. Who will get a prize? It's, a, it's, it's Hula Hook again. Hula Hook taking that prize. Let me see who that prize is being given by. The prize is being given by, it's a $50. Sarita gift, yeah. Rosino's imports giving that prize. So Hula Hook claim that prize, Hula Hook and the PS. Yes, folks, Hula Hook out of Mexico. I mean out of Guatemala. Hula Hook out of Guatemala. So, folks, sometimes I make mistake, but please forgive me. And 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 Hula Hook is telling me, let's pay us, let's let's rotate. Hula Hook is trying to organize. Uh, 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 Hula Hook is trying to organize with the guys. Here comes Oscar Curious have come across. Oscar Curious have come across with Greg Lovell. Yes, Oscar Curious. They they um the, the, the defending champ, the uh, defending cross country champ, have come across. There is young um, Munoz on the front, followed by Hula Hook. They are the the, the Kaya fans. The Kaya fans are out in full effect, folks. They are out in full effect. Look at the um, what a blue and blue jersey. Yes. Yes, uh, I can see Mr. I can see Mr. Joe Gab. I can see Mr. Joe Gab. The family um, giving the prize in honor of um, Joe. Um, um, Judge Gab Senior, Judge Gab Senior, the um, foundation as the, how much riders, some 10 riders, 
Right off, here comes the main field of riders being led by um, Rain and Matos. And here are the other riders coming in the distance. Some 82 riders started this morning, and the pack definitely is not 82 anymore. As we see, um, Rain and Matos, as the guys make their way around the roundabout, and the back folks. OMG, these guys are flying, folks. So we have we are on our way back. We are heading back. We head back towards Belize City, where this race will commence, folks. All the fans they have out their phone, on, the chair on, the riders as we make our way back. They are the Beautilers, they are the Beautilers, they are, the, they are Alfred Parks family. I want to big up my driver, Mr. Wilbert Banks. I want to big up Fitzgerald Palace Joseph for this rocket. I want to big up the people bringing alive into your living room. I want to big up Till It From, from Frank Eddie's village. I want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family. I want to big up Steve Benedict Arthur Sales out of New York. You can reach him at 929-240-8765 by Ordonis Bike Shop and by father and son bike and electronic store in the LA Street in Belize. Young, there's a gap to Young Kenyon Sanford. The pace is picking up. The pace is some 35 miles an hour. We are just behind the main, this is the group of the main field of riders. I'll give you some names. I can see Filton Butler is here. I see Quinton the Badass is still here. Um, I can see big Philip Burns freewheeling. I'm not sure what's going on. I can see Hulk just heading in. I don't know if he's been dropped or he had some kind of mechanical. I see can be Benjamin Flowers still here. I can see Big Pop Gabriel. I can see the Pest. I can see Roque Matos. I can see Luis Ortiz. I can see young Jamal Murray. I can see Gian Lino, Smokes Gladden, Tyrone Tasha, um, Richard Santiago, Joshua Rivas, um, the Mike Man. I can see Elwin Humes. I can see Jose Choto, um, Gerson Lovell. Dijan, um, Peter Choto, young Christopher Wade, um, Wendell Jr., there's um, Dylan, there is um, Baron Pope, and all the riders are still, and the gap still up front, and on the front, Sito, Ma, um, Sito Matos asking, he's saying, the guys are right there, Sito Matos asking for help, but they are not assisting him. The Sito Matos still on the pace, Sito Matos still on the pace. Man, I hope the MMs don't melt. He's left all alone to try to close that gap. He's doing some 26 miles an hour. It's all Cito Matos from the left. Um, Loma Luz Boulevard is all Cito Matos trying to close the gap. The MMs is trying to close the gap. He's all alone out front trying to close the gap. And we move up to the technical course. We see another right off the back. We can see Mr. George Lovell off the back. So Douglas is um, sending through the traffic. So he's sending through the traffic, folks. Yeah, 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 it's morning, morning. Yeah, a lot of fans, you know, watch uh, you know, doing this streaming, they get very popular, so much people know you. Call me Mr. Smithereens and all kind of thing, but I hope you folks are enjoying wherever you are. We can see um, Liam Stewart just entering. Liam Stewart have been, I don't know if he, Liam Stewart definitely had some kind of mechanical. He's way, way behind. There's no way he'll make it back to this group of riders. We are just behind the, 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 the lead group of riders. We can see the Guatemalan. We can see Hula Hook. He's looking back to see where the riders as we head back towards um, Esperanza. Again, Hula Hook on the attack. Let me see where the next prize will be given. It's the gas station. Shell gas station. And Hula Hook of attack. Hula Hook of attack. He's been joined by, um, he's been joined by um, Oscar Curos and um, Carlton Robinson. And driving Gonzalez Strand, we, 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 we are heading, just uh, passing through um, Esperanza, heading towards um, running Dublin, this long run down, beautiful. So on the return, the people look for blow to my hand after they hold it. They are life. Okay, so the prize began, um, the, the, the had a prize that the gas station. Another uh, Mawahu meter by Mr. Lincoln. Red Creek Bridge was a 150 gift certificate by Rosino's um, Imports. Uh, Esperanza, um, Miss Early's Belize and Gil given another $200. So I think that Guatemala will probably win that prize again. But three riders have escaped off the front. We are here. Javin Gonzalez trying to close that gap uh, at Central Farm. There is a gift certificate. At Judgeville, there's a $200 prize. We move up to the Tech Dollar Coast. We move up to the Tech Dollar Coast where three riders have escaped. Three top riders. Hula Hook. 
um, defending champion Oscar Kiros and Carlton Robinson have blown away from the field. Yes, Oscar Kiros and the front. These guys are doing some 32 miles an hour. Oscar pull off number 10. Here, yeah, Carlton Robinson and the pace followed by Hula Hook. They have definitely opened the gap and the riders. We can see riders stream all over the highway. They stretch out like stretch my guts. I can see Mr. Wagner just heading into Cayo. It's Hula Hook on the front. The Guatemalan Hula Hook on the front, followed by Oscar Kiros, followed by Carlton Robinson, three heavy hitters, three heavy hitters. And uh, Hula Hook said, you guys are the only two guys that are invited to the party. We can see the riders, we can still see Javin Gonzalez. You know, it's all Javin Gonzalez trying to close that gap. The, um, the, the, it was a group of about 10 riders when they head into Cayo, into San Ignacio and Santa Elena. And it's Hula Hook on the front, Hula Hook driving some 26 miles an hour, followed by Oscar Curious, the defending champ young Carlton Robbins folks give me that thumbs up if you are enjoying the live if you are enjoying the race folks how you like the race you love the race is it a nice race the second running of the Alfred Parks and this race will only get bigger and bigger and a lot of huge prizes at this uh, very moment the junior race is going on so Mr. Guns is bringing that live into your living room I'm not sure who is bringing the youth race but there's three races going at the same time yes Mr. Guns bringing you the junior female race I think that starts at nine o'clock Yes, all hula hook on the front, hula hook on the front, followed by, and it's Jivin Gonzalez bringing back the crew, Jivin Gonzalez, Martin, bringing back the three riders, the technical course, Carlton Robinson, get on the pace, and here comes Jivin Gonzalez, Jivin Gonzalez, he's been followed, here goes the gorilla, here goes the gorilla, there's a station prize, and it's hula hook, hula hook, hula hook, hula hook, it's all hula hook, hula hook driving, and here is um, Carlton Robinson, Carlton Robinson will take that prize from hula hook, Carlton Robinson snatched the prize, he said, you want to invite me to party and not give no prize? So Hula Hook taking that, um, I mean, Carlton Robinson taking that prize from Hula Hook. So Carlton Robinson just claimed that prize, followed by Hula Hook and young, um, here comes um, young Maron Munoz, young Maron Munoz, followed by young um, Ivan Usher, the gorilla, Melvin Torres, Oscar Curios, young Deltan Rojas. Young Fina and Baby Chav in that group. And Munoz, Munoz decide that he will pace. Munoz said, we'll rotate, we'll rotate. Munoz on the front, followed by young Ivan Osha. Here comes Mel, uh, Melvin Torres, the gorilla, and jumping on the wheel of the two guys. Oscar Curious, you can see the pain in the face of the riders. You can see even Oscar, see Oscar Mout, he's sucking, he's sucking for, for all the action. He could um, get in even the Guatemalan there. The gorilla has his mouth wide open. The guys grab him back. Put in at the cage, but he said, I'll rattle you, I'll rattle this cage again and try to get out. It's a gorilla up front, Melvin Torres, followed by Oscar Curios, young Fina and Baby Chav, young Delta and Rojas, Carlton Robinson, um, Gregory Lovell, young Ivan Usher, Hula Hook, and Javin Gonzalez, loan because of a serious gap to the second group. The next group come in, a serious gap, and young Fina and the PS doing some. 23 miles an hour as we head into Central Farm, folks. So Central Farm, it's a gift certificate at running double. Okay. Judgeville, the uh, full park, the sheep going back. Um, Judgeville, it's a $200 loyalty wine. The sheep is given given by Mr. Um, Honorable Melin Espat. So it's all hula hook on the front hula hook as we pass through Central Farm. So the next prize coming up is at Judgeville. And it's all hula hook on the front hula hook being followed by uh, hula hook being followed by Taking over the pace now is the defending champ, Oscar Curios, Young Munoz and the pace. Definitely war out here on the tarmac, folks. There's a lot of war out here on the tarmac. There is Hula Hook as he dancing out of that pedal. Hula Hook dancing out of that pedal, waving his arm to Young Phenom, taking over the pace. So the guys have settled on a bit. 
and still a huge gap so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven riders eleven riders in this front group a lot of heavy hitters Carlton Robinson young Delton Rojas young um, Phenom Baby Chav young Ivan Osha Maran Munoz Oscar Curios Hula Hook Gregory Lovell the Gorilla Melvin, Tor Melvin Torres and Javin Gonzalez these are the guys at the front of the race the technical course as we call it as we head into Georgeville folks a beautiful day we want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family for hosting this event this is the second running and it's a huge event must be over 50 station prizes and a lot of finishing prizes I see for a refrige for stove all kind of thing you wear so even the women who I get to get to get some appliances I, last night when I was at Margarita's bar I feel like I made you know a, 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 a appliance store with so many prizes the trophies all the, the gift laptop all kind of stuff so big kudos to the Alfred Parks and they also stress on education so for the kids you know that then they give um, one one rider they announced at the end of the race one young rider will get to travel to Los Angeles California to go to train with Oh, brother dear, Kaliman Williams. Yes, yeah, so one young rider will be announced at the end of the, um, the event. A rider will get free plane ticket, you know, free stay, and get a chance to train with the likes of Justin, Corey, CJ, you know, the, 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 um, the lesions and the whole crew there in LA. So, see what the, the Alfred Parks family is doing great things. And they get some scholarship from the Ministry of Education, or big up the Ministry of um, education for giving those beautiful prize to the youths because they are not only in sports but we are in education because in the future one of these riders could be the next prime minister and the man I know how to cycle through the money so the man who to cycle through the money spend the money wisely folks young Ivan Osha pull off the pace number 22 followed by um, Oscar Curious young Finan baby chav they have settled down a bit and here comes the group and it's young Devin Aswata young Devin Aswata coming across with Brandon Katoos Elwin Humes um, and here the whole field is a big group is coming across here is young um, Goran Gabriel coming across Smokes Gladden the master is coming across we are passing through Georgeville and there's another attack again Hula Hook Hula Hook saying I'm not having any of this Hula Hook on the attack he won't allow them to come back Hula Hook has been marked oh there's a prize there was a sprint prize and I think Hula Hook got that prize from um, from um, Carlton Robinson, they push for the line as we pass through Jarvis again, the home of the G Flow fans. Yes, it's Hula Hook on the front. Hula Hook being followed by Carlton Robinson here, the G Flow fans, they are out in full effect. You know, G Flow, you will see the red, the red um, shirt of the G Flow fans, and we can see the riders coming at the back. You can see Oscar on the pace, and here goes the G Flow fans, always supporting the G Flow fans. As we make our way to the Tech de la Course, two riders up front, Kula Hook and Carlton Robinson, who are break out of the field. Kula Hook on a massive charge. Kula Hook out of uh, Guatemala. He has a lot of accolades, as people say. He is uh, he's Central American road champion. He won the King of the Mountain um, prize um, jersey in the Vuelta Independencia in the DR. He won. He won a tour of um, Honduras. He he's the current. Um, he just won the tour of Paz. He is the um, champion. The um, Vuelta de Guatemala 2022. I think he's a road champion. U23 road champion. So this man have a lot under his belt. Hula Ho, looking good. I think he was second in the 2019 Holy Saturday Cross Country race. He come with the Padillas. So he's no stranger to the tarmac. He's discussing, he's talking to Carlton Robinson and we can see this Oscar Curious on the front trying to bring back these two riders. It seems that they said, let us wait. So they have sat up, the two riders have sat up, Carlton Robinson and Hula Hook. Carlton won't run from those guys. He won't take this Guatemalan. And so they have come to a lull. He's doing some 20 miles and we can see there's an attack on the outside by his teammate Diego, Diego, Diego. More, more, um, Moreira, Diego Moreira, and the attack being joined by Goran Gabriel, young Ivan Osha. And so there's a prize being given, a sheep is being given here at Fruar Park by the Honorable Million Espat. Monk Hope, there's another prize by uh, 
another price I find the Sierra five hundred dollars how much two hundred dollars that by Vega Imports and Dylan 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 Levy Dylan Levy we're number sixteen rides for Valvoline now he was formerly a rolling shutter rider now he rides for Valvoline he's on the front as we approach the little incline here at Fruel Park. Yes, I am seeing right. Monk Hope and United Villa, $500 price by, by Vega Imports. And then Blackman Eddy, 100 plus 250 uh, That um, and, um, The price of Alpine and the Stuart and Roberto family in memory of um, Audrey. Learner and Barbara Batu and here goes here goes big Bob Gabriel Bob Gabriel heading for the prize Bob Gabriel want to get that sheep Bob Gabriel and and the wheel is the gorilla the gorilla the gorilla and here goes young Finam young Finam young Finam young Finam young Finam and here goes the gorilla young Finam will clear that prize beating out the gorilla for that prize watch out I can see Barbara the confident man mode the man they suck all the accident but this man the reason they call him is a gorilla he's not afraid to rattle the cage yes young um the Junior national champ for Guatemala, young um, Melvin Torres as we run down this full park doing some 37 miles an hour. It's the gorilla in the front. Yes, we we have to speed up because we don't want to use us as a, um, as as a target. So I want to big up my driver again, Mr. Wilbert Banks. I want to big up Fitzgerald Palace Joseph. I want to big up all you fans who are tuning wherever you are across the world. Like I said, too much fun, so I can't call too much of your name because. Uh, People and catch feelings. So you don't call my name, but it's tough. It's a tough job hanging in the back of this motorcycle. Last week I was in studio with the CFB, uh, but people saying they also like that. They like when I'm on the back of the motorcycle, bring the excitement straight into your living room. Here goes the gorilla. Here goes young Finn. I'm telling him something. They are they are communicating. They are communicating. Two riders are communicating. Here comes Bob Gabriel. Here comes Byron Pope. As we go up this little incline here, it's um, young Finn. I'm looking good. Finn, I'm looking good today. Here goes Byron Pope. Byron Pope stepping up the pace. Byron Pope. Baron Pope says, stepping up the pace, Baron Pope dancing out of the cell as we make this link time. Baron Pope open the gap, and here comes, here comes Diego Moreira, having none of that. This is his party, he said, this is, we brought the party to, for, to, uh, from Guatemala to Belize, and Diego Morales and, and Bega, Diego Moreira on the front, followed by um, young Leon Leslie and Brandon Catus. Brandon Catus dancing with the saddle. Brandon, who's a Brandon Catus? No climber. Palas, we talk about Brandon. The pump big tractor. We let big tractor pay off. Brandon Catus looking back here. We'll open a gap. Look at it. He's putting, he's putting a hurting on the Guatemala. And Brandon Catus looking good. Brandon Catus makes his way up the incline here. Brandon Catus, Brandon Catus heading towards um. Look at see if there's a prize given up here. It's all Brandon Catus. As you look back, there's no sign of suffering. Brandon Catus doing some 18 miles on opposite incline. And he's all alone, no one on his wheel. We can see the gap to the rest of rider. It's all Brandon Catus as fans are here. Cheering on Brandon Catus. Brandon Catus rides for Valvoline. He's looking back. He can see the riders in the distance. It's all Brandon Catus. All Brandon Catus as he makes his way up this um, hill. He's gasping for Iano though. He's putting a lot of pain into the legs and we can see it's um, the Guatemalan on the front the Guatemalan it looks like it's in that hula hoop hula hook on the front I'm not sure it looks like a rider gun don't just know but I'm not sure but it's all Brandon Catus Brandon Catus knows there's the five hundred dollar station prize I think Brandon won the station prize yes there's a five hundred dollar station prize being given out at Monk Hope that's the reason why Brandon attack out and then try to see if he could ride for that prize solo Brandon Catus looking back as he's heading towards um, Unitedville where there's that $500 station prize and then at Black Money Day, there's another um, cash prize so if you get if you get a prize there you claim you claim 500 plus 350 or 850 in the bag so Brandon Catus won that prize he's pushing it hard he's giving all he's got he's doing some 34 miles an hour Brandon Catus all alone rides for Valvoline and he's cranking up the pace as we enter into Unitedville, it's all Brandon Catus. He's looking back to see where the riders. We can see them way in the distance. It seems that Brandon Catus might claim this prize. And if he rides all the way to Blackman Eddy, he will pick up another $350 cash prizes. Brandon Catus looking back. We can see the riders coming in the stand. Will Brandon Catus win this prize? Because you have to go up this little incline and these guys are coming like a freight train. It's all Brandon Catus. 
Here are the guys cheering on Brandon Katus. This is Unitedville, Unitedville, Unitedville. We're true in Unitedville. This is where Papa Gabriel come from. Folks, again, we want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family for hosting this second running of this event. Just the second running, and this is a huge event. Monster prizes. Like I said last night, I was at Margarita's Bar, and they got prizes there. And then, um, you know, we want to big up Evan Thompson. You know, Miss Rita, I mean, need to get the Georgian phone from Barrel Boom and Evan Thompson said, Donors, I will take you there. You know, the fans need to see it on YouTube because you have some fans where you know, have Facebook, the older folks don't have Facebook. And so he drove me to the Boom and my son, Georgian Rodonis, lent me his phone. So that's the reason why you guys can see it on YouTube and Facebook. For Remember to like and subscribe to the channel, folks. Yes, it's all Brandon Katus. And there's a gap I can see. One rider coming across. One rider seems, uh, I can see it's the jersey of. Um, I believe it's young Munoz, I'm not sure, but it's all Brandon Katus as he makes his way up this little incline. Brandon Katus giving his all, trying to capture the prize. We're looking to see if we see the officials. And they said it's a $500 cash prize. And Brandon Katus still looking back, still looking back. They are closing the gap to Brandon Katus, but let us see if he will still capture this prize. Folks, tell me if the audio is still good. Is the audio still good? Give me that thumbs up. Let me know on both YouTube and Facebook. Yes, we are entering. We are not too far. <laughs> and Brandon Katu still have a, a nice gap. Brandon Katu still have a nice gap. The fans are cheering on. They are pushing in and they tell me, let's go, let's go. There are the fans cheering on Brandon Katu. Everybody on the phone, tune in the video. That's what happened. A lot of cycling fans. Cycling have definitely come back due to this um, live streaming. The fan base for cycling have grown to a tremendous when I mean like myself, I'm surprised how many lives I touch. People call me secretly and said, Andrew, we don't say much, but we follow everything you do. You know, a lot of family, you know, people all over the world, you know, people at Japan, people at UK, this, uh, the whole Caribbean, Guatemala, Mexico, coming up the whole such a cross country race. You know, I have a huge amount of people watching that race because much more fun as but Brandon Katus head into um, Monk Hope, we can see the officials and the Alban Katus. So no one will capture the prize. Brandon Katus will take that $500 cash prize. Brandon Katus, yes, very smart move by Brandon Katus. As you can see the flag, you can see the official. Brandon Katus, mouth wide open. He have claimed that $500 station prize here at Monk Hope. Yes, been given by. by Vega Imports. Yes, Brandon Katu is dancing out Appel. We are running on Coop. So if you reach um, Black Manede, another $350. So we slow a bit. So Brandon right away, if he wins that prize, then another um, $300 prize begin by Alpine Water and the Stuart and Rabatu family in memory of Lerner, Audrey, and Barbara Rabatu. Big up the Rabatu family. And then they have a, then they have a race coming up in um, September. But for weekend warriors, I believe club riders, so we'll bring that live into your remaining world. So we'll big up the whole Boston crew, Kevin Logan, Nigel, big up on yourself, you guys. Really call me and I really appreciate it. And I appreciate every single one who helps, you know, giving prizes. Watch how much bike the Roberto family send home trainers. They, they bike shop, they fill up now with kids every evening. Kids come and want to ride the bike. So it's definitely on a, on a up. And here comes young, here comes young um, Kenyan Sanford. It seems that the whole group have come back together. Yes, the whole group have come back together. It's young, um, it's Devin Aswete on the front. Follow, um, we can see Brandon up in the front, but in the main group here is um, Devin Aswete followed by young Kenyan Sanford. Munoz, Goran Gabriel, young Finam, Hula Hook, ba ba um, Baron Pope, Delta Rojas, young Christopher Wade. Wasani Castro, Philip Leslie, folks, Philip Leslie from um, of SPD. Um, I can see Richard Vieira. I can see the Mike Man is here. Steven Jurgensen is here. Number 30 rides for Jaggers. And here goes Diego again. Here goes Diego. Diego. Diego Moreira is been marked by Leon Leslie and Atli Lozano. Here goes um, Holster Baptist. We can still. Brandon Catus will claim the prize at Black Man Eddie. So he have put. $850 in the kitty, yes, Brandon Katus putting that $850 in the kitty, he's riding, so he will get the prize at Blackman Eddie. 
uh, it's Diego Moreira and the PS small gap and here comes all the riders as they make their way around the roundabout in the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Cycling Classic I know Alfred Parks looking down feeling very proud the legacy he have left on the country of Belize he's a two-time cross-country champion 1976 and 1979 he rode in solo and when he passed through our park he that word is what stick with the family when he won the bull he tell him catch the bull for me and ever since that word have stick and now this have turned into a monster affair i want to big up the whole family miss rita lincoln eckert um, and all their family members ashton clothing who have get involved you know, in those beautiful jersey all the clothes we are wearing, Ashton clothing, big up on yourself. We know you guys are tuning in, watching on, and we want to thank you all. We want to thank all the volunteers. I know Miss Debs put in a whole lot of work. I see countless hours at night. She's up until late putting in work. This morning, get up early. Last night, she was up. Um, in, there was at Margarita's bar giving, you know, final. And what happens, folks, sometimes people call in last moment, want to give prize, and then there some of the riders not register in time, and, you know, a whole lot of things behind the scenes. So, it's very chaotic, but we have to give kudos and that we'll have a successful um, race today. Brandon Katu is claiming the prize at, at um, Blackman Eddie. Yes, a $200.50 prize by Alpine Water and the Stuart and Robert family in love and memory of Lerner, Audrey and Barbara Robert too. Big up on yourself again. Here goes um, Brandon claimed the prize and Brandon said, OK, now I can take it easy. Brandon is, is, is soft penning as we call it. And we can see young, we can see young Elwin Humes and Fernando Rosada trying to ride over to the wheel of Brandon Catus. So Brandon Catus said, you know something? I claim what I wanted, I got what I wanted. We as Valvoline team, Palastana, go for those prizes. So Palas is a smart guy, you know. Palastana, listen to me. Brandon, if you do your job, you do your job, you go abandon. There's a little waterfall there. And there's Brandon Catus. Brandon Catus claim a prize. Yeah, I'll probably give it a least sign right now, shaking his tongue. And we can see the riders closing the gap to Brandon Catus. Yes, a pleasant good morning to all our cycling fans wherever you are. Like again, I want to big up the sponsor, um, the people bringing the, the, the live into your living room. I want to big up Tillit Farm out of Frank Eddie's village. I want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial Family Foundation. Steve Benedict Arthur Sales out of New York. You can reach him at 929-240-8765. Erdonis Bike Shop. Both Erdonis Bike Shop and father and son bike and electronic store on, um, on Daly Street. I know right there in Chicago, I know the guys there at the Ordinance Bike Shop in Chicago. I know D rides with um, D rides with Baby Chav and Rock Nation rides with Oscar. So they have the D feud going at the bike shop there. I know Big John Allen, um, Sean Allen, they hang out there at the bike shop having a whole heap of fun. Guys, I know you guys are having a party. I know um, Kirsten Sibiran says she have a party there in Long Island. Here goes young um, Devin Asweta, I know Sweetie, Miss Earlies, Jim Sanchez, the whole crew, Oswald Bowman and the crew there in New York having a whole heap of fun. I know the Miami crew, uh, I say Anthony Cat um, Catus, I tell, please don't call me that. Guys, uh, I have to get my, no call me when no race morning. I say Anthony Catus, call me over. Well, Anthony, I cannot answer my phone once there's race. I'm so busy trying to get things together. It's not an easy job. So please, guys, I ask you, don't try to call my phone when there's a major race coming up. I won't be able to answer it. You know, there's too much I know the excitement build so just remember I have you all in my heart you know I remember all you fans all the fans wherever you are I know Mr. Darwin you know I don't know what time the, um, the, the Japan but he's up looking on so a whole lot of fans always tuning so you are very important to the sport of cycling you help build the sport it seems that Erson Butler have abandoned he turned back Erson Butler had his day there is Erson Butler, former president of the Cycling Federation, doing a little selfie video with the riders. As we can see, Holster Baptist on the front as we approach the other village. So, uh, prize, let me see if I get the next list of prizes. Again, big up my driver, Mr. Wilbert Banks. Here comes Brandon Catus. Brandon Cadu still have a lot of energy, man. The man upon the pace again. So we move on to Ontario. There's a prize at Ontario. 
and it's a cell phone by gadgets, a cell phone by gadgets and young, 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 young um, Kenyan Sanford won that prize. Yes, we can see the flag waving and young Kenyan Sanford driving for that prize there at, um, and he captured that, that phone by gadget. Young Kenyan Sanford claiming the prize there at gadget um, at, at Ontario. He's been joined by Hollister Baptist. Number seven. Let me see where the next prize. The next prize is a tea kettle. The next prize is a tea kettle, and it's a Samsung earbug by Margarita's Sports Bar. <laughs> so a tea kettle. The next station prize coming up at Kamalote. There's a hundred dollars by Keith Smith at the West Star. There's a hundred dollars gift certificate. West Star Galindo. So we move up along the course. <laughs> Folks, in this meantime, while we leave the race, I want to pick up the people bringing life into your living room. I want to pick up Tillit Farm. I want to pick up the Alfred Parks Memorial Family Foundation. I want to pick up Steve Benedict Auto Sales out of um, New York. Steve Benedict Auto Sales Incorporated, you can get him at uh, 929 -240 -8765. Uh, we can see the riders coming in the stands. Uh, also, the live is brought to you by Erdones Bike Shop, my father and son bike and electronic store on Daly Street. I want to big up. I want to big up the Jude Belize Foundation. Three riders off the front. Um, Hollister Baptist, Young, Elwin Humes, and Fernando Rosado. Here comes the main field of riders. Here comes the main field of riders being charged by Brandon Catus. We can see Young Leon Leslie. We can see Young... Um, Ivan Osha, the Guatemalan, Diego Moreira. And here comes the main field of riders all together. Shortly we'll join back the race. We can see a, a rider in the field getting service. That seems that it's Oski Curious. Let me see if it's Oski. No, it's Roque Matos, Roque Matos, Roque Matos. Rolling shutters. Uh, there's the ambulance. We can see some rider at the back. Why can it Butler? Can it Butler just behind the group of riders? Yes, good morning, the Alfred Parks crew, Miss Jackie. So we monk back the motorcycle, there's my driver, Mr. Banks. This is the man, I put the trust of my life in his hands. So we leave and we join back the rear folks. As we go through heavy traffic, we go through heavy traffic. Hope you guys are enjoying the race. If you are having fun, give that thumbs up, give that heart. If you are enjoying the race so far, this is the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. Second year running and huge prizes, a successful race. Want to big up all yeah, uh, the officials. This is the ambulance, we're just behind the ambulance as we make the approach, the back of the race. I want to big up my driver taking care of me. There is Alana Will. Alana Will have abandoned the race. He's no longer in the race. As we make our way through the traffic, team police. Uh, so, when you have an experienced driver, you know, you know that will help big time. There's my good friend there, Mr. Moo, the man who takes care of my uh, Peter, Peter Jones is, I mean, um, um, Shane Jones is out of the race. Shane Jones is out of the race. We joined back the we're just behind the main field of riders. We're just behind the main field of riders. There's Benjamin Flowers. But the riders in a stretch, we can see them. Um, it's a general, we can see um, Imani's rider. Um, um, Herman Rikena out of the race. Herman Rikena have abandoned the race. Erwin Milton there. So the man. 
uh, when they complain, um, 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 when Milan they complain about the, the servicing, he's definitely say, say, want some water. Yes, he's complaining, he said, man, you know, like we, you know, water. So um, when Milton is asking for service, folks, it's very chaotic out there on the road. They watch out the riders and stretch out on the tarmac. I see d Wade is still in the, the mix. Big Sam, Big Sam is still here. Mr. Guns, the rider still here. Luis Ortiz, Brandon Morgan is everybody asking, where is our service? Where is our service? Folks, you know, the riders are very upset. They want their service, but that's all part of racing. It's very chaotic. This is a moving football field like that, folks. And riders hitting the tarmac. The speed, the race is going. It's some 34 miles an hour as we uh, meet back the, the group of riders there is um, Javin Gonzalez. Um, there's Carlton Robinson. Some riders riding off the front. I can see Levy. We can see two riders. Just, we say about three riders just off the front. Oh, then I mean three riders. Um, Elwin Humes and the guys that go down. I think Elwin Humes. Um, who else made up from there? Levy and somebody else was out front, I believe. No, Levy, Levy there front. I'm gonna say I'll get the names of the riders as we go along. Yes, Young DJ and Hyde. Yes, um, Richard Vera. Yes, Levy. There is um, Stanford, Bob Gabriel, Young Finam, Baby Chav, driving the pace is the Gorilla, followed by um, um, is, um, Byron Pope and the Guatemalan, three riders out front. I think it's Rosado, Hollister Baptist, and Elwin Humes. Yes, those are the three riders up front, but it's left alto, the Guatemalan, the Gorilla, have him out wide open, trying to close that gap, but the three Belizean up front, Elwin Humes. Um, Elwin Humes. Fernando Rosado and Hollister Baptist, the three riders driving the pace as we approach into T Kettle. So these are the three riders, give you their number number seven, Hollister Baptist, number 34, Fernando Rosado, number 21, Young Elwin Humes. Three different teams Alliance United, Rolling Shutter, and G Flow. These are the three riders up front, but fastly approaching the main field of riders just behind, being charged by. Melvin Torres, aka the Gorilla, the U, the um, the Junior National Road Champion of Guatemala. And here comes, we can see, we can see the Guatemalan jersey driving it, and I believe it's Hula Hoop. Let me see, it must be Hula Hoop. Casting the guys with the Hula Hoop, and here comes Hula Hoop. It is Hula Hoop. He's been marked by the defending champion Oscar Curious as they made contact with the three riders. Hula Hoop. Join and then there's a uh, Carlton Robinson, Angel Zip, and Javin Gonzalez paying keen attention. And immediately, Hula Hook, this is now some pain. Look at his face, the expression. The, he's ponging away at that bike. He said, I'm going to hurt you guys. I'm going to break some legs. We're going up a little incline. We call this Old Man Hill. But uh, 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 Hula Hook is trying to get an organization. He's telling guys, let's rotate, let's rotate. So Hula Hook is playing smart on these guys, let's rotate. And if not rotate, they hit them, they attack them. Here is Oscar Cruz pulling off the pace, taking over the pace. Carlton Robinson followed by his teammate. Um, it's we have three Alliance United, three men in black. Alliance United on the front. We have Angel Zip. Where's number 35? It look like Angel Zip on the front, number 35, followed by Young Fernando Rosado. Alliance United, followed by Javin Gonzalez, Hollister Baptist, Elwin Humes. Um, Ronnie Hula Hook, the defending champion, Oscar Kuros, and Carlton Robinson, also a um, rider from Alliance United. As we make our way up this little incline, these guys are doing some 20 miles and up this incline. I'll probably ride up this, my, this thing almost about three miles and all, but it's all um, number 35, Angel Zim, pushing up for his teammate. Uh, um, Angel Zip rides for Alliance United as he's making his way up this little incline. All uh, Angel Zip followed by the young upcoming Fernando Rosado riding awesome. This kid did awesome in the Valvoline Tour. There's um, Javin Gonzalez looking very smooth as he dances out of that saddle. There's young Hollister Baptist, Hula Hoop, Oscar Curious, nice and smooth, high cadence. Um, Carlton Robinson and young Elwin Humes. We can see a rider coming across. I think it's Bob Gabriel trying to come across. Bob Gabriel as he passed mile 52. Heading towards T Kettle, there's a prize coming up at T Kettle. It's a Samson bot by Margaritas. And it's still Angel Zip, it's still Angel Zip, still Angel Zip on the front, still Angel Zip on the front. 
as we approach tea kettle zip mouth wide open sucking for all the oxygen in those lungs all angel zip number 35 being followed by fernando rosado followed by Jivin gonzalez Hollister Baptist, very concentrated, paying to the, looking straight at the wheel of his um, teammate in front of him. Hula Hook, number 65, 66, defending champion Oscar Kuros, Carlton Robinson, and young Elwin Humes. As we approach, I think there's a prize coming up. I guess you won't get a prize if the guys are sprint for the prize. And it's uh, now Fernando Rosado on the pace. Fernando Rosado on the pace. Followed by Javin Gonzalez. We go by this little bumpy mark. Come along. That's me, don't pass through ticket already. The price done gone already. So we are heading to Kamalote. The next price coming up at um, it will be the next price coming up. Kamalote, a hundred dollars. Keith Smith, yes, at Kamalote Community Center. Keith Smith, a hundred dollars by Keith Smith. And it's Hollister Baptist, Hollister Baptist on the front. We can see uh, Mr. Castro having water probably. The, they have water for his son. Uh, Oscar Q is taking over the pace. A lot of people with water up on the side, bags of water trying to help the riders. The riders that they look for run down the come vehicle, the come vehicle step on it, step on it, come vehicle. These guys are fast approaching your the rear of your vehicle. Young Elwin Hume is taking over the pace. Look at the guys decide that they want to go pace now I'm going to drive the pace and it's it's team. Alliance United out front, Angel Zip driving the pace, followed by his teammate Fernando Rosado, young Elwin Humes, young Leon Leslie. Leon Leslie have come across. Didn't see where Leon Leslie come from. Uh, here is um, Hollister Baptist. These guys are doing some 34 miles an hour, some 34 miles an hour. A lot of fans on the side giving juice, giving water. You know, that's, 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 that's the beauty of these. Um, Cycling fans and there's a station prize. Leon Leslie all over his machine. Leon Leslie driving for the pace. He has Hula Hook. He has Oscar Curios. That was who will be. It will be Oscar Curios winning that prize. Oscar Curios narrowly ended out um, a Hula Hook for that prize. Leon Leslie had a good jump on him, but the fast legs of Oscar Curios claimed that prize there at the community center here in Kamalote, folks. A beautiful race today. The second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. Big up the entire. Alfred Parks Memorial family, Miss Rita Eckerts, uh, um, Lincoln, the um, Ashton Clothing Group, and all uh, the people involved in this race. Godwin Terry is here in Belize. Godwin Terry, man surprised me. Man can eat up some powder bun at the house. Enjoy the show Thursday night. Jackie, Steven, all of them come in for this event. And and they love the support of cycling yesterday lincoln was at the shop working on you know help working on a bike for his uh, for evan thompson and they had a nice experience listen to a little shop talk done by javin gonzalez and young ernest me and jamie and son were back at, at it you know sometimes when they say you love a job when you love a job i'm a man that love my job my job is not a job it's a hobby it's a lifestyle you know a lot of people it's painful to go to the job, but I look forward to go to my job every day. You know, you just have to say, I'm bike racer and jump on back on a cycle. You just have to say, work on bicycle. And I love the talks from the riders, the trash talk, better than getting into violence. You know, beautiful sport of cycling though. And the front, Angel Zip and the front, followed by young Leon Leslie, followed by Hollister Baptist. There's the Guatemala and tune away, the Guatemala and mouth full up. Um, there's Oscar Kios looking smooth. And, um, Fernando Rosado looking good. Can't come in front. Then, guys, can't come in front. You have to go to the back of the field to get your service. This is one of the stuff that the Federation have to really talk to the service guys. And they can't come at the front of the race. You have to service at the back. The rider need to drop behind the field of the race to get their service. So, um, don't blow your hand guys don't be mean because you know the rules you have to make your riders drop at the back of the field to get their um, thing so be careful you don't want to hit any of the riders so riders once you see your team 
the team vehicle come up for service here, no call him at the front. Drop at the back and get your service. This sport is not for the faint of heart. And it's um, Fernando Rosado and the pace. Taking over the pace now is um, Carlton Robinson, young Elwin Humes, Oscar raising his hand. There is um, Angel Zib, there is the Guatemalan Hula Hoop. Can't do that, guys. So Angel Zib on the front, Angel Zib on the front, Angel Zib as we enter into um, Rolling Creek. The next prize coming up at uh, West Star is a hundred dollars gift certificate. West Star and Garado. So let us see who will claim that prize. And then at the gas station is uh, Night stay for two Hopkins Bay Resort at a nice price at the gas station. So let us see who will get that prize at um, the gas station. So this prize is coming up at Wester. We can see the official raising his flying the flag. And Oscar, Oscar seems to be won that prize. Oscar will claim that prize. A hundred dollars gift certificate. Oscar, who is scoring that prize? The next prize come up is a nice prize. Night for two at Hopkins Bay Resort. Young Fernando Rosado out front, number 34. Huh? Oh, okay. Bang said we had to drive to the gas station to pick up some prize. So when I get that, um, we, leave, we leave the group, we will head to the gas station. So we'll see who captured that prize at the gas station. A pleasant good morning to all our cycling fans. Don't come out, car. You will hit us. We will fly off this motorcycle. So. Stop, reverse your car, reverse your car if you're looking on the phone. The cycles are coming, the race is coming. We approach the, uh, the Gabat um, gas station here in Rolling Creek. Lower your hand, vehicle, you be careful, guys. You can't push out. A race is coming, and these guys are coming balls of speed down this hill. Here are the cycling fans as we approach the gas station. We can see the officials, they're bringing out the flag. We are entering banks, going to full of back, put some more gas in this zoom zoom. As we enter into the still over 50 miles remaining, still over 50 miles, so we just around halfway point of this race. We're pulling up here at the when you know, we can hear the builders, we can hear the builders, we can see the flag raising. Let me get off quick. And here comes the riders, here comes the riders. That's the line right there. So here comes the riders. Let us see who will get that prize. And um, Javin Gonzalez won that prize. Javin Gonzalez out of his cell. Javin Gonzalez. And here goes Hula Hook. But Javin Gonzalez will claim that prize. Javin Gonzalez claimed that prize. And all the riders are spars. We are waiting in the main field of the riders. We can see them in the background coming down that run down here in Rolling Creek. We are at Puma's gas station. Yes. <laughs> yes, man. Morning, morning. That's all right. So there's my driver, Mr. Banks. We are with the main field of riders. We can see them coming in the distance. The charge is being led by um, Erwin Milton. Erwin Milton, we can see um, Devin Asweta. We can see young Delta Rojas. We can see the Mike Man. We can see the Gorilla there. We can see the early riders as they fly, fly past us doing some 35 plus miles an hour. and the refreshment. We join back the race shortly, folks, but we hope you all are enjoying the race. We can see Rowan Kowe and Daniel Kano enjoying the race. Looking on, two Santinos rider. Good morning. All right, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Warren Kowe. Bang is coming in a short while just to get some refreshment and we join back the race in a short while folks in the meantime i want to big up the people bringing it live into your living room i want to big up the tillit farm from from Eddie's village 
I want to big up Alfred Parks Memorial Family. Steve Benedict Auto Sales Incorporated, you can get them at 929-240-8765. Erdonis Bike Shop and Father and Son and Bike Electronic Store there on Daly Street. We want to big up the Belize Jude Foundation. So right as the corner, I can see Rain and Matos passing us. Probably had some kind of issue. Rain and Matos, Sito Matos just passing us. Here at Rooney Creek, we can see more riders coming in the distance. This whole race has been blown to smithereens. We can see Mr. Um, Neil. Mr. Neil passing. There's Kenneth Butler. And we still we can see more riders still coming. A lot of traffic here under George Price Highway. So my zoom zoom, they come right now. So I'm going to join back the race shortly. Thank you guys for being patient. Thank you guys for enjoying the race. How are we going to get on the Lee um, drinks and return because we join back the race shortly. Here comes Mr. Banks. Get back when we zoom zoom again and join back the race. Okay, monk back the motorcycle. We head back to the join the race shortly folks so a lot more racing remaining that little break was to make you guys take a little um rush to the bathroom go, go reap back all your drinks your food as we make our way over this bridge another bridge that was built by m, &M engineering rocky matos this is the rolling creek bridge folks we are leaving rolling creek we will head on to the george price highway east towards belize city so shortly we'll be back with the fireworks, the action and the tarmac. I hope you folks are enjoying the race so far. Wherever you are in Belize, all over the world, in the diaspora, make a way around the roundabout. Let's see if we head away or head up Belmopan. Yeah. So we leave Belmopan. Heading back to the Tech de la Course in the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Cycling Class. Well, they're not classic yet next year. Yamia Classic Memorial Race. This is the second running, but it's a huge event. A whole lot of, being, a lot of prize will be given out today. Like I said, this family is not only about um, cycling, but they are about education. You know, the kids' race is going at the same time, the youth race, and Mr. Gons is bringing you live action of the junior event and the female event going on at this moment here on the 25th of february 2024 so we're heading back up to the uh, hector silver airstrip and onwards towards the city where some 82 riders started this morning in this monster event again big up the alfred parks memorial family and big up all the volunteers, big up the uh, Cycling Federation of Belize and all their volunteers. Folks, the people never get paid for this thing. Uh, you know, some people get upset and get mad and pass comments, but these people are out here volunteering their time. And it's a lot of hard work. You risk your life because you are amongst you know, traffic moving, you could fall, you could get yourself hurt. So we definitely want to pick up all the volunteers, definitely doing an awesome job. So I'm going to neglect their family for this sport. So definitely have to give them kudos. As we approach the race shortly, we will join back There's my, my friend, Mr. Cass. Mr. Cass, good morning, Mr. Cass. Yeah, all the fans showing up their sign, enjoying the event as it's unfold before your very eyes, folks. This is a beautiful ride from the back of the motorcycle and a beautiful day here in the country of Belize. We can see the main field of riders just in the distance. We'll pass through some heavy traffic and we'll join back the race shortly and give you names of all the riders. There is Ashton Clothing, there is Jackie and the whole crew. Yes, as we make our way through traffic, passing come three, there is the ambulance. I'm here with my careful driver, Mr. Banks. We are in this zoom zoom. As you press the gas, it's zoom zoom. Fitzgerald Joseph, thank you, my, my brother. Well, I say I have a whole nice time on the show dissect this, this this race folks we are almost with the main group of riders we can see the lead uh flashing lights of the police uh, the, the, the lead vehicle 
passing through all the traffic and service vehicle. We are about to make contact with the main peloton, the group of as they call it in the Tour de France. You can see um, Mr. Murray raising his hand. One service desk, Quinton Hamilton, still in the race. We have joined back the race, folks. We are back with the race as we head towards the city in the second running of the Alfred Box Memorial Cycling Race, folks. The live has been brought to you by the Tillet Farm from Frank Eddy's village, the Alfred Box Memorial family. Mr. Steve Benedict Auto Sales out of New York. You can reach him at 929 240 8765 by Erdogan's Bike Shop and by Father and Son Bike and Electric Store here in Belize on Daly Street. There's Roque Matos, there's Luis Ortiz, Gian Lino, Smokes Gladden, Greg Lovell, Quinton de Balsam and the Bike Man, Kenyon, Giovanni Choto, Big Sam, Big Sam Ways number 69, uh, Erwin Milton, who said Choto, D Wade, D Wade coming into a frame, shaking that head, Kevin, uh, Kevin um, Pess. Um, Gorian, I mean, um, 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 we have young, um, we have um, Gia and um, Lovell. There is um, Diego, Vera, Hyde. You see young um, Rigoberto just now. And Wasani Castro, driving the pace and a group of riders up the road, we leave this group, we head up to the Tech de la Course where riders have escaped. This is a little incline. Yes, young Mr. Rivas was in that group, waving to the um, waving to the camera. He's looking good. We leave that group, we head to the Tech de la Course where the race have definitely flown to smithereens. Riders are scattered all over the tarmac, conquest the panel tongue. Next prize coming up will be at Benny's, there's another 500 box, Benny's box been given at the Benny's um, compound. So we're just up, about to approach the second group on the road with the names of the, the riders. We can see Goran Gabriel in this group, we can see Goran Gabriel, we can see Bob Gabriel, we can see um, Young Fina and Bichav, we can see the Gorilla, we can see um, Dylan Levy, there's Melvin Torres, there's Dylan Levy, Young Go and Gabriel, Bob Gabriel and Young Phenom on the pace trying to close the gap. We can see two riders just after, um, in between we can see Young Elwin Humes and Hollister Baptist, but it's all Young Phenom on the pace. There goes Bob Gabriel, Bob Gabriel taking up it a notch, race number 62, Bob Gabriel turning up the pace, doing some 25 miles an hour up this incline, he's closing the gap to the group like taking candy, watch it, it catch young Elwin Humes and straight past Bob Gabriel on a monster charge. He's going to try to join back the group here. He's Hollister Baptist race number seven. He has been detached. We move up to the technical post and I think there's one lead rider all up the road. We'll get the name of that rider. We can see another group here. We can, we'll give you the names of them. We can see Javin Gonzalez. I can see the defending champ. I can see um, Oscar Kiros. I can see and I believe that's the Guatemalan who is all alone, folks. I believe it's the Guatemalan all alone. Yes, six, uh, seven Belizean riders here. Six Belizean riders, two G Float, Young Leon Leslie, Javin Gonzalez, Fernando Rosado, um, Carlton Robinson, the defending champ, Oscar Curios, and Angel Zip. And there's one lead rider up the road. It's the Guatemalan. It's the Guatemalan. The Guatemalan. And we move to the Tech de la Course where we believe it's Hula Hook who have escaped from the Guatemalan Hula Hook have escaped from the Belize rider. He's all alone. He's, for, he's getting that, that prize there. At, um, trying to get a prize. The first five, this 500 dollars Benny's book. It's all Hula Hook who is driving the pace. He's out all alone. He's rolling in solar fashion as he dancing on the pedal of the sling tank. Hula Hook. Hula Hook. Hula Hook. It's all Hula Hook. Yeah, we have joined back the tech de la course in front of the race. It's all hula hook, he's all alone as he drives the pace some 23 miles and up this incline. We can see the riders in the descent. He have opened at least almost a minute and these guys, it's all hula hook out front. We'll try to get a time gap, but hula hook is committed. He's driving, he's want to, he want to go home all alone. He wants to take up all the goodies. He does, he, he, the man have a van at the border waiting just to make his return a clear from custom so he can take all those prices back.
to Guatemala. Like I said, he said, this is our party. We brought the party to Belize and we will put out who we don't want in our party and it's all hula hook. Where's number 66 as he drives the pace, all hula hook on the pace, heading into Cotton Tree where the race got started this morning. He will pass, he will win this $500 uh, Venice box in a short while. Yes, hula hook. All alone riding from Mexico. I tell you, this man have a and this man have a serious engine and a belt because the amount of things this man done acquire in cycling. It's all hula hoop. Yeah, it's their official here yeah, at Benny's, big, big Benny's, giving that $500 by his box. Hula hoop driving the pace. We are true. We're almost back at where we started this morning at Cannon Tree, and it's all hula hoop. All hula hoop out of Guatemala. Watch it. They, 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 uh, they, they, they went in for knock down the man, man. Uh, easy, 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 um. easy, 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 Bruce, easy, easy. Mutual service almost broke on hula hoop just now, but it's all hula hoop. Where's number? There's a bull on the back of his shirt there. Number 66 is looking back to see where the riders are and he's putting a mad pace. He's doing some 20, 25.6 miles an hour. Obviously incline. We are fast approaching where the race started here yeah, in um, Cotton Tree. Folks, remember we are streaming both on YouTube and Facebook. So remember to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm glad I could be out here bringing a live straight into your living room. Hula hook, it's all hula hook on the pace as he drive it. Passing through Cotton Tree where the race started this morning. We'll see the start line. And it's all running hula hook out of Guatemala. I know the Belizean fans don't like that, but folks, he's all alone. But we have six Belizean riders coming at the back, so you know, he can grab up some prize, but hopefully. Um, our riders will join forces and try to close back the gap. Yes, it's still all hula hook. It's all hula hook. There's a prize at mile 41. Eddie and Banks, it's a $200 prize, and it's um, Alvan Gillet from SPD giving that prize. Yes, there's a prize coming up, mile 41. That's the crash site for um, our brothers, Edison Usher and young Mr. Banks, who would be right out here bringing live action into your living room. We want to give kudos to those guys. We know they are up above cheering on the riders. Like I said, they are doing the same job we are doing. It's a difficult job, but somebody has to do it. When I, when I quit doing this, you will have somebody will pick it up. Like I said, the Cycling Federation, they are trying to, to know, bring that, got me in studios. I love being in the studios too, but I love being out here. So, you know, when there's the Cycling Federation races, I'll be in studios bringing the action off the screen. When, when I come uh, do it on my own, I'll be behind the motorcycle. But I'm happy to have a careful driver like Mr. Banks, Mr. Wilbert Banks, the brother of Kadeem Banks, who gave his life for this very sport we love. And we move up to the cross site, we move up to the cross site, pay a tribute to our fallen brothers, Edison Usher and Kadeem Banks. I said these two guys gave their life for the sport we all love. There is the official there at the station prize, and it will be Hula Hook, the Guatemalan, who will take that prize. So we have to stop. We have to, here comes Hula Hook as he passed the line. Hula Hook passing the line, and we can see the guys in the distance. And let me show the, the thing. There is it. Rest in peace, Kadim Banks. And rest in peace, Edison Usher, these guys, you know, 
gave their life on this very highway. And we salute them. And here comes the, the group of riders, Young Phenom and the PSO. The group have grown definitely. Bob Gable have come across, Young Go and Gable have come across. So the guys are in hot pursuit of um, the Guatemalan running hula hook. Folks, I hope you guys are enjoying the race today. Live has been brought to you by the Tillet Farm with a Frank Eddie's village. By the Alfred Parks Memorial Family, by Steve Benedict Auto Sales Incorporated. You can get them at 929-240-8765 by Ordrance Bike Shop and by Father and Son Bike and Electronic Store. So folks, we await, we can see the main field of riders coming in the distance. The main field of riders, this race have been blown to smithereens, folks. So the guys have a lot of grounds to make up. It's kind of calm, it's extremely hot here on the tarmac. This is the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race in honor of our cycling legend Alfred P. Parks winning the whole Saturday Cross Country in 1976 and 1979 in solo style. So, as soon as the guy passed, there's Wasani Castro, and here comes the main field of riders. I get back on this motorcycle and then join back the race. So, we just left mile 41, the cross site there, paying tribute to our two brothers. Kadim Banks and Edison Usher. There's Big Sam, Big Sam waving to the camera. There's young Jamal Murray, full of a man have all kind of battling. I think that there's Roque Matos, Philip Leslie, the Mike Man, Jurgison. There's um, the guys dance out there. There's Smokes Glenn, young Wendell Williams Jr. We can see um, Greg Lovell, Byron Pope, Quinton, the Ballas Hamilton, young Mr. Rivas. We can see. Um, Gerson Lovell, Elwin Humes, young Christopher Waite. But I, I you know who I say? I know they say, um, I know they say, um, I know they say Giovanni Lovell. There's um, Jose Choto, Kevin Gentle, D. Wade, Richard Vera, Munoz, Tasha, um, the Guatemalan, Diego, Brandon, Brandon Morgan, Brandon Tatus, Dion Les, um, um, Ali Lozano, Delton Rojas. Devin Asweta, Dijan Hyde, and driving the front, we have um, Richard Santiago. And just up front there is Wasane Castro. Folks, I don't think these guys will make it back. The winner will come from up front. We don't see, um, we don't see Giovanni Lovell. I'm not sure if Giovanni Lovell had some kind of issue, if he was one of the riders involved in that accident that these guys were speaking about, but we tried to get some information and bring that the information to you. We leave that group, we head up back to the second group on the road where some um, a, a group of about uh, 15 or so rider chasing the one, London lead rider in the likes of running hula hoop out of Guatemala. The current um, champion, he won the, just won the Tour de Paz over this weekend. We can see the Riders in the distance, we can see the lead, the flashing light of the the traffic vehicle up front. So that's where Hula Hook is, and we can see the main field just making their way close to the Beaver Dam Bridge here on the George Price Highway in the second running of the Alfred Park Memorial Race held here the 25th of February 2024. We've been waiting for this race for so long, and it's finally here, folks. A lot of racing. Coming up next week is the Belmopan, um, the Belmopan Cycling Classic, and in the afternoon, Mr. Marlon and they have a criterium at the Central American Boulevard. Then the following week is the, I believe it's the Junior Cross Country. Then we have the Women Cross Country. Then we have the Big Hole Saturday Cross Country. So it's lone cycling racing. Come up, folks, and you know you guys will be well entertained. 
Uh, my belief are all the races by the CFP will I will be in studio bringing you guys live action into your living room as we leave the Bivanan Bridge. We are about to catch up to the second group on the road. You can see the uh, service vehicle just behind the riders. As we approach, this group will give you names of riders. So that's a serious gap. I don't think those guys will ever make it back here. It's way, way behind. A serious gap has been opened up. The punishment is on, the heat is on. So I'll give you names as we make our way through this group of riders. So at the back we can see Hollister Baptist. We can see um, Young Finam Baby Chav. We can see Angel Zib. We can see Young Leon Leslie. We can see Dylan Levy. We can see the Gorilla. And Young the Torres, Elvin Torres. We can see Young Goran Gabriel, Fernando Rosado, Javin Gonzalez. Um, we can see um, Bob Gabriel, Oscar Curious and Javin the Pace, Carlton Robinson. I don't see, I don't see um, Byron Pope no more. So Byron Pope, I'm not sure if he's in that group at the back. Taking over the pace, Oscar Curious, taking thing, taking um, things into his own hand. Realize one lead right up front. It's all the Guatemalan still holding these guys at bay. The Guatemalan driving the pace. These guys are doing some 23 miles an hour. Oscar Curious, the defending champion and the front of the race. Here comes um, Jivan Gonzalez giving an assistance so the Belizean riders are coming together to try to close back the gap and the lone lead rider, the Guatemalan, Ronnie Hula Hook, who is showing that he got what it takes to hold these guys. He's all alone, he's driving the pace, he's putting these guys in a whole lot of pain. Here goes um, on the wheel of Jivan Gonzalez, Fernando Rosado, Goran Gabriel, Young Leon Leslie, Dylan Levy, we're in a new kit. The man was a member of the uh, Ulan Shatter, but now he rides for Valvoline. Young Finam, Baby Chav, Angel Zib, Carlton Robinson, the Guatemalan who will not assist. He has his teammate up front. He's watching, he's paying attention. He will try to break out the cage in a shot while the gorilla is looking up. You can see very lax, no sign of suffering, paying attention on his wheel. He's, um, Bob Gabriel, so the Guatemalan not helping at all. He's just sitting back looking to see where the riders are. Once they try to catch that rider, then he will attack them because the gorilla have come out to break out of his cage. We are passing through this village here. And that prize was taken by Hula Hoop. Hula Hoop is all alone as he approach um, the entrance of Frank, Frank and the village where the Tillit Farm is located, one of the sponsors, bring it live into your living room, folks. And the front, Leon Leslie, race number six, rides for G Flow, trying to close that gap, doing some 30 miles an hour. And it's still Hula Hook out front, Hula Hook still out front, all alone. Levy taking over the pace, Levy taking over the pace, followed by <coughs> Angel Zip. The Belizean have decided to come out and assist each other in the pace. They're driving the train, trying to close the gap, but Hula Hook is holding them at bay all alone. Hula Hook all alone. Here comes Young Phenom, still doing some 27 plus miles an hour. Young Phenom still doing some 27 plus miles an hour. Follow, there is um, Carlton Robinson. Folks, I hope you are enjoying this race. A beautiful race here in the country of Belize leading up to the whole Saturday cross country race where the fireworks will be on the tarmac and the guys on left from the city head towards San Ignacio and back to the city this race that started way back in 1928 and have evolved into a monster event each and every year only a few years no race was with the COVID time and then the two years when there were um, hurricanes the disaster Oscar Curious on the pace Still doing some 24 miles an hour and we can see the lead rider up front hula hoop all alone still all by himself javin gonzalez miss jennifer must be very proud of this young man javin gonzalez on the front rode very well in Syria yesterday he was very he was a very sportman like he actually tell the Guatemalan we are coming up. He showed the Guatemalan who was on the road. He showed the Guatemalan where the turning point was for Javin Gonzalez, a very um, 
humble young man, very disciplined and very sportsmanlike. Here goes on the front we have Fernando Rosado trying to close the gap to the lone Guatemalan up front, assisting his teammates. Yeah, we have three, we have three riders from Alliance United in this group. I call them the guys in black. Young Fernando Rosado and the pace pulling on the pace now is young Goran Gabriel, the tall figure of young Goran Gabriel came from the Syria camp. This young man started out as a chubby kid and now he's one of the top ranking riders. We leave the group and we head up back to the technical course where the lone lead rider, Ronnie Hula Hook, have spoiled the party for a lot of the Belizean riders, Hula Hook and Nanua. The, the fans have their fingers crossed, but you know, Fitzgerald Palace Joseph will be handing out his um, info to the riders and tell them, listen to me, you got to bring that back, you have to defend the turf, but Hula Hook all alone driving the pace like crazy as we approach mile 36 here on the Dodge Price Highway, folks. I want to big up the people bringing the life into your living room. I want to big up Till It Farm out of Frank Eddy's village. I want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family. I want to big up Steve Benedict Auto Sales Incorporated out of New York. You can reach him at 929-240-8765. Erdonis Bike Shops and Father and Son bike and electronic store here in Belize. We want to big up the Belize Jude Foundation for bringing, for providing a hundred food for the riders at the completion of this race. Folks, I saw some beautiful gift basket being given out by Grace Kennedy Belize. Big up Grace Kennedy Belize. Folks, it's all running hula hook and this man look like you're not tired. This man have the same high cadence, looking smooth, doing some 27 miles an hour. So he basically the same speed when the guys do. So they're not closing. He's all alone. He's driving the pace. Oh my, I almost lost my paper. Yes, it's all running hula hook. The Mexican rider, he finished second, I believe, in the 2019 whole such a cross country race where the three riders finished one, two, three. Number 66, recently victorious in the Tour de Paz. Manishifa Pagea, Rony Hula Hook, driving the pace as we approach mile 25 here on the Dodge Price Highway. Folks, this is the second running of the Alfred Box Memorial Cycling Race. Second running and huge prizes being given out. Some 82 riders line up this morning. Here comes the um, mutual service, mutual service so, uh, supporting Mr. Hula Hook. So that's what the mutual service do when a, when a rider is out front and the gap is not too big. The mutual service will provide service for the rider. So um, the riders are giving um, Hula Hook some water. The man the water, they fly all over way. Hula Hook still driving it some 24.5, 24.9 miles an hour. Yes, man. Mario, good morning, Mario. Galvez in the neutral vehicle shouting me out. We can see the builders out front. We can see the builders out front in the back of that vehicle. We on the build as running Hula Hook got his uh, service from the mutual service as he makes his way towards my we just passed a mile 35 folks so we are 35 miles out of the city who want to see the finish it's time to you know get dressed hurry eat up on the food and head out to Leslie's imports where this race will come to its conclusion folks and like we say we have a lot of fans on the side of the road cheering on the riders they are the fans And it's all the Guatemalan hula hook and the pace going up this little incline. We have some Belizean riders at the back chasing. The defending champion is in there. Young Phenom is in there. But guess who's in there? The Guatemalan sitting quiet. The gorilla, Melvin Torres, sitting on, waiting to break out of the cage as soon. And, and so hula hook is up front 
capturing all the prizes filling up his basket today to take over to Mexico so the next prize is at Cheers it's a hundred dollars Alvangel slash SPD I think we'll have claim Alien prize before we had a prize um, at mile 41 the, the is two hundred dollars by Jim Myers Mark Trump. So um, as the young um, as Ula Hook moves away, we await the group of riders there. Here comes the group of riders being led by Javin Gonzalez. The prize that um, and the guys they talk, they, 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 they try bringing back the riders, but there is sitting in second to last position there is um, the rider, the Guatemalan Melvin Torres. Huh? Yes, um, the prize at um, St. Matthew's Village was given by Carol Dawson. Then there was a prize at Jagopa, Michael Waving by the Barries. Then at Cheers, there's a hundred dollars by Alvan Gillet, SPD. Well, big up all the people get the prizes. Um, La Democracia, two nights stay for two. Rico Black at the zoo. There's a Am I seeing right? At the zoo, there's a $500 station prize given by P and A Cleaning Service. $500 has been given at the zoo, and if you guys know, get serious, Hula Hoop will take that prize. We can see in the distance, I got to close the gap, but Hula Hoop is still out front. We are just behind this group, the second group on the road. This is where the race is. This, the, the, if Hula Hoop can win the race, well, the winner will definitely come from this park because there's no way the guys at the back will make it back there. Javin Gonzalez getting his service, Javin Gonzalez, there is Melvin Tor Torres, there is um, um, Carlton Robinson, young Leon Leslie, Fernando Rosado, um, Dylan Levy, Oscar Curos, driving the pace, his young Fina and Baby Chav, followed by his teammate Goran Gabriel, Angel Zib. So these are the the heavy hitters in this group, the second group chasing the one lead rider, Hula Hook, who still holds them at bay for quite a while now. So we'll see if they close the gap. The next prize coming up is at Cheers, and it's a hundred dollars by Alvangelit SPDs. There is Javin Gonzalez dancing the There is the uh, Guatemalan, the gorilla. Melvin Torres, Young Finam wears number one, Young Leon Leslie wears number six, number 34, Fernando Rosado, number 36, Carlton Robinson, Bob Gabriel wears number 62, number 10, Oscar Curios, they can see the rider right up front, there goes the Guatemalan getting his service, or oh, he lost that battle. The Guatemalan Melvin Torres getting his service from his service vehicle, getting a little coaching from the, um, the guys. So as he gets his service, we approaching mile 33 here on the Judge Price Highway. We're heading towards Cheers, and it's still Hula Hoop out front. Hula Hoop, will he make it all the way to the city all alone? Will these guys team up and chase him? Or will the gorilla break out of his cage? Silverback sitting on his wheel. Here comes Oscar Curious, Oscar Curious. And it's Bob Gable, Bob Gable driving the train. Bob Gable driving the train, trying to close the gap to Hula Hook. He's been followed by Fernando Rosado. Carlton Robinson, Goran Gable, Long Leon Leslie. Young Fina and Baby Chav. 
Angel Zib, Melvin Torres, Javin Gonzalez, Oscar Quiroz, and Dylan Levy. These are the guys chasing one. You can see hula hook right up in the distance. All alone, but these guys are closing the gap. The gap is being closing, guys. So these guys are closing the gap to hula hook. So we still have a lot of miles remaining in this event. A lot of racing still left remaining in this event. Still have about 32 miles to the finish. So a lot of stuff can happen. A lot of um, excitement before we reach the finishing line. There's less this import. Again, we want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family for hosting this, for sponsoring this big event of all the sponsors involved. We want to give them their flowers. They make it possible. We want to big up the people bringing life into your living room. We want to big up the Tilt Farm at Frank Eddis Village. We want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family. We want to big up Steve Benedict Auto Sales Incorporated out of New York. You can reach him at 929. 240-8765 or Don's Bike Shop and Father and Son Bike and Electric Stone Store on Daly Street in Belize City. We want to big up the Belize Jude Foundation providing 100 food for the riders, Miss Elda Kanaki. Big up herself. Big up the Cycling Federation of Belize for organizing and making sure the race runs smoothly, like I said. There's a lot of work behind the scenes. Many people have left their family to come and deal with cycling for you, the fans, so you could enjoy beautiful racing. And it's still hula hoop. The guys, it looks like hula hoop, they hold them at bay. Hula hoop is holding them at bay. Hula hoop still up front, still about the same. Seems that there's about 30 seconds gap or so, about 30 seconds gap. Hula hoop on, the, on, on these riders. And if they don't get serious, I think he will take the $500 there at the zoo. He will definitely win the, um, the cheers prize, which is coming up shortly. Then the Democratic Junction, there's a night for two at Rico Black. Bob Gabriel, race number 62, Bob Gabriel on Hot Pursuit of Hula Hoop, who they can see up in the distance. Here comes Fernando Rosado. Here comes Javin Gonzalez, Oscar Curos, Dylan Levy. <laughs> so just move front of the riders. Punks is waving through the traffic. We are approaching chairs, we are approaching chairs, and we are just in front of the main group of riders, the second pack on the road. Just one rider out front. Ronnie Hula Hook up front escaped a couple of miles ago and holding the guys at bay is about to win that prize at Cheers. Yes, Hula Hook claiming that prize at Cheers. Hula Hook claiming that prize at, and he's heading towards La Democracia and the zoo where he pick up the prize. So, the Guatemalan is scraping up, he's filling up his basket. Um, they are needed customs for clear all those stuff that he will be winning today in the second annual Alfred Parks Memorial Cycling Race. I know Alfred Parks is a proud man, he's looking down. He has left a legacy here with us, our cycling fans in the country of Belize. And here comes Dylan Levy, Dylan Levy on the front, followed by Goran Gabriel. Dylan Levy out of the south, I know people in the Cultural capital is very proud of that young man. He was a member of the Rolling Shadow, but now he rides for Team Valvoline. And these guys can see Hula Hook right in the distance. They are closing the gap. Seems that the gap has come down to about 25 seconds. Young Goran Gebel on the front closing the gap. There's young Leon Leslie. These guys are doing some 28.3 miles an hour. All young Goran Gebel looking up, seeing his prey, trying to close that gap. Yes, he's definitely closing the gap. The gap is closing it's down now to about 20 seconds about 20 seconds and the fans are cheering on the riders as young Grand Gable give, give that little nudge off the shoulder and you can see who hope they are closing him yes the gap is closing down here comes young Leon Leslie young Leon Leslie on the front trying to close that gap to to the Guatemalan hula hoop who is all alone we can see him right in front of us folks so 
young Leon Leslie stepping up the pace, doing some 26.6 miles an hour, 27.1 miles an hour. I have the Garmin here who is really accurate, is fluctuate with the speed. Here comes young Phenom taking over the pace. Young Phenom wears number one, 21. Derek Chavaria, Derek Chavaria, who recently won the uh, Digi Tour, Derek Chavaria and the place. You can see Kula Hook and they are closing the gap with every pell stroke, folks. With every pell stroke, they are closing the gap to Kula Hook, folks. In a short while, the race will be back together. And I um, bet you that the Gorilla will attack them. I bet you Melvin Torres, a.k.a. the Gorilla, will attack these guys. He's been sitting on the back. He have not come and assist. He's his teammate up front. And um, these guys are closing the gap to Hula Hoop. Um, let us see if they'll catch him for that prize, that $500 prize on top of Zoo. There's a nice prize there, $500. So let me see if any of these guys will break out of the pack and try to steal that prize from Hula Hoop. The gap is down to about 12 seconds, down to about 12 seconds, folks. The gap is closing. There goes Bob Gable, Bob Gable smelling blood. Bob Gable smelling blood as he lifts the pace to some 28 miles an hour. Bob Gable seeing blood, seeing the Guatemalan right up front. Bob Gable pushing it and as he waves his hand, Carlton Robinson taking over the pace. Carlton Robinson taking over the pace. The gap is down to about 10 seconds. Yes, the gap is closing to Hula Hook. Hula Hook um, has theirs up there. He will capture that prize at the, the, um, the, the, um, the roundabout here at La Democracia. But let us see if he will get the $500, if these guys are interested in the $500 to try to close that gap to the $500. They are at the zoo, hula hoop, looking back, stepping up the pace, and uh, the gap is closing. Young Fernando Rosado on the pace, doing some 26.4 miles an hour. Here comes Oscar Curios, Oscar Curios stepping up the pace as we approach the intersection, La Democracia, with the coastal road that were last week, uh, last week Saturday, the uh, DJ tour turn off the George Price Highway onto the coastal road, beautiful highway through the coastal road. Sad that we didn't have a um, signal through the whole road, so we could have, have an interrupted service. So we're passing, that's the coastal road, you'll see it, I'll point my camera. That's the beautiful coastal road, you'll head down to cultural capital, being Spike Malanti and Mullen River and those space. Folks, Kula Hook, Kula Hook just out front. As we pass, wait a minute, let us see if somebody will try to go over and realize that there is a uh, 500 dollars station prize. It's Goran Gable on the front, Goran Gable followed by Young. And now um, the Gorilla is moving up. Yes, he's moving up. He's paying attention. Melvin Torres, aka the Gorilla, is moving up in the field. We can see Hula Hook, Hula Hook might claim that prize. I don't think the guys will catch Hula Hook. He will claim that 500 dollars prize there at the zoo. It's Young Phenom on the pace. Young Phenom is lifting up the pace to some 31 miles an hour. The gap is closing. Let us see if they are catching a hook. Hula Hook dancing out as a pell. No, that the, the prize and all Terry Cano. Um, one of these guys. And here goes. Here goes the gorilla. Here goes the gorilla. I told you. Here goes Melvin Torres, the gorilla. He's been joined by Fernando Rosado. I read him like a book. And he's crossing over to his teammate, the gorilla. Melvin Torres is crossing over to his teammate and the wheel of the Gorilla is Fernando Rosal. Here goes Big Bob Gabriel. Bob Gabriel, a $500 prize. Let us see if Hula Hook will get the prize. Let us see if Bob Gabriel will catch him. If Hula Hook will get that prize. It seems that Hula Hook will claim that prize. And Bob Gabriel, Bob Gabriel still is trying. Bob Gabriel, Bob Gabriel is coming up. Bob Gabriel, but it's Hula Hook. That's about the Bob Gabriel. And Hula Hook claimed that prize. Bob Gabriel shake his head. He realized it's five hundred dollars. Hula Hook claimed that prize. And Hula Hook looking back. And here comes Jivin Gonzalez. Here comes Jivin Gonzalez. Here comes Oscar Kiros. Folks, the race is back together. Hula Hook is telling his teammate to get on his wheel. And Jivin Gonzalez out of his cell. He's been joined by Oscar Kiros. Folks, please share the live. The race is getting it's back together. It's one. The guys have caught. They have defending the home soil. And it's Jivin Gonzalez and the defending champ Oscar Kiros. And here goes the gorilla. Here goes. Um, Melvin Torres, aka Gorilla, he's been on hat on his wheel. It's Young Phenom, Young Phenom hat on his wheel, and he have joined back the two lead riders, Oscar Curos and Jivin Gonzalez. As we pass mile 29, the zoo, the race is back together. They have caught the Guatemalan hula hook, and immediately the Gorilla, Young, the junior champion of Guatemala, Young Melvin Torres. Man full of patch, but the man is doing his thing out here. He's looking back to see where the riders are. And this man looking good. Here he is, Melvin Torres out of Mech, out of uh, Guatemala. Young Phenom on the pace, young Phenom on the pace. 
as we approach mile 28 here on the George Price Highway, folks, we are heading towards the city, folks. If you want to watch this exciting conclusion, come out at the Leslie's Imports and you'll meet all the riders. There will be like an after party. There will be some drinks um, and all the festive occasion, all the prize will be given out away, given away. So don't, um, if you get the chance, go out there, enjoy it. If not, join me on this page and you will see everything that's unfold before your very eyes. Folks, it's um, the Guatemala and the pace. Followed by Oscar Cures as we approach mile 29, out here, 20, 28 here, 20, 28 miles, and the Dodge Paisa will pull in front because you know you have to send through the traffic. The road is not completely closed, it's only cross country, the, the road is closed. I'm here with my careful driver, Mr. Wilbert Bang Spain. Keen attention, folks. I hope you guys are enjoyed. Continue to share the live. I hope the YouTube channel is still going on. Like I said, I want to big up. Mr. Evan Thompson, he drove me from Margarita's Bar to Boom. I want to big up my son, Giorgio Nordones. We're in Boom. The man lent me a phone so I could uh, bring the live action. My other phone crashed. I was waiting on the phone. Supposed to be reached, but it didn't reach the city in time. But I didn't want to leave or YouTube fans out in the cold. So, you know, after that, I, we drove up to Barrel Boom, collect that phone. And now we have it on YouTube also. So I know the fans will be very grateful, thankful for... Um, having and this is show the lens um, that we um, try to go to to to, to um, help the fans see the race live into their living room people say when they have on YouTube they put it on a big screen TV they don't have to have no internet they don't have to have no um, Facebook to see the race live on their television folks we can see the riders coming in the distance let me see there's a small Yep, and then if you split, there's Javin Gonzalez on the front eating away. He's been followed by Melvin Torres, aka the Gorilla, Fernando Rosado, and Dylan Levy. Four riders, a small gap have been opened up to the rest of riders, and it's the, the uh, Guatemalan. You can see the scars, the scars of um, the when he hit the pavement yesterday in the series race. Pulls off the pace, taking over the pace. Fernando Rosado is number. 34 and traffic has been sent through boss the pathway and it's four riders out front four riders out front Fernando Rosado Javin Gonzalez Dylan Levy and Melvin Torres aka the gorilla and looking back we can see the riders right in the distance but it's Javin Gonzalez wears number three pushing the pace followed by number 34 Fernando Rosado um, Melvin Torres and Dylan Levy as we head towards mile 27 here on the George Price Highway. We want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family. Second running of this event and this race will only get bigger and bigger. The people in the diaspora definitely know. Mayna Bevans, big up yourself, Mayna Bevans. Kevin Logan, the Stuart and Roberto family, big up on yourself. Now there's a lot of you big up for two. I know my brother James Sanchez to take a whiskey. I know the guys at the Erdones Bike Shop. They have a whole heap of fun. I know D and Rock Nation is going at it. Here comes Bob Gable crossing over to the four lead riders. Bob Gable crossing over Bob Gable. A big kudos to Bob Gable, the monster, the, um, the, the master rider. This man is a beast. Bob Gable rode over to the four riders. Diving Gonzalez on the attack. Diving Gonzalez on the attack. Diving Gonzalez dancing out of that pedal. He's been marked by. Melvin Torres, he's been marked by Fernando Rosado, Dylan Levy, and Bob Gabriel staying on the wheel. So five riders out front, five riders out front. Bob Gabriel has small gap, but Bob Gabriel is looking back. He crossed over, burned up a lot of energy to reach over. These guys are doing some 30 miles an hour as we head towards mile 26 here on the George Price Highway. Javin Gonzalez seems that he has very good legs today. Javin Gonzalez taking over the pace. Melvin Torres, the, uh, the junior national champ. At mile 25, there's a hundred dollars been given by Ronaldo, Ronald Sanchez. Mile 25 community, a hundred dollars given by Ronald Sanchez. Then at Rockville, there is a, a five hundred dollars box again by Benny's. Big up Benny's, giving a lot to cycling. Five hundred dollars 
Benny's box. So you could take that and you could go to Benny's and you could get 500 dollars worth of whatever Benny sells. So big up yourself, Benny's. They had Rockville. They're not Bainesville. There's a there's a fifty dollars cash prize by Mr. Patrick Thompson, the nephew of Alfred Parks. For five riders up front: Javin Gonzalez, Melvin Torres, Fernando Rosado, Dylan Levy, and Big Bad Bob Gabriel, the master. As we open approach of this little incline here at mile 26 race uh, at mile 26 one guatemalan four belizean in this group they have cart full of hookies with the group at the back and i can see i can see melvin torres sizing up these guys following his wheel he's driving gonzalez small gap and and <laughs> <laughs> and Javin, Javin Gonzalez is trying to put a hurt on Melvin, Tor Melvin Torres. Immediately, Melvin joined the wheel of. <laughs> you know what everybody say? You bring a man through the back door. But um, this kid is very powerful. He is the current junior champion of Guatemala. Melvin Torres, aka the Gorilla. And look at him. He's looking back. Let me see if he'll hit these guys. He's looking back to see where his teammate is. And he's sitting on the tail. There goes the. Um, the service group for the Valvoline team servicing. So it's five riders up front. We make up this little incline here at mile 26. Bob Gabriel, Dylan Levy, Fernando Rosado, Javin Gonzalez, and Melvin Torres. Looking back, we can see the group right at the back, not too far, just about 10 or 12 seconds behind. This is the second running of the annual Alfred Parks Memorial Cycling Race held here to the 25th of February 2024. Huge race, huge prizes. Some 82 riders signed up this morning, three Guatemalans making the race. A whole lot of um, excitement. Guatemalan sitting, those guys left, right, and center, but the Belize guys are right there to answer the punch and we have five riders like I said up front we await we have the um, the defending champion in this group at the back we have Mr. Hula Hook Ronnie Hula Hook who was with the um, Hula Hook was out front but now he's been caught we have the defending champion we have Young Phenom we have Carlton Robinson we have young Leon Leslie and Hula Hook sitting at the back and the guys up front are going at a much higher pace than these guys so they have to get serious if they want to make it back because the gap is opening folks the gap have definitely been opening up the gap is extending the gap is extending these guys need to get serious the, these guys are and I can see attacks going off the front I can see attacks going off the front so as these guys slow the, the gap is open up up front the war is happening up front these guys are hanging up. Yes, this group of riders need to get serious. They are, they are freewheeling. They are losing time. They are using precious time. The gap is prying open and, the, and these riders, the gap is definitely prying and these riders, there is Tarikano. The gap is definitely prying and these guys, they are slowing down and the group up front is riding away. We pass mile 25 here on the George Price Highway in the second running of the annual parks memorial race folks we want to big up the entire alfred parks memorial family we want to big up the people bringing life into your living room we want to big up the tillet farm there at frank eddie's farm we want to big up the alfred parks memorial family foundation we want to big up mr steve benedict auto sale in new york you can reach him at 929 240 8765 Erdunas Bike Shop and Father and Son Bike and Electronic Store bringing it live into your living room. We want to big up the Belize Jude Foundation providing 100 food for the riders at the completion of this event. We want to big up the Cycling Federation and all the volunteers. We want to big up all the volunteers, all the committee members and 
who made it possible for this race to be a success today. I want to big up my driver, Mr. Wilbert Banks, always making sure my life, um, like I said, my life is in his hand. I point the camera, he drives the motorcycle and make sure things are kept safe. So we await. You still see the redders at the back. And then guys, the pride open the gap. The gap have pride open, folks. The gap have definitely been pride open. These guys yeah. are lallygagging, as we will say. And they are slowing down. And these guys are right away at the front. They have a whole lot of things for makeup. Huh? Make you go to the front, make you go to the front. We'll try to make our way back to the tech de la course, the front of the race where five riders have escaped. We know we had Melvin Torres, the gorilla from Guatemala in that group. We had Javin Gonzalez, we had um, Dylan Levy, I think we had young Leon Leslie, we had Bob Gabriel, uh, and who was another rider? Fernando Rosado. So as soon as we reach back, I'll definitely get the names of all the riders in this front of the group, folks, the Tech de la Course. We guys, we are heading closer and closer, we are inching closer with every pedal stroke we are entering. We are heading towards the city where this race will come to its climax in front of Leslie's Imports fans. Finish, eat up your food, take a bath, tear the kids out at the finishing line there at Leslie's Imports where all the festivities will be happening after the race, the prize given. You will find out who the young cyclist that will be traveling to LA to train with um, Mr. Kalman Williams and the legions of Los Angeles, some lucky kid will be um, will get a prize and all the nice prizes will be given away. You will hear the names of the sponsors and you know enjoy a day of cycling. We can see the riders in the distance. We are just about to approach the riders. Five riders. We are just behind the riders. Five riders giving a name. Bob Gabriel, who is right on the attack. We have Javin Gonzalez. We have um, Fernando Rosado. Oh, I may say Leon Lester, but not Leon Lester. I may um, Javin Gonzalez. So Javin Gonzalez, Melvin Torres, Fernando Rosado, and Dylan Levy, and Bob Gabriel. The master is riding away. Bob Gabriel, the master is riding away. And um, I don't think um, um, the guys are trying to chase on Bob Gabriel and try to lift it up to, to the Guatemalan, but um, it's um, Javin Gonzalez and the PS followed by Melvin Torres, a.k.a. the Gorilla, young Fernando Rosado. Very impressed with young Fernando Ros uh, Rosado, a, a um, super domestic, and he's paying attention. He's in the break. He rode very well in the Digitour, you know, supporting his team, the Alliance team, and young Fernando Rosado making a mark. I hope this man will get a real nice bike. I hope the team would buy him a real nice bike as this man bike. Um, I rode his bike, and man, even my little old bike ride better for him bike, so. Team, please help Fernando Rosado getting a real nice bike. This man is uh, future of cycling. This man definitely he's a very young kid. I think he's just about 23 years old, and he's making a mark for himself in cycling. There is Miss Leticia doing an awesome job, making sure everything and and it's Levy on the front. Here comes the Guatemalan. The Guatemalan taking over the pace. These guys are facing the Guatemalan on front. Bob Gabriel. Bob Gabriel heading to Rockville. Let us see if Bob Gabriel will capture the prize at Rockville. We just passed mile 23, heading to was mile 22 and towards to Rockville, which Rockville is at mile 21. The prize at Rockville is a $500 box from Benny's. I think Bob know that and Bob won that prize. Go and buy some zinc free house. Bob Gabriel on the front driving the pace. Take it, take it, um, at the back here we have Javin Gonzalez, Fernando Rosado, Dylan Levy, and the Guatemalan Melvin El Gorilla Torres. Folks, we are streaming both on YouTube and Facebook. So again, we want to big up the people bringing live into your living room. We want to big up the Tillit Farm from Fang Edis Village. We want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial Family. Steve Benedict Auto Sales Incorporated out of in New York. You can reach him at 929-240-8765 by Ardonis Bike Shops, by Father and Son Bike and Electronic Store on Daly Street. I want to shout out Mr. Benedict. I want to shout out his son in Burbank, California, Rashan Benedict. 
big up you guys supporting cycling here in the country of Belize and the pace we have Fernando Rosado one right up front Bob Gabriel riding away from these guys I think he's heading he wants to win that $500 or that 500 Benny's box been given at Rockville by Benny's after that we have a prize at Bainesville it's a $50 donated by Patrick Thompson the nephew of Alfred Parks now on the pace the gorilla Melvin Torres taking over the pace Javin Gonzalez one rider up front Bob Gabriel heading towards Rockville past mile 22 so we're just about half mile from Bob winning that prize at Rockville we are going into a little headwind I can feel the headwind these guys have opened the gap and the group at the back we had about um, we had about um, six or so riders at the back we had Oscar we had you know, we had young Phenom we had Leon Leslie we had um, uh, Carlton Robinson um, I'm trying to remember we had Angel Zib in that group can't remember all the names but we're heading towards Rockville and it seems that Bob Gable will win that prize at Rockville Bob Gabriel will win that. Bob Gabriel will win that prize at Rockville. Not because Bob passed the line. The Rockville. So Bob Gabriel, let us see if you guys can catch him. But Bob Gabriel, Bob Gabriel heading to the line at Rockville. It's all Bob Gabriel will give him his moment of fame. Bob Gabriel driving. He's all over his machine as he approached Rockville here at mile 21, folks. So you know what I mean? We are inching closer and closer to the finish of this event we are just about 20 miles away because um this is important is that my name so here goes bob gabriel bob gabriel on the front driving his way towards rockville we can see the flag waving in the um at the official waving the flag there at rockville and it's all bob gabriel as he head towards rockville folks we are streaming both on youtube and facebook remember to like and subscribe to the youtube channel bob gabriel's wave number 62 he rides for culture slash spd he's in a top position as he head towards rockville bob gabriel reclaimed the prize here at rockville we can see the official waving his arm as bob right away we'll see the here comes the group four four riders Javin Gonzalez, Fernando Rosado, Melvin Torres, Dylan Levy. We're still here at Rockville. We await the we await the next group on the road. Um, we see the five riders right off. Bob Gable out front. We await the next group coming on the road. Um, Bainesville is a fifty dollars. Yes, Patrick William uh, Patrick M. Thompson at Hatterville Football Field. There's a cell phone by American Closeout at Eternal Garden Mall Thirteen. There's a trophy plus one night stay for two at Lugs Cabin Tanga. At mile eight, there's a five hundred dollars prize, triple import. So, oh wow, nice prize at mile eight. At mile six, there's a hundred and fifty dollars by Edmund Kwan. At mile five, there's a, a gift certificate by Belize local dealer deals. And at three miles, there's a five hundred dollars at uh, at Belize Waste Control. So, a nice prize come up here. Comes the group of riders in charge by Oscar Curious Banks. Did you may check the time. Or the official at the time. So here comes the group, Oscar Curious. It's over a minute and change. Oscar Curious, defending champ, followed by um, Carlton Rongson, Leon Leslie, Gwen Gabriel, um, Hula Hook, Young Finan, Baby Chav, and Angel Zib. Get back on the motorcycle and join back the race. So I don't think the group at the back will ever make it back. I want to big up my driver, Mr. Wilbert Banks, as we leave Rockville. We head back to the Tech de la Course where we had Bob Gabriel out front, four riders behind Bob Gabriel. A 
beautiful day here in the country of Belize. Mother Nature best kept secret. Belize, Central America, a lot of tourists come on when they want to big up the BTB, you know, spreading some of the nice videos where we see the, um, the beautiful country of Belize. I understand yesterday, Mr. Thompson to made 23 flights, 23 flights arrive in Belize. Just imagine 23 flights in a small country of Belize. That's awesome. The tourists are bringing this money there. Dollars here in Belize, building the economy. So we're here with Young Finan Bebichav, Goran Gabriel, Hula Hu, um, Angel Zib, Carlton Robinson, Oscar Curious, and driving the PS, Leon Leslie. So the defending champ there, the, de the defending cross country champ, the defending champ of this event. Oscar Curious in this event, he wears number 10, he rides for Valvoline. Young Leon Leslie, very impressed with Young Leon Leslie. You know, he came from the, he came from the Guns um, Cycling um, Club and now he's out here doing his thing there as um, Angel Zib. Young Goran Gable came from the Seaway camp. And Hula Hook sitting there, and I know that Hula Hook will probably attack them. Um, he's waiting, he's waiting on the moment to attack them. He have won a lot of prize, he's looking at them. And um, Angel Zib now taking over the pace. Shortly we'll move up to the Tech de la Coast where five riders have escaped. We know we had Bob Gable out front. He passed in front of Rockville all alone to win, claim that prize. So a lot of prize remaining in this event, folks. So the next prize, the Bainesville. And our fifty dollars, and then at Hattieval Football Field, it's a cell phone by uh, American Closeout, Leon Leslie and the Pierce, trying to close that gap. And I can see all the hook sizing up these guys. And we have we know seen nobody inside, so the guys have definitely pride opening gap. We we're not seeing any of the five riders. They have blown the race to smithereens, and we have five riders at the back. We have you know, six riders. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven riders. Oscar Curious, the defending champion, and the pace doing some 23 miles on our inner headwind, followed by Carlton Robinson, Valvoline rider, Alliance United rider, G Flow rider, Alliance United rider, G Flow rider, Guatemalan, and G Flow. So we have three G Flow. We have G Flow in the likes of Young Fina, Baby Chav, Leon Leslie, and Goran Gabriel, two Alliance rider. Um, I think Oscar now are putting a lot of pace because his yeah, my teammate over there, um, G Flow have riders over there, so the Guatemalans have riders, so they were odd thing because all the riders back there have a teammate up front, so they won't assist. So who um, Guatemala? Uh, every single rider up here have a uh, rider. Up there. That's the reason why the gap have pro, uh, pride open. So the defending champion is um, look like he give a um, leak um, run to his teammate. So Banks will move up, move up back to the technical approach of the race. So folks, that's the reason why these guys are not chasing hard. They all have teammates, but the Guatemalan have a teammate. Valvoline have a teammate. G-Flow have a teammate. So they won't assist. So we leave this course. We go to the Tech de la Course where these guys are almost out of sight, folks. They are almost out of sight. You can see them way in the distance by mile 19. We had to watch Bainesville where that prize will be given by uh, 50 dollars given by Patrick Thompson, the nephew of Alfred Parks, a member of the Alfred Parks Committee and this big huge event, the Alfred Parks Memorial Race, folks, we want to big up all the committee members, we want to big up all the people giving prize, you know who you are, if you're not calling your name, it's not because we forget, but we try to end up the race, we try to get Miss Rita Thompson to call out, big up all the sponsors of this event, without you guys, the race wouldn't be possible, we want to big up all the volunteers, we want to big up the Cycling Federation of Belize, it's a hard task, somebody have to do it, and you know, we want to big up all the volunteers, like I said, I saw Miss Debs, and Miss Rita and Letizia spent all day at the bike shop registering the riders. You know, there's a lot of little glitches, riders calling in last moment to register, but it's going smooth, folks. We approach the riders here as we approach mile 18 here on the George Price Highway, heading into the city, folks. Head out to Leslie's Imports if you are in the city and you want to see an exciting conclusion, or you can stay online as we bring it both on YouTube and Facebook. Erdones Bike Shop Facebook and YouTube. I want to big up my son, George and Erdones, loaning us his phone to bring it on YouTube. I want to big up Mr. Evan Thompson, the man last night, 
done for work tired, but the man said, do we we going to boom, we will pick up the phone because we need to get the action on YouTube, folks. As we approach the riders here at mile 18, I'll give you the names of the riders. They have caught up back, Bob Gable. There's still five riders. It's Javin Gonzalez, the uh, Melvin Torres, a.k.a. the Gorilla, Big Bad Gabriel, Master, Dylan Levy, and Fernando Rosado. So like I tell you, so you have well, Alliance United rider here. We have a uh, Valvoline rider here. We have a uh, G-Flow rider here. We have a uh, Guatemalan rider here. The only person that is not, a, you know, have a team that back so, um, and uh, Bob Gabriel, he is the ad. But all the rest of guys have teammates, so that's the reason that group at the back they aren't chasing. They would chase down their own teammates, so. I think Oscar said, well, I'll give Dylan a run today. Um, Hula Hook said, well, I'll give the, the um, Gorilla a chance today. And the team, the teammates from G Flow know that um, Javin Gonzalez is, is um, the, I remember Young Phenom, like I mentioned, Young Phenom would say, I will ride today for Javin. So that's the reason why the gap have put on folks. So we know cycling, we study cycling, and we know how it operates. You won't chase your own teammate. And especially they have their big guns. Uh, I guess United, Alliance United is giving Young Fernando Rosado Aron, he is definitely a super domestic for his team. So all these guys, there's Javin Gonzalez. I don't know where the man they eat if the powder bone, if the um if the um bread pudding, potato pong, but the man foot mouth full, he's looking good. Silverback and gorilla. Oh <laughs> the man said silverback and gorilla and so um silverback they show a big gorilla so that they say two gorilla there are two gorilla, the Guatemalan gorilla and the Belize gorilla cause Bob, they say, Silverback, the gorilla, because they see the thing. So it's two gorilla here in the, um, in the group break out of the cage. The two gorilla broke out of the cage. So Bob is saying, yes, Silverback is also a gorilla. So two gorilla here, the gorilla, the Guatemalan gorilla, uh, Miguel, I mean, um, Melvin Torres, and Obelis gorilla, um, Silverback. Bob Gabriel looking good. He's not um, suffering. And these guys have a huge gap on the main field of riders at the back. So, folks, we can almost say that the winner will come from this group if Hula Hook does come across, because I know Hula Hook will definitely try to hit these guys. Um, I think we're done. We're done past Bainesville. I think I just want to pass Bainesville. No, I don't think we passed Bainesville yet. We, yes, we just don't pass Bainesville. I don't know who in a prize. I don't know who in a prize. I don't know who in a Dylan Levy on the front, followed by Javin Gonzalez, the Guatemalan, Melvin Torres on the pace, Pap Gabriel, number 62, looking good. Young Fernando receiving um, water from the neutral service vehicle. So these five riders seems that they will head into the city. Who will it be? Who will it make an attack? Who will try to go in solo? Will it be a group sprint? Uh, Bangs, I can't drink no water right now. Hold on to it for me. Uh, so, we are making our way. We pass mile 17. We are passing mile 17 here on the George Price Highway. So, folks, we are approaching the city pretty fast. We have five riders. Bob Gabriel. Miguel Torres. Make, um, and there's an attack, there's an attack as we speak. Oh no, the, the, the only thing of the prize? Yes, there was a prize. Uh, the um, um, Melvin Torres, I said Miguel, Melvin Torres, Miguel Torres, um, sprint with him, Bob, so I don't know who got a prize. Melvin Torres, Bob Gabriel, Javin Gonzalez, Fernando Rosado, and Dylan Levy. These are the five riders heading towards the city in the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. Beautiful event today, one well, big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family for hosting this huge event here today, the 25th of February 2024. There's Bob speaking to the Guatemalan. The Guatemalan. Everybody up here, so nobody seems that they are suffering. Everybody look nice and calm. Driving still chewing down so for the bono, so potato pong or some kind of special thing that Miss Kanaki had them made for him. But they don't want to give you any secrets. Yes, there on the pace is young Fernando Rosado. As we head into Hattieville, folks, there's a, a five. A, where, where, at Hattieville, there's what? There's a. I can see. I know the 500 last cash it at uh, Belize Waste Control. So I'll tell you about the last prize of the day. 
So we could see if somebody wants to attack out. So at Hattieville. Hattieville there's a cell phone. At Hattieville there's a cell phone by American close out. <coughs> Sorry folks, I don't mean for cough, you know no, you know no, you know in the ears, but you know I had a little um, bad throat. But I still fight it to bring you guys live action into your living room as we approach um, Hattieville, five riders out front on the pace, Dylan Levy, followed by Fernando Rosado, Javin Gonzalez, Silverback, Melvin Torres, aka Gorilla, and Big Bob Gabriel. These are the five riders that can, I think one of them can win this event as we approach Hattieville. It's a beautiful Sunday, February 25th. There's a huge group, at, there's a huge crowd at Hattieville cheering on the riders. You can see the official waving their flag, who will claim that cell phone here at Hattieville. Some Mike Burgess backyard and the fans are out. So it's the two gorilla driving Gonzalez claiming that prize, driving Gonzalez claiming that prize, beating out young um, the Guatemalan Melvin Torres. Huh? I can drink the water quick then, okay. Yeah man, thanks, thanks brother. Why you have to drink water? Why you have to drink So we joined back the race in the shot well, we joined back the race in the shot well. I think I need to drink water and they forced me to drink water, so I drink the water. But the guys they tell me good job, good job. The guys are out here, the chair on the riders. What are the time gap? We are here at Hatville and we are still wait. We still can see the riders way around the curve to try to make it back. Okay. So they say the, the peloton is 35 seconds. The peloton is 35 seconds behind this group of riders, which includes Oscar Curios, um, the Guatemalan Hula Hook, um, Carlton Robinson, Angel Zib, Goran Gabriel, um, Young Leon Leslie. Um, who else we have there? Yeah, Hula, hula Hook and the PS. We have um, Young Fina and Baby Chav as they pass us there. 134, 134 is the gap, 134, and we can see the mass of riders coming. So these riders are fast approaching. The, yes, one, we can see the mass. We'll stay right here until these guys pass. The mass of riders are coming, they are approaching. So they will, if they continue, we'll catch up to that, that second group on the road. And it's five riders out front, folks. When we leave here, we go to the Tech Lock Horse, where um, all the riders, the, the five riders up front. So shortly, we await, we can see the mass. A big field of riders, we can see on the pace, we can see. Um, Wasani Castro, Wasani Castro, Baron Pope. Um, we can see young Delta Rojas. Two minutes, 20 seconds, two minutes, 20 seconds, two minutes, seconds, and a big group of riders. We leave Hattieville, we leave. Okay, I'm going to All right. We leave Hattieville, and the, all the riders, the mass of riders, just pass a big field of riders, some 40, 40 odd riders passing in that group. Like I said, we had the lead group. We leave Hattieville, folks. We leave Hattieville. Remember, fans are living at the city. If you want to see an exciting conclusion, head out to Leslie's Imports, where you will see the exciting conclusion of this event, the second annual running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. We want to big up the entire Alfred Parks Memorial family 
We want to pick up all the sponsors who gave those beautiful prizes today in the second round of this event. We want to pick up the Cycling Federation of Belize as we approach. This is the back of the peloton. The riders, um, we can see um, Rain and Matters have abandoned the races in the vehicle. As we pass through the park, we can see all the riders. Roque Matters still there. We can see young, a lot of riders still there. We can see Taren Tasha. We can see young um, Ivan Osha there. It's Baron Pope on the front. It's still, it's still <laughs> Wasani Castro. Wasani Castro still driving the front. Yes, a lot of riders still in this group. If these guys continue, they can catch a group right up in front of them. We have some six riders so just up front there making their way around the roundabout here in Hattieville. We had Oscar Kuros, we had Angel Zib, we had Goran Gable, we had young Leon Leslie, we had the Guatemalan Hula Ho, we had um, Carlton Robinson in that group. I'll give you their names as soon as we approach them. And then up front we had the, the five riders up front. Past you. Whoa! Huge bump as we join back the riders heading towards mile 14. We approach we, um, young Phenom is in this group. So we approach back. The second group on the road there is Oscar Curos. There is um, Carlton Robinson, Goran Gabriel, Angel Zib, Hula Hu, Leon Leslie, and young Phenom Babichov. And none of these guys won't. Um, then they, they, they saw Phelps on the front and the gap was a minute and change behind and the big main group is 32 seconds behind this group of riders 32 seconds behind this group of riders Guran Gable on the front just pull off and way in the distance, way in the distance we can see the riders way in the distance we can see the riders Yay! At mile 13, there's a prize given by mile 13. Now, Hula Hook is on the pace. Hula Hook on the pace. The pace have lift up. Hula Hook on the pace. The pace have lift up to some 20, 23 miles an hour. He pulls off. Here comes young Leon Leslie. You can see the riders in the distance. And Hula Hook, I know Hula Hook will definitely try to attack these guys. There's Oscar looking up to see where the riders are as they go around the curve there at mile 13 and a half. These guys approach mile 14 here on the Dodge Price Highway. This is the second group on the road. Young Leon Leslie rides for G-Flow. Where's number six? Oscar Curious, the defending champ. Where's number 10? Carlton Robinson. Goran Gable, I mean, Goran Gable, Angel Zib. We leave them, we go to the Tech Dalla Course where five riders have escaped, heading towards a city in the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. A beautiful event, great prizes, like I said. We want to pick up all the volunteers, like I said. Over this past week, I saw Miss Rita, uh, Miss Debs, Miss uh, Leticia, the whole group, you know, working Lincoln came to, uh, you know, flew in from New, New Hampshire, Eckers flew in from New York, Godwin Terry Allen flying, and uh, Ashton Cody came in from, um, from LA, bringing all the jerseys, all the shirts for the official, the shirts that we are wearing, big up Ashton Clothing. Steven and Jackie, they had a rough time, but they made it and they are enjoying the race so far. A beautiful event, like I said, the live has been brought to you by the Tillet Farm out of Frank Eddie's Farm, by Alfred Parks Memorial Family Foundation, by Steve Benedict Auto Sales out of New York. You can reach him at 929-240-8765, by Erdogan's Bike Shops, and by Father and Son Bike and Electronic Store there on Daly Street. Folks, we approach the riders as they head towards mile 13. Five riders going through traffic. Give you the names of the riders shortly. You can see the official just up front where the prize will be given out. This vehicle need to move out the way. No business there. Had to stay on the it's a service vehicle. A SPD rider. He doesn't visit at that position. So we approach the riders. It's Bob Gabriel on the front. The five riders are still here in the hunt. Bob Gabriel driving it. Bob Gabriel doing some. Let me see what speed he's doing. Bob Gabriel, the master rider. Bob Gabriel won that prize. Bob Gabriel driving it. Bob Gabriel doing some 26 miles an hour. Bob Gabriel doing some. And yes, Fernando Rosado. Fernando Rosado will claim that prize. Fernando Rosado looking good. I tell about this kid. Fernando Rosado jumping out, winning the prize. Bob Gabriel, nothing. Bob Gabriel to help. Happy. Here goes Bob Gabriel. He shake his head and said, you know, I work so hard and this young kid come and steal the prize, but these guys come here to collect their, 
they are prized at the party, you know, when you, when you go to a party and you get a party bag or on a bus the pinata. Well, young Fernando Rosado bus the pinata just now, grab all the sweets. Here comes the gorilla Melvin Torres out of Guatemala, the junior champion. Here comes Silverback, oh, U23 champion. Silverback, that's another gorilla they call it. So we have two serious guys here in this group. We have Dylan Levy and we have Bob Gabriel, the master rider, doing awesome. As um, Javin Gonzalez dancing on the pedal and closing the gap to young Fernando Rosado. So we have a Fernando Rosado rides for Alliance United. We have Javin Gonzalez rides for G Flow, Guatemalan rider, the U23 champion. Melvin Torres rides out of Guatemala. Bob Gabriel, Bob Gabriel the lone, uh, the lone Lata champion out there. Master champ, U23 champ, junior champ, serious domestic. And Dylan Levy, very impressed with Dylan Levy, crossover to the Valvoline team. So the three big coaches have their rider here. So Fitzgerald Palace, Joseph, um, Kaliman Williams, and um, Carl Mokolok, who will it be? Who will be victorious today? Will young Rosado surprise them and ride in all alone? Or will Silverback Javin Gonzalez get his big double up today? Will the Guatemalan try to attack them and go solo? Will Big Bob Gabriel, the master rider, surprise the whole group and win this event? Or will Levy do his thing? So we have five riders out front. Heading towards mile 12 here on the Judge by survey. Folks, we are fast approaching the city. It's time to head out. It's time to head out to Leslie's Imports, folks. It's time to head out to Leslie's Imports. We are fast approaching the city in the second running of this beautiful event, folks. Oh, there will be, you know, they have the barriers, they have music, they have food. One big up Miss Elda Kanaki from the Belize Jude Foundation providing a hundred food for the riders after they complete this hard task of 95 miles these guys are prepping up for the upcoming whole Saturday cross country race next weekend it's the um it's the um Belmapan classic some hundred miles then in the afternoon the uh, minister Mala the horse uh, crit race a short crit race on the Central American Boulevard that will be streamed live on Rodriguez bike shop and some beautiful prize I think the first prize for the elite is a thousand dollars so you know, racing after racing after racing, these guys, they hope they put, as soon as they go home, they put up their legs, they get to the massage, they eat some food for recover for another race. Coming up, because it's racing after racing, we know after the, um, when it's the, um, it's the, um, I think the Federation really have to sit down these um, service people and teach them that the rider need to go at the back of the field. You can't come and blow your hand and try to hit other riders. Be careful, guys, you need to get schooling, so, I beg on the Federation to have a, a sit down with all people that will be service personnel out here to learn to obey the laws of the UCI. I mean, this is getting dangerous when the service vehicle pull behind the vehicle uh, and behind the cyclists and um, overlap the riders. Your rider need to drop at the back of the field, collect his service and then come up. This is not a sport for the field at heart. If you're not ready for this, don't come and ride a bicycle. So I'm being harsh today, but the, no matter which service vehicle, they need to learn to be a boy, obey the, the laws of the Cycling Federation of and of UCI. And that's for the safety of the riders. We don't want to see those riders get run over by a car or that would be nasty. So as we approach mile 11, it's Fernando Rosado on the front. There's Levy sucking down a gel. There's the... Um, Bob Gabriel, there is um, Javin Gonzalez and young Melvin Torres, aka the Gorilla. I want to big up my driver, Mr. Wilbert Banks. I want to big up Festival Palace Joseph, then on us this packet racket.
So I don't know if the guys are going to tell that then guys they come and they'll shoot what happened the back there, if something happened the back there, but they are saying something they are not supposed to quote, I understand. Like I said, the official is telling me, no, 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 there's no quoting, there's no quoting. Devante Bennett is in the vehicle, Devante Bennett have um, a band on the race. So the official just come death. And next thing, you can't quote, you can't come and quote in this. So I see, um, um, oh, um, old McDonald's is out. What are you up? Oh. So we approach mile 11, we approach mile 11. So two of the flow riders are out. We see um, Eric Trapp and Devante Bennett sitting in the, the, um, the service vehicle. So they are out of the race. If you are any of those fans of those two riders, they are out of the event. So we head towards um, mile 10. I know my family there, um, my cause, Tracy and Derek is tuning in. I know Candice and the whole crowd here in Chicago is tuning in. I know my family in the Cayman Islands is tuning in. The whole Caribbean, Horace boys. And there is Javin Gonzalez. Javin Gonzalez about to attack. Javin Gonzalez dancing on a pelly. He's immediately been marked by the next gorilla. Yes. Um, Young um, Melvin Torres hardly in pursuit of Javin Gonzalez. It seems that they have got word that the, the crowd is coming and Javin Gonzalez said, I won't um, work hard today and, and, and allow you guys to come and steal my glory today. So Javin Gonzalez on the pace, driving the pace, he's been followed by Melvin Torres. <laughs> leave it, leave it, trying to close the gap. A small gap has been opened up. Yes, yeah, the mother. Yes, yeah, the mother of Fernando Rosado and the dad supporting their son. The man pick up two water. <laughs> guys, I fight it. My throat is killing me, but I'm fighting it to bring you guys live action of this beautiful event today. The second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race held here on the Dodge Price Highway. We're approaching mile 10, so we are inching closer and closer folks so we only have a few minutes left remaining in this event it com concludes in front of Leslie's imports there uh, at mile one there on the Dodge Price Highway and it's five riders up front Melvin Torres out of Guatemala aka the gorilla big Bob Gabriel rides for SPD culture young Fernando Rosado Alliance United rider Javin Gonzalez rides for G-Flow and Dylan Levy rides for, for Team Valvoline. So we have different teams representative and behind that the same riders from different teams are there. We have riders from Valvoline, from Guatemala, from G-Flow, for Alliance United uh, approaching. We approach mile 10, we are on mile 10, we are just approaching mile 10. And Bob looking back, man of pouch water in a mouth, suck down. Folks, we have to give kudos to these cyclists come out and this tarmac bringing you live, exciting action into your living room. We are next, we approach the eight mile community. Let me see where the next prize will be given out. Yes, it's a at mile eight, it's a $500 prize. Yes, let us see. Definitely on fireworks and that eight hundred or five hundred dollars cash prize at eight mile community. Uh, and I can see that's triple triple A imports given uh, five hundred dollars. Then mile eight mile, mile six one hundred and fifty dollars at Monquan. Okay, so five hundred dollars cash prize coming up here at mile eight. Make us see who if the guys remember that on five hundred dollars cash prize, who will get that prize? I know um Javin Gonzalez, a very good sprinter, probably want to take a prize. <laughs> Javin, I see, I see, um, I see Mr. Um, Eduardo wearing his catchable, a part of the um, Cycling Federation official out here on the highway, folks. We head towards mile nine, and at mile eight, there's a $500 cash station prize. Javin Gonzalez, Javin Gonzalez. Yeah, uh, Javin Gonzalez telling Rosado, let's keep the pace steady. We have a chance of winning this race. Javin Gonzalez on the front, and he said, let's go. We can't allow these guys to, to come and, and take away all victory. Javin Gonzalez driving down the front. Javin Gonzalez followed by the Guatemalan um, Miguel Torres, aka the Gorilla, Dylan Levy. 
and they have decided to cooperate and ride together like a team. There's Bob Gabriel, there's no sign of suffering. Look at the face of um, young Fernando, no sign of suffering. All these guys look pretty good, strong here in the Tech de la Cruz, the front of the race. We approach, mile, we just pass mile nine, heading towards mile eight. Oh, I can't see if we reach mile nine yet. I don't think we reach mile nine yet. And Bob Gabriel, Bob Gabriel, Bob Gabriel riding after front, Bob Gabriel in a tuck position, Bob Gabriel riding after front, Bob Gabriel the master riding after front, and Javin Gonzalez looking at him and telling him go down the road. Javin Gonzalez is saying, can you imagine that? A master riding after front. They will leave it up to the Guatemalan, the Guatemalan will have to pick up chase. The Guatemalan, Bob, um, um, Javin is telling the Guatemalan, that's your wheel, that's your wheel. The Guatemalan is looking back. Here goes um, Dylan Levy and Bob open a small gap, it just passed mile nine just past mile nine here on the George Price Highway and it's big Bob Gabriel, the master rider, riding away. He have put at least about 15 bicycle lengths into them. What, what, what are the time gap? 110? 110. 110, the official says 110. The gap is 110. The, the time gap is 110 to the, the group of riders. They have definitely closed the gap. The group have closed the gap. And it's Bob Gabriel out front as he approach mile Eight, he can win that five hundred dollars if the guys don't pay attention. Bob Gable will ride away with that five hundred dollars at mile eight. Bob Gable all alone is looking back. He can see the wrong about in the distance. Right after the wrong about is a mile eight. So Bob Gabriel all alone. Uh, these guys are soft pedaling. Javin Gonzalez feeling back. The Guatemalan is looking back to see where um, um, Javin. He's seen if Javin would make a sneak attack. There's Levy, young Rosado. And Bob is extending his gap. Bob Gable is extending his gap. Let us see. There's definitely going to be some war between now and um, the finishing of this race. And the Guatemalan is keeping a cool uh, uh, eye on um, Javin Gonzalez. I think Javin Gonzalez is sizing up these guys. I think he's going to hit them hard. Javin Gonzalez, you know, three wheels open up when and then he will attack. And here goes, here goes, um, um, here goes Javin Gonzalez. Exactly what I said. Javin Gonzalez on a massive attack. He don't want anybody to jump on his. Um, and Javin Gonzalez giving his all, Javin Gonzalez, Javin Gonzalez, Javin Gonzalez giving his all, he has opened a gap and the, the, um, the, um, the Guatemalan chasing the wheel of um, Javin Gonzalez, a small gap of open to Levy, Levy got dropped, Fernando Rosado sticking on the wheel of the Guatemalan but Javin Gonzalez driving for the wheel of Bob Gabriel as we approach a roundabout here and, the, um, and Javin Gonzalez, the, Mexic the Guatemalan have given up, the Guatemalan has given up, uh, he free wheel and, and um, Fernando Rosado sit up and Javin Gonzalez driving for the wheel of Javin Gonzalez going solo over to Bob Gabriel. Bob Gabriel digging deep, realizing the 500 is coming up. Bob Gabriel digging deep and Javin Gonzalez closing the gap to Bob Gabriel with every pedal stroke. Yes, let us see if he'll catch him before that 500. And Javin Gonzalez, folks, the race have been blown to smithereens. Um, leaving a whole lot of trouble. Levy have been dropped. He's a whole lot of trouble and Bob Gabriel closing the gap. And I think Bob Gabriel got that 500 dollars. He'll be joined by um, Bob Gabriel and Javin Gonzalez. Javin Gonzalez about to to reach the wheel of Bob Gabriel uh, and Fernando Rosado won't help the Guatemalan, it's all Guatemalan and it's Bob Gabriel and Joe and, and Javin Gonzalez. Javin Gonzalez have caught up to Bob Gabriel, he went straight on the pace and he's telling them, let's go, let's go. Bob Gabriel immediately jumped on the wheel of Javin Gonzalez as we as we approach just past mile eight. It's um Javin Gonzalez race number three, mad pacing by this kid, the silver back have it's, it's closed the, 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 uh, the gate and the gorilla, the gorilla have to do all the work. It's Bob Gabriel and Javin Gonzalez doing some 24 miles an hour as we head towards mile 7, just past mile 8. Here goes Bob Gabriel, Bob Gabriel coming to assist. He made the initial attack, folks. This is war out here today on the Dodge Price Highway in the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. Big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family for hosting this monster event. This race is getting to be a favorite amongst the cyclists. You know, it's right, you know, cross country is right around the bend and they can use this to measure their condition. And Javin Gonzalez looking good, Miss Kanaki. I know you are jumping up. I know the whole G Flow crowd there in Jadville are jumping up, watching their television, their, their telephone. I imagine the, 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 the sisters and brothers and family of Javin Gonzalez is have their fingers crossed. Javin can win this second, this monster event. Kaliman Williams got his finger crossed. Kaliman Williams said, you know something, I show you. We as G Flow won the last race, the Digitour, and now we are here to try to capture the second row race in a row in the Alfred Park, second running of the Alfred Parks 
in the likes of Darwin Gonzalez, who is not letting up. Nice high key and is looking good. He's doing some 25.8 miles an hour. And Bob Gabriel, the gap. The gap have extended, the gap have extended, the gap have extended. These guys have put a hurt in the race, guys. The whole race have been blown to smearing. And Bob Gabriel is doing his best to try to stay on the wheel of Javin Gonzalez, showing that he's a silver buck. He's a monster. Javin Gonzalez, you can see the, the, we are heading to a headwind. And these guys are doing, according to the, um, the garment, they are doing some 24 miles now in this heavy headwind. It's all Javin Gonzalez and Bob Gabriel as we head towards the city, Bob Gabriel, Javin Gonzalez, Bob Gabriel, Javin Gonzalez, all over their machine. Look at the expression on the face of Javin Gonzalez as he's sucking in all the oxygen. He's seeing victory, he's smelling blood. He said, no Guatemala to come and, and throw me out of any party. So Javin Gonzalez heading towards the Burton Creek Bridge, Javin Gonzalez, G Flow, waving that jersey well and proud. I know the fans are jumping up. There is Bob Gabriel. Always machine, you can see the expression. There's a different expression. Bob, uh, Bob Gabriel, you can see he's in a lot of pain and suffering. His legs is screaming, his logs is screaming. And Javin Gonzalez continue to push the pace. It's relentless. He's still doing some 24 miles an hour all alone. Bob Gabriel, unable to even assist him at this moment, is hanging on for dear life as, as Javin Gonzalez keep cranking those pedals as he can smell victory. And we can look back, we can see where in the distance we can see a rider who is somewhere about almost 30 seconds behind, but it's all go around, uh, all, um, Javin Gonzalez, he looks across to Bob, Bob is trying to assist him, he will take a little short break, and then he will go back on the pace, he dance out of the pedal, Javin Gonzalez looking good, Javin Gonzalez and Bob Gabriel, two Belizean riders, defending authorities from the Guatemalans, Ula Hook, Ula Hook, um, Melvin Torres, the, the Awanium, and, and Diego, and Diego Moreira. So um, Hula Hook is in the group with the, the main field, and we have um, we had Melvin Torres who was in this group, but he was dropped. And Javin Gonzalez, you can see the expression on this young man's face. He wants this victory. He can smell this victory. He can see this victory, and he, you know, I can see he's ripping his teeth. He's saying, you know, it's do or die today, do or die today. We are approaching, we are approaching mile six, so we are only about five miles. We can hear the builders up front. We can hear the builders up front as Bob Gabriel, you know, driving towards the bridge, still doing some 24.8 miles an hour, followed by um, duo, um, by um, Javin Gonzalez. We're looking back, no one in sight, no one does officials I'm seeing. So these guys can be one, two right here. So Bob Gabriel pull off the pace. He's saying, I will give you all I have. And Javin Gonzalez on the pace again, relentless, driving the pace towards the city. Folks come out at the Leslie's Imports to see the exciting conclusion. I hope I have you guys on the point of your seat. I hope you are enjoying the live that is bringing straight into your living room. We want to big up the people bringing live into your living room. We want to big up Tillit Farm out of um, Frank Eddy's farm. We want to big up Alfred Park's memorial family. We want to big up Steve Benedict out of sale there in New York. You can reach him at 929-240-8765. So we are here at mile six. Another prize has been given. And here comes the two riders. Um, Javin Gonzalez Cup the prize. We are wait, we are wait. We can see one lead, one rider coming, one rider coming. I think, let me see who that rider is. A rider is coming in white. Let me see who that rider is. I'm not sure, is that Levy coming? We are here at the bridge. It, that's the riding style of Levy. That's the riding style of Levy. Levy have dropped um, Rosado and the Guatemalan. Here comes Mr. Levy, proud of um, Dylan Levy. He was dropped earlier, but he regained and he is in third place. He's the other rider on the road. Dylan Levy, as he passed us here at mile six, and we can see the Guatemalan Rosado coming in the distance. And behind there is more riders coming. We can see these riders coming on a full blast. We can see, we see like Oscar. We see, let me, we see right there for a short while, then we move up to the technical course. We can see um, the Guatemalan Miguel Torres. We can see Rosado, Rosado attacking, Rosado attacking, and here comes. Here comes, um, it's Atli Lozano driving the, the Valvoline train. Atli Lozano on the wheel. It's Baron Pope, Oscar Curious, um, Wasani, Wasani Casho. And number eight there, um, 
we're gonna move up, we're gonna move up. Um, Tyron Tasha, it seems that Tyron Tasha have made it in that group. Hold on, bangs, hold on, and we'll drop off of the cycle. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go. Let's go. The defending champion not give up, the defending champion not give up. He's that group and he has his domestic in the likes of Atlee Lozano driving the PX Force. A whole heap of excitement here on the tarmac as we head towards the city. We leave mile six. We give you live action as it unfolds before your very eyes in the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. I hope you guys are having a whole heap of fun. These guys have caught up. We can see it's Oscar Cures now on the PS. Oscar Cures now on the PS. Oscar Cures, they have a car, the Guatemala and, and Rosado, and at least have done his job. And Oscar Cures driving the train. Here is um, um, uh, um, Tasha being dropped. The Guatemalan, the, the, Guate, the Guatemalan is in deep trouble. Yes, he's in deep trouble. And Baron Pope, Wasani can show, and, and Oscar Cures can see the riders up front. They can see Levy. And we can see Bob up in the distance. There is um, Wasani Kasho, Baron Pope, and Oscar Curious folks. The whole race have been blown to smithereens. The defending champion, talking three, right, three of our top riders here, Wasani Kasho, defending champion, and present cross country champion, Oscar Curious, and Baron Pope heading the charge. They can see, um, they can see Levy right in the distance. They can reach out. They can see Bob Gable up the road. Bob Gable and um, Javin Gonzalez, who is not letting up folks. In a short while, we leave these guys and we go back to the technical course where two riders are up front, Javin Gonzalez and Bob Gabriel. Eh? If these guys don't step on it, they won't catch. We only have a few more miles remaining in this event as we pass in front of the old Belize compound folks. We want to big up the people bringing alive, like I said. We want to big up Till It Farm out of Frank Eddie's farm. We want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family. Steve Benedict Auto Sales Incorporated in New York. We reach him at 929. 240-8765 Erdones Bike Shops and Father and Son Father and Son Bike Shop and Electronic Store in Belize. Folks, we leave the riders. We are approaching Levy. Levy is about to be caught. Levy knows man land and three big fish. So he has to look back and see so he can save his leg. There is Mr. Levy giving his all. We head up back to the Tech Dollar Coast where two riders have escaped in the likes of Diving Gonzalez, the Silverback and the, the master Bob Gabriel, who's definitely making a name for himself in cycling this mania. He's a master. This man broke up so much time in a bike race and he have returned to the bike and now he's up front having a chance to win this race. But he's along with Silverback. Young Javin Gonzalez rides for G Flow as they head towards Belize City, folks. If you are not out as less as import, just put on our short pants and run out to the event because if you're not reached there, then dead people are grabbing along the way because they want to see the race and so they will grab at you guys. So make sure when you run through bearing ground, there's a lot of dead people who are raised out in a grave and try to hang on to you guys. We approach the two riders, Bob Gable on the front, cranking up. These guys seem, they are smelling blood, they are smelling victory and they are relentless as we approach the checkpoint here at mile four here on the Dodge Price Highway. The entrance to the Coast Guard and it's Bob Gabriel. We are back in the Tech de la Course where the two lead riders, Javin Gonzalez and Bob Gabriel, are looking back, but they have a huge gap. These guys just need to keep it steady and they will be first and second today in this beautiful event. The second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race, folks. I know you guys, I hope you guys are having fun. Look at the amount of views people are viewing. We are both on YouTube and Facebook, folks. The police have cleared they have the traffic. We want to big up the police department cheering on the riders also it's bob gabriel it's all bob gabriel bob gabriel and and diving gonzalez as we head into the city we are getting closer and closer i hope you guys give me that heart if you are enjoying the live action you are receiving straight into your living room it's bob gabriel and Javin Gonzalez, Javin Gonzalez was sizing up these guys. I saw him drop behind and eventually he hit them hard. He's looking good. His cadence is high. Bob Gabriel is a different kind of rider. He has a punchy rider, but Javin Gonzalez have a nice smoother cadence. So when you come to the finish, you don't know if Javin Gonzalez have the quicker sprint, but Bob Gabriel riding awesome today. Where's number 62? That's the year I was born, 1962. That's a lucky number. Lucky number three for 
Javin Gonzalez as he dances out of the pedal as we inch closer and closer. We are just about a mile and a half from the finish. Folks, I hope the fans are out at the finishing line as we bring the action straight into your living room, straight into the finishing line on this beautiful 25th of February 2024, the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial family. I know Miss Rita, I know Miss Debs Alano in the vehicle. They probably they enjoy this beautiful event. Lincoln and Eckert, Stephen, Carol, Jackie, you all guys enjoying. Um, Terry, I know Oswald Bowman and the crew there in New York is enjoying. I know um, my good friend there gave prize today. Um, Kirsten Siberanis is having her watch party jumping up. Jump up, um, Kirsten, you and the whole family. I know you guys might, might laughing and say, what are you doing? Remember we, yes, Miss Early's Belize and give two beautiful prizes today. The Stuart and Robert II family, they are uh, having a whole heap of fun. You know, those people treat me like real family. Um, the Stuart and Robert family, they are a lot, a lot of love. They are much love they give me. They are you know, they give me gifts. Thank you guys for supporting, loving what I do. Like they said, Mr. Andrew, you know, we have to love you because you go, um, you go the extra mile to bring me live action. We know relentless. You get up early in the morning. Every time there's a race, every time I ask you for do a race, you will go out and assist, you know, in bringing the life into your living into our living room. But like I said, I can say I'm a very happy guy. I, everything I do, we love to work on bike, love to live stream, love to have the show. So everything I do, I enjoy. I'm not a person who is upset to go. Every day I look forward to go to my job and listen to these guys. Now we started up this thing at the bike shop with the young kids. The kids come in, they talk, they want to be the future. Um, Javin Gonzalez, Oscar Curious. Yep. So we're looking back. There's no way these guys will catch back. The winner will be between these two guys and I'm going to put it that Javin Gonzalez will be victorious today. Javin Gonzalez will be victorious today. I'm calling the shot like I called last week. I said the winner will be um, young Finam Baby Chav and, and Javin Gonzalez said um, I don't trust Bob, so Javin Gonzalez seems that he wants to go home all alone and Javin Gonzalez have opened a small gap, Bob Gabriel still trying to fight to stay on the wheel and Javin Gonzalez was riding in solo. I told him um, when yesterday, young Pini said, um, there was a group sprint, but hey, the same man he had the argument with was Javin Gonzalez who is riding home all alone. Bob Gabriel gives his all, Bob Gabriel, I hope. The group don't catch him, Bob Gabriel, you know, will ride in second and it's all diving Gonzalez, it's all diving Gonzalez, silver buck, I could see, I can see Miss Jennifer Kanaki, please don't break anything in your house there in the, in the States, and I can see the family members there in will jumping up for joy, the whole crew, the crew in LA, I know the whole group, the guys there, that they, um, I know um, um, Mr. Um, Charles Mosiah and the whole crew, at the um the park there in LA having fun driving road with them you know driving is riding away solo Bob won't able to stay on his wheel it's all Javen Gonzalez Javen Golden will be victorious today he rides in solo he rides in all alone he is the next girl that break out of the cage silver back Javen Gonzalez as he rides me make his way around the roundabout we're here with Bob Gabriel still with Bob Gabriel and we have Javen just up front he will ride into victory all alone. He will be victorious today, folks. So, Banks, um, and we can see there's no one in sight. So, Bob Gable will definitely get second place. Bob Gable gets second place. So, we move up to the technical course. We move up to Javin Gonzalez. We bring him home all alone. We know the crowd are roaring there at the finishing line here in the second running of the. Alfred Parks Memorial Race, Javin Gonzalez, G Flow. G Flow will be victorious there. Is Javin Gonzalez looking good? Look at the expression. He's sucking all the action in. He knows he smells victory, he smells blood, and he will be victorious today. It's all Javin Gonzalez as he's making his way to the finishing line, and the fans are cheering on everyone on the sideline. There is Henry Moreira, there's a the whole crew cheering on Javin Gonzalez. They are clapping, they are cheering, they are jumping up. I see. Uh, Pass and grave just now. I see the, the top of the grave raise up. I hope that that person will come out um, with the excitement here. As Javin Gonzalez bearing down, looking in a TT position, talking, driving for the fishing line. I see Mr. Cut Kelvin. I see Mr. Mr. Um, Maurice Cut Kelvin 
cheering on, a fan of, yeah, he's clapping on, he's cheering Gavin Gonzalez. Folks, we can see the finishing line, we can see the fans line the course. There is Pini Pini, this man, just to prove that he got what it takes against Pini get a nice skin. Javin Gonzalez, Javin Gonzalez as he rides towards victory. Javin Gonzalez, you can see the smile, it's painful, but it's painful smile. Yes, Javin Gonzalez out of his saddle, realize that he is victorious today. Javin Gonzalez making his way to the finishing line. It's all Javin Gonzalez as he makes his way to the finishing line. Look at the crowd as they cheer on Javin Gonzalez. Javin Gonzalez will be the 2024 as the, um, the Alfred Parks Memorial champion. Yes, Javin Gonzalez. Look at the fans. Look at the finishing line. Javin Gonzalez as he raises and Javin Gonzalez victorious today. Javin Gonzalez. Oh. All the fans, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you look at the fans. Look at the fans as they line the course. Look at the fans. Look. Look at Mr. Eckford. We await. Here comes. Here comes big Bob Gabriel. Bob Gabriel making his way to the finish line. Bob Gabriel making his way to the finishing line. Bob Gabriel did an awesome job today making his way to the finishing line. Yeah. Here comes Bob Gabriel. Here comes Bob Gabriel. Bob Gabriel. Number 62, Bob Gabriel. Folks. What a beautiful day it is. Here comes the sprint, here comes the sprint. I can see Baron Pope, I can see uh, Wasani Castro, Oscar Kuros, Oscar Kuros, sprinting for third place, Oscar Kuros, Oscar Kuros, third place, Baron Pope, fourth, Wasani Castro, fifth, and Taren Tasha, Ter kudos to Taren Tasha, Taren Tasha, coming in um, sixth position, kudos to Taren Tasha, road awesome today, no Guatemalans, go coming yet, no Guatemalans have arrived as yet, folks, Yes, a beautiful day, folks. We want to big up the people bringing life into your living room. Here comes another sprint. Here comes the field of riders. Who I can see? I can see Athlete Lozano. I can see Athlete. No, that's Dylan Levy. Dylan Levy and uh, Fernando Rosado. Here comes Dylan Levy. Dylan Levy sprinting in, beating out um, Dylan Levy, passing the finishing line. Here's Rosado. Here comes Athlete Lozano. And in the first Guatemalan, um, the young, the young um, Miguel Torres, the gorilla, the, 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 the shot on the cage. Yes, the first Guatemalan just passed just now. Folks, a beautiful day. Look at the fans as we can see more riders coming in. We can see another field of riders sprinting for, sprinting for a big group of riders. Some fatty riders. Huh? Yes, man. So, 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 um, fatty. And here comes the, the Belizean bullet. Here comes the Belizean bullet. Here, Greg Lovell, Belizean bullet. Here comes um, Dalton Robinson, Dalton Rojas as the stream cross the line. In today's the big event, the Alfred Parks Memorial Race, the second running, this huge monster event as it grows in the past. If you here comes um, another Guatemalan, Diego Moreira, and here comes this young kid, Ivan Usher, rode awesome today. Folks, we can see Wyndon Williams making his way to the finishing line, all the service vehicle passing through. We can see young Elwin Humes making his way to the finishing line. What a beautiful day it is. And the fans out here, we want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial family hosting this beautiful event. We can see the whole crew from Griga. OMG, what a beautiful day. I hope you guys have fun. I hope I keep you on your, your P's, your toes. So we are safe to get interviews with riders. Um, you enjoyed your you enjoy yes, race, yes, everybody? Yes, all right, good. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Continue doing as Yes, man. All right. So we look for some, get, try to get some interviews with um, riders. I want to see Silverback, Javin Gonzalez. Hey, guys, who won the junior? Um, we say no, win it. Jalen, we say no. Okay, Jalen, we say no. They say win the, the race. Folks, we are looking, we are looking for um, Javin Gonzalez. You love it? Uh, good job, all right, thanks, you know. All uh, uh, right, good, you say everybody tell me good job, thanks. Yes, man, let's try my best to keep cycling alive here in Belize. Looking for the champion, Javin Gonzalez, looking for Oski. Uh, trying to get some interviews with uh, a lot of the riders who came out. Yes, man, respect, you enjoy the race? All right, good, good, good. So, just watch the traffic, look across, over. 
and we go in the compound of the Leslie's Imports where all the action, where all the festivities will happen now. So if Jaiven Gonzalez, if the folks see Jaiven Gonzalez, then I'm, I'm right at the entrance. Yeah. I can say a few words there. I can say a few words with Mr. Levy. Road awesome today. Dylan Levy. I can get a few words with Dylan. <laughs> yeah. Dylan, I have to give you an interview, man. Awesome ride today. Uh, you recently uh, go over to the, um, the Valvoline team and you did show that you have what it takes. I'm going to leave you with Oscar directly, but you know, big up your fans. I can't see. I need to hear you. Oh, the man said, I can't say, um, no, I'm saying that awesome, awesome ride today, man. You did awesome, nothing to feel bad about. You gave your heart out and your awesome work. Yes, man, uh, hard, hard day. Um, just me to stay at the break and thing, but until us kick on my focus, but do my job, do my job. Really tired, good ride by the team. Uh, yes, that. So I'll be up the team yet, say. Team Valvoline, you got me, um, my mom, my pa, I have my family back for everybody bless up. Brandon, I see, I see, I see, I see you gang full of the thing. Yeah, today my job number four, try to scrape up the deep premium, eh? So that their body could have sit down, so down the stretch like Levy or Oscar could have go down in at the break. So um, I got power this solo move, try to get up the um, floral park, the, the Mount Cork, and any prize after that now, so. Scrape up the list station prize there, I know I do my job. Um, to get a leak it in, then, but they get, um, I think they get third. Or skip finishing at the 10th or so. Um, we had a good day, you know, we can't complain. So, I'm going to talk to the defending champion, Oscar Kuros. Oscar is a tough day in the saddle. Team rode well. Um, I know that at one spell when you had um, Levy out front, you didn't want to contribute to close that gap back on. And most of you guys had team members in there. Um, G Flo had the riders in there. The Guatemalan had the riders in there. Um, um, the, the Alliance United had riders. So I guess that's the reason why you guys backed up. But you closed it down at the end. You still showed that you don't got what it takes. Um, how did you find today's race? Uh, so I think, um, you know, big up to my team. I mean, I think we rode an exceptional race. Um, you know, I got in the, I got in the right position. We read the race properly. Um, I just say big up to Dylan as well. He read it. We did exactly we executed as the plan. Um, and I mean, during that time, I wasn't really feeling good. The whole first three hours of the race, I wasn't feeling like my my best. And um, at the ending of the race, uh, uh, reaching more around the four-hour mark, I started feeling good. And I mean, I attacked. I saw no one moving. Everyone was hurting. And I felt good. So I said, let me attack. Um, I tried closing the gap. Um, I did a good job. I closed in like about five five miles or so, but I moved a little bit too late, you know, I'm run out of road space, but I mean, it happens, and I think uh, Jaiveni rode a very good race. I think tactically, we defended Belize really good, so I want to say big up to those guys. He rode good, um, and of course, it was a good day, though. I mean, can't complain, man. The guys, my team, I'm very proud of them. I mean, we didn't win, but you have to take away the, the bright side of stuff, right? So cross country is the goal, and, you know, starting to get the legs around the four mark means a lot. Um, that's when you want to get that good legs, right? So, I mean, obviously it was closing really fast, uh, but we get there, we'll get there. Um, yeah, but big up to my sponsors, you know, JNFC, uh, McLean, Caribbean Tire, Valvoline. Um, of course, I just want to big up to um, Electrolyte, the best in the business, here we go, by JDB Distributors. I mean, big up to my fans, big up to my family, my wife. And of course, I want to big up um, Derek, um, you know, my cousin out in the States. He has been providing me with a lot of different equipment, beautiful equipment that I wouldn't be able to, you know, maybe sponsor myself with. And I want to say huge, huge love and respect for him and the family for looking out for me, uh, everybody that supports me. And again, we're out here, we're giving it our all and, um, you know, we can't win them all. But the big ones are the ones that we want. So, um, yeah, respect to everybody, the organizers, of course, Ms. Rita, Mr. Donis. Big up to you guys too, man. You guys made it happen. And, you know, big up to all the cyclists out here, man. It was a good race. So, yeah, man. Yeah, speaking to Oscar Kuros, folks, I don't have rights to this music playing in the background, so I hope you um, you know cut me off. Um, so I'm looking for Bob Gabriel. I don't want to close to the music. Um, yeah, interfere with the uh, money. So if Bob Gabriel anywhere wrong, tell her almost at the entrance. I want um, sit driving. Wait, 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 they don't decide. I'm not going to go home. They don't. I'm not going to go home. They don't. I want to see the Guatemalans too. 
So we are continuing to get interviews, folks. What a beautiful event. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's event, the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. A huge, a huge um, event. Very, you, you enjoyed, right? You of enjoyed? Course. Yes, man. The fans, you know. I got more than I expected. You got more than I expected, okay. Definitely the, the, the Guatemalans definitely light up the tarmac, but these guys were relentless and they say, you know what happened? We're going to defend the turf. And I was watching, this is leaving, eh? as we're watching the, um, the, um, oh, the Portuguese Alliance team. Um, I have to talk to this young man, road awesome today, young Fernando Rosado. Yeah. Fernando, I want to salute you, sir. Road awesome. I hope they buy you a new bike though, because your bike with the ride, I ride a bike there, and I don't want to train, I don't want to race my bike. So, but you riding such an awesome, um, you have been um, progressing in this sport. I watched you, you rode so awesome in the Digitour last week, and now you came out today, you came out fighting. You know, uh, definitely big up your coach, um, Mr. Uh, Carl Mokolok. Yes, he did an awesome job with you, but tell the fans how you found the race. Well, the race me, me had. Uh, some a point I made the outer position. I believe I made a mistake, a crucial mistake on the end when I never jumped on driving wheel. But and I was stuck with the Guatemalan. But I guess that's racing, and we live to fight another day. Um, I, I just happy for the progress that they make under Mr. Carl. So that's why I'm big up everybody. I want to thank you for the hotel. You know, it's not easy for the hotel. And I want to thank big up all the cyclists because being cyclist not hard, you know, easy. We get up every morning early, early, and I uh, sacrifice to the hotel for us. So. For today out here. So everybody I want to thank the fans, the Mr. Carl, Mr. Vanegas, Mr. Jose Pareza for and Best Care Pharmacy our sponsor. Uh, my family, my girlfriend. Um, I wanna thank everybody. They were actually out there. My girlfriend was out there by 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 Orange Gallery and I managed to get a battle from them and um, thank you Mr. Donis for the race and that all the sponsors that did the race. Thank you. Awesome job, yeah. Car Carlton, uh, maybe Baron, you could just pull in quick, make a few words with you guys. Yeah. I just want to big up the sponsors of the race, no? Who we sponsors, who we coach, um, Best Care Pharmacy, big up on yourself every time. Um, Digi Wallet, who got we, who got we back, Coach Carl, who always the out there and push out the neck for we. Mr. Vanegas, um, Mr. Pareza, and everybody, Ruta Ford Cunningham, who, who help we out. Um, our uh, well ridden race, um, Everybody made against the Guatemala and the Guatemala and they never win, so I guess that people happy. I end up finished fourth for, for the Alliance crowd. Um, we come out to try win the race, but unfortunately, two guys was out front and we made the move a little bit too late and we run out of legs, so I rode. But I saw you go, we live to fight another day. Big up on yourself, thanks to the, the Catch the Ball Committee for organizing and um, show this, this um, great event. No? Bless up everybody. I want to big up my teammates, so we ride real good. We, we team small. Consists of six riders, Fernando Rosado, Carlton Robinson, Josh Fuller, Angel Zib, with a Ford Cunningham. We small, but we're compact and we're together, so we keep keep on pushing. Bless up. You want to say a quick thing, Carlton? Or? Yeah, yeah, Mr. D. I just want to big up the sponsors, you know. Um, Best Care Pharmacy, um, DJ Wallet, um, my dad, my mom, everybody, my coach, always behind us. Um, we never win, but we live to fight another day, you know. Um, big up my teammates, you know. Um, Fernando Rosado, Byron Pope, Joshua Fuller, uh, my ballet, Colin Ham. Yeah, Mr. D. Yes, speaking to Carlton Rosen, we move, we try to find Bob Gabriel and the champion, Javin Gonzalez. The man was relentless today. The man smelled of victory. I watched the man and as he, um, he threw up the tarmac. Yeah, Mr. G, I hope you enjoyed the race, man. Big good congratulations, victory. <laughs> Look, I see. Yeah, I know the fans that are judged will really jump out on their seat. As you what was impressive was that when Melvin attacked the driving jump under, mm. then afterwards, um, the Arab. Good ride, Mr. Tasha. The Arab was the man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The beauty lads. Thank you, guys. Making the day exciting, right? Yes, All right. Blow that thing, yeah. <laughs> Next race. Next race. <laughs> no, blow it. No. Um, I think I quickly word with them, with them rolling shutters. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see the champion over the thing at the corner right now. Um, Wasani, awesome ride today. How am I find this race today? Um, it's the most difficult <laughs> race of the, it's the most difficult race of the season. But um, my team really showed today. We made minor mistakes in the race and 
one of my teammates that got in the break early um, started to fatigue early, so we decided to go on the chase, you know, along with the rest of the team. And we were chasing for at least 27 miles until we caught up to the, the first chase group. And, you know, eventually the attack started to happen. And, you know, I, I got in a break with three other guys and we ran down almost everybody except the last two men that were on the road. You know, um, I ended up with fifth place today. And, you know, I'm glad I'm glad of my placement being with the shape that I'm in right now and, you know, all that curse it is that I'm going through at the moment. But um, thanks to the team for really putting on a show. You know, I'm really proud of my team. Um, thanks to Mr. Gary Bennett, the owner of the team, for taking care of us. Thanks to my dad, Elman Castro, for looking out for me. For me. Um, thanks to Kenya, Nico Tillit, how we as a boat, big up herself. And yeah, thanks to the owners to keep this live going. Great, great, great. Um, pick up when you know we move up to uh, Sibab Gabriel and then the champion, um, Silverback, Javin Gonzalez, Charge Will. So, um, I don't want to get into with Bob first and then, then the champion after that. Um, so approaching, I could see the champion. Tell Bob, tell Bob, come inside, tell Bob, come inside, make it an interview. See Bob, you understand? Bob, yeah. No go win or drive in at the right now. Drive in at the right now. I left you for last year, the, 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 the superstar. <laughs> so, oh, I can, I can approach Bob. So, folks, I have to do a lot of walking after the thing, try to catch up with these riders in today's. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, 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 Mr. Jones. So, approach Bob Gabriel. Yeah, he's coming across to us. Why? Cheer that you, um, uh. Bob, you rode like a monster today. I tell you, my brother, big kudos to you. Being a, 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 a master rider, the way you rode that race, the fireworks with the Guatemalan the, the, the highway men, I have to give you a kudos. You know, tell the fans, how are race going on today for you, man? Well, first and foremost, you know, Puja bless no man curse. And to all the critiques, it's a blessing, you know. I don't listen to noise in the market. One of my good friends always tell me check my change. So today I check my change. I want to give thanks to the Almighty God for the health and strength, you know, to my mom, my dad, supporters, you know, my team, you know, who rolled out here today, Smokes, Philco, Alvan, who pushed me on show, and a super, super big, big, big shout out and thanks, you know, to my Uncle Mas, this one is for you also, Mars, in Chicago, and I know you are tuning. Um, you are my boy, Dread. Thank you guys for the support. Make sure that I'm up and running with the nutrition and so on. You know, and to all the fan base who always support me and shout me out, I want to give you thanks, you know, for the motivation day in, day out, you know. Furthermore, I come out here today, you know, with one mindset. You know, that I want to do good in this race, Mr. Donis. You know, I put in my work, you know, sometimes we're driving, sometimes alone, you know, but I make sure, I, you know, I put in the work. For occasion, um, unfortunately right now, I'm making a great sacrifice because I want to do this. Um, I'm not on the island right now, I'm up in, in my village, you know, with my, mom, with my dad especially, because, you know, he's the only one here right now. You know, and training, you know, I go outside, you know, me, most of the days, like, you know, it's me and Jive in, you know. But I got through the race and, you know, I got some poise, I mean, some prizes on the road that I was trying to aim for, you know, to repeat from like last year. But unfortunately, I never get it. But Smoke tell me, you know, just be patient, just be patient when the, when the race turn out longer, you know, it benefit in your favor. You know, throughout the race, Brandon try getting on my head. Tell me all kind of stupidness on the road, but you know, that's just trash talk in you know, the cycling. At the end of the day, you know, um, Palace once said, comparing me to Brandon, you can't compare Apple to Orange. Well, today, Mr. Palace, Orange win. So, kudos to that, you know. Like I said, always, you know, love the, love the competition on the road. Uh, like I said, man, kudos to Jiven. Um, I get out there, I run. In the 20s, I run. The guys that bring me back, I want to bring me back. I told Jivan, I said, Jivan, there's no, none of us here could beat you. You're the strongest guy here. 
And I'm not there out here running from you. You're a Mali boy. You know, I'm out here and I want to make the Guatemalan chase for week in him. You know, then we rotate again. I get a couple station prizes on the road. After eight miles, them boy, by ten miles, them boy come and say, boy, they get up, they come, drive in, me come and tap. Me and the Guatemalan guy, and I come to me like gun. You know, when I just ride off, and I open and get by myself again. When I look back by eight miles, I saw driving coming. And when I look and I see driving coming, that was like glory, hallelujah to me. Because I said, once driving come here, that's it. You know, he's my lead boy. I never contest driving. I get the double way Jew. Driving work very hard for yourself, for your team. And I know I be selfish. You know, I always say when I'm out here, if you see I have on a Belizean shirt against foreigners, it's always for Belize first. It's not about me. Right, so I tell Javin from out there, listen to me, I never gonna contest you, brother. This is a year day, year win. You know? Unfortunately, I tell the man, Javin, after the bump, last bump, you go go about your business, but the man gone before that, because he say you wanna win solo. But like I say, you know what? I am satisfied. I'm gonna get second by the grace of God and I'm gonna get first masters. And that's satisfying to me. You know, so kudos to that and all my fans. Thanks to the support. I love you, Mr. Donis. Thank you for bringing your life to the living room. Um, the, as the wheel turn family who's, who's, who's promote this thing big, um, Alfred Parks, um, organizers, family, friends, kudos to you. This is a monster race, you know, and I am so very proud to be second place and first masters in this race today. So kudos. And again, to all my good friends, my supporters behind the scene, I love you all. Big thanks again. Smokey. I tell you, without that man over there, it's my brother. Not by blood, but by heart. I love this man dearly. Many days, you know, he kept me poised, Mr. Donnell. Sorry for taking so long, but this is a day for celebration for me and for my team, SPD, right? And also, like I said, big up Imperial Songs out of, out, out of Chicago. Mass and the family, love one of brother. I give thanks once again and hold the mic for too long, you know, so. Oh, I'm Miss Marlene, I think the father had to push it enough. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations, Bob Gable. Yes, well, I'll we'll have to chase out a driving, driving road away, so I'll have to um, you know, chase out a driving wheel. So, yeah, driving just a. I'll talk to young Finam, baby chav, quick, and then, uh, then we'll, we'll try and join um, driving. Young Finam. Okay, okay. Yeah. I told the crowd that um, when we're on the, the, the show as we turn, I said, I tell Palace, I said, Palace, I bet you young Phenom will ride for Jive in for this race. He will give his all for the, you know, your team rode awesome for you in the digital and you return the favor today. I could see that in your face. I could know that you are a team player and you wanted your team to win and you defended um, your, your, the second in row where I call Jive in. Awesome race today. Is that so? <laughs> yes, Mr. Donis. Um, after uh, last weekend, you know, I know a lot of eyes up on me. Everybody said that I have a good lead for him. So we gain plan today I'm to come out. And I know a, a lot of big names going for a lot of the big prize, right? You know, the bull and all that and stuff, and the big money. So I say, what I want to do, I go for all of the big prize too. And maybe some of the lead one, you know, initiate a lead breakaway and make all the big names they move. That, that does and soften up their legs later down the road when my bacon and my need to move you know and um so said so done um that breakaway with driving gun i mean a very good breakaway because i don't know he have out um all of them guys from the sprint you know so the only concern may be if you get a flat or maybe something happened to your bike but um thank god none, none of that happened and you know most of we have a safe race today i think one person gone down that may serve in Buna. Um, but other than that, you know, I, I think that may a good race today. Um, and you know, we just got to bring home the win again. Thank you, Derek. So we are hunting down the winner, driving on Zelda. We want to get more interviews. We want to talk to the Guatemalans and um, other riders and find out about the event. We want to talk to the organizers of this event. Um, definitely, Mr. Sefko, um, Rich, Devin Gonzalez. Help, help me find the man. I can't go with the music because I'm cut off. Yeah. Oh, you can look for a shade. Okay, all right. Oh, okay, yeah. No, no, I see a right off. Yeah. So, folks, I hope you guys enjoy today's event. Oh, 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 oh. The man, where are you looking at? Engage your, engage your, your, your wife or girlfriend? 
Oh, your data, your data, okay. <laughs> so, um, looking for Javin Gonzalez, I think a mantra run for shade because it's extremely hot out there, folks. It's roasting hot. I know you people in the diaspora, the name. Um, And I said Giovanni, lovely. Where, where can I enjoy? Where can I enjoy? Huh? Where can I enjoy? Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, vehicle. Yeah. Oh, he gone home. Okay, so so it seems that um Giovanni had some medical um issues. Um, he um he had some something with the, the um stomach. So he went home. <laughs> Mike's only five man ready for cross country. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So we're looking for Javin Gonzalez. I think the man going to look for Alicia. I hope that they turn on the music as an hour and they cut off the live. Because I said we don't have rights to their music. So I don't have the rights. Oh, I see Javin in the distance. So I reach out directly. I try to walk up fast. I think I see him. Huh? Yep. No run away for you again, drive in you. Don't run away solo, win solo. So we are here with the champion, Javin Gonzalez. Make a turn the camera this direction. Um, so go this way here. in. I guess that little talk you had with Pini yesterday really get on your skin, and you must say, make a show Pini, make Pini watch his live and say what, what I could do. You rode awesome today, you rode like a champion, your team rode like a champ back to back, winning in this um, thing. Your, your team won last year with Derek Chavaria winning the Digitour, and now today you claim the second running of the Alfred Parks race. In commanding style, I saw your face, I see you rallying the troops, you keep hitting those guys, you were looking good and smooth. You know, I know your mom and your whole family is looking on. Tell them what happened today in the race, because you still look fresh when you pass the tape. Fresh? <laughs> I don't know what it's about, but I don't know if I catch up on the road about this, so I, I nearly I feel like I got to leave it over, I believe it. I uh, nearly never reach the finish line, but you no, know, first, first, uh, first, you know, I want to thank God, you know, to give me this the strength and energy today for, to pull off this win. I mean, it's an emos emotional win for me, you know. I mean, I mean, I mean. Man, a lot of people don't really know, man. Uh, put on a lot of hard work, sweat, blood, tears, dedication into this, into into cycling, you know. But I guess a lot of people just, just watch and uh, think this thing easy, right? But, <clears throat> you know, I just, uh, I just want to thank my main sponsor, man, Mr. Glenn Flowers. I want to thank, thank the coach, Mr. Kalmal Williams, the man come up with an excellent plan for you. To ride the race for me, right? And put me, put me trust. Put the guys, thank the guys, put me trust in. I mean, if you know, if you, to pull off this one, I mean, but uh, one of the, um, I don't really know the, I'm not too familiar with the Guatene name, um, but one of them is the run from within a little while. Hula yeah, Hula Hu, I think the man name. So Hula Hu, me the run from within a while, so I, I'm gonna tell Oscar and the guys, you know, no make a panic, you know, I don't, I don't believe he could run. Almost 50 miles from some of Billy's best riders when we're in at the back chase group there, you know. So I just said, make we keep it together and we are bring back the man. And I already have plan when we catch the man, our counter attack because I uh, I mean, know that Hula Huda made the strongest out of the tree, you know. So when I um, counter attack, well, attack several times when my family break there. Uh, one of the, I think the youngest one between three and eight follow. Well, at first the man never want to work. The man never want to work away. I don't know why, but I don't know what that made their plan. But the man never want, never want to push the brake. The man just me want trade blows at me, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Melvin Torres. The man never want, the man never want to push the brake at first and. I don't really know Spanish like that for tell the man, you know. I like to tell the man, dale, dale, let's go, with the man. The man, uh, at first, the man start push it, push it, and but I, I, I know like they now break all day and then they come back and catch me, right? So I, I never really made a plan for go from that early. 
had to go early, you know, and I put everything in at the last attack there. So, so if they may catch me back, you best believe. And if I may win this race, you know, uh, I, I push, I push my limit there on the end there. You know, uh, man, I made an excellent plan. Uh, thanks to Mr. Carl for that, you know, I want to thank my family. You know, my mom, my sister, my cousin, uncle. You know, big up everybody with they're behind me. Big up the the, the Lamert Park crew, you know, I know, I know touch base in anybody in a while, you know. Usually when I out there, I put in some good rides in anybody. <coughs> if I forget anybody, you know, please forgive me, I'm tired. <laughs> really tired, man. Uh, just know when I come back for my bike, I for catch crap, but I well, big up everybody who support the thing, you know. Uh, just block all the noise and uh, continue going and get ready for cross country. You know, one love, everybody. Congrats again. Javin Gonzalez, the winner of the second running of the Alfred Parks Memorial Race. I look for the Guatemalans. Let's talk and leave word with them. You know, see no way on? Huh? I look for the organizer. I want to talk to Miss Rita or one and a. I mean, definitely was a huge successful event. Anybody see the Guatemalans? So they come under the tent and see the, um, the organizers of the event. Good afternoon, guys. Um, can you all please return your seats here underneath the service So all the people, that's the people from Ashton, Miss Ann, Jackie, bye, bye, bye. Stephen, Patrick. Nice, nice race, nice race. Be weird. See the folks still behind the scenes of work, Miss Debs, Miss Letts, Miss Rita. Not ask Miss Rita a quickly word. Miss Reeds. Miss Reeds. Awesome event, Miss Reeds. Tell the fans, man. I don't even know if I'm so tired, but um, the end justifies the means and all the hard work. Um, last night, night before, practically were sleepless nights, especially for me and Miss Debs. But um, we pulled it off as a team. We are over excited that um, this second edition of the Alfred Parks rate um, far exceeded our expectations far exceeded the first one and it gives us motivation to go on and, and continue after this and bring other editions to you folks. Um, we're glad that we got the amount of cyclists to sign up and take part in the event. We're glad that they're happy with the prizes and we look forward again the next year. Um, the next twin race, um, Ordonis as the wheels turn um, racing Santa Elena, San, San Ignacio, that's our next um, twin race and we will be working towards that after this. So fans, um, thank you guys for joining the live, thank you guys for the support, sponsors, donors, too numerous to mention. I will try to um, go back and do a post on Facebook to thank all the people that um, supported us and again, thanks. Miss Rita Thompson, spearheading this event. I want to see if I see the Guatemalans so I have um, the interview but I see the Guatemalans and if they don't drive back across the border. <laughs> Why, Evan, thanks very much. This is Evan we were driving a um, boom last night for pick up the phone so the fans eh, could see. So I can see the fans right, the phones up on YouTube, they're still up on YouTube and they're watching this and the man we were driving to boom last night so I can pick up the, the um, thing. Folks, um, the music and I have the rights to the music behind me. Okay, Donis, well I have to say a big, big up to Mr. Donis. And the family Alfred Park, my sister, my cousin, everybody we contributed. You know, this race was a real success. And congrats to Jiven, you know, because he rode a race and come in just like oh, my, cousin, my uncle come in solo fashion, you know. So congrats and everybody. And next year, bigger and better, you know. And like we're doing this, uh, Jiven last night, the boom, I think, make it up this thing. So you fans, to so tune in and get it live and direct, pedal by pedal, for the time. Skittles when they blow out the man, but congrats on well-deserved race, man, was a success. Thank you, fans. 
Yes, that's Mr. Evan Thompson, the manager I met to Barrel Boom last night. So I'm trying to move away from the music. Like I said, I have rights to this music, so I don't want to cut off my life. So I look for the Guatemalans there. Um, but there's no Guatemalans in sight right now. Huh? No, I look for the Guatemalans, but I don't see another. Okay. So look, I know must I get no interview with the um the um. So what we might do that take a break and then when the when the um when they return back the um when they give out the prize ceremonies probably not come back live. But I want to thank each and everyone who joined the live today. Hope you guys look at the monka people out here. Out there crowded the people like crazy a lot a lot of folks came out the support for cycling is and the uprise a lot a lot of folks you know that mr eckers the man we, we, we do the um the, the, the trophy but definitely a beautiful day here i hope all the fans really enjoyed oh <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't see, you're gonna see all you guys. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man. So, again, I want to thank my driver, Mr. Banks, who take care of me. I want to thank Fitzgerald Palace Joseph. I want to thank the people who bring the live into your living room. I want to thank the Tillit Farm from Funk Eddie's Farm. I want to big up the Alfred Parks Memorial from, uh, Foundation, Steve Benedict Auto Sales. Incorporated, you can get them at 929-240-8765. That's in New York. Erdonis Bike Shops. Father and Son Bike and Electronics Tour. We want to big up Miss Jude Belize Foundation for providing food for all the cyclists. Now. Like I said, a beautiful friend, all the volunteers, everyone, the CFB, and all the volunteers who made it possible. Um, I can just take a quick peep at the beautiful trophies and then I'll cut off the live. So let's make me go quick. Like I said, I don't own the rights to this music, so I don't want to cut off my live. But let me just have a sneak peek, show you fans a sneak peek at the, at the, um, the, the beautiful prizes. Now. So in a short while, the prize will be given out. So let me just show the prizes quickly. The amount of prizes out here. Prizes galore. Prizes, prizes. Not too much thing like only they can um they can leave a house. Let us let us look at the trophy. So Oscar named the trophy already. The great play parks. Beautiful trophies. More prizes. But what the fridge there? Where the fridge? Where the fridge and the um so there? Oh, they 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 not come out. Oh, they okay. That the that the money. Just money. They pick up the net. Okay, all right, cool. So, so much prize, folks. And again, thank you all for joining live today. We'll take a short break, and when we return, we'll bring the prize ceremony. So, stay tuned. Join back the live if you feel like, and um, we bring you guys live action back when the prize has been given out. For now, I'm your Commentator Andrea Donis signing out. Peace out. Join me back when the uh, prize is given out. We're out.